Since he entered the temple of the holy mountain, the guy had read over three thousand books. He had read all of them and wondered if there were any left. On the shelf, the boy saw a cup. He wondered if the old man had kept this fine wine for years. He thought it must be expensive, so he drank it without delay. He smiled and said it was good. Suddenly, something strange started happening. The guy didn't understand what was happening. His body and hands began to burn with fire. He didn't expect to die from alcohol at all. Suddenly the guy realized he wasn't dead yet. It turned out he was reborn. He wondered what the owner of this body had passed on. She's lonely and he's lonely too. They will live together from now on. The baby cried a lot. Her name is Ling Shen. The girl decided he would be called Ling Fan. And so the boy's life began. Approaching the elder, the girl said that she wanted to know why this child couldn't use martial arts. He replied that Ling Fang's body is weak and his veins are very strange. If he starts training, his veins will crack and be destroyed instantly. This is his fate, he can never become a warrior. Calling the boy to her, Ling Shen asked him to eat something, it would strengthen his veins. He obediently ate it. The boy said that Lingwu Academy sends this once a month and his sister gives it to him to eat it. The elder said his veins couldn't recover, so let him not worry about him. The boys were yelling for everyone to look, the black sheep had come. They laughed and told her to get out of there. Ling Fang said he knew he was weak, but he would never let his sister get hurt. She asked him to stop. Something started happening to him. The guys were talking about how successful he was at destroying himself it was funny. After apologizing to his sister, the guy said he didn't want to leave her alone. The girl kept saying he was a man and he wouldn't die. Suddenly, he lost consciousness. The guy thought about the fact that he was Wu Xing, the most gifted in Shen Wu. He didn't expect to be reborn in this trash body at all. Looking at him, the girl was glad he was alive. She knew that he would not leave her alone. The girl couldn't hold back her tears. Turning to his sister, he wanted to say something. Interrupting him, she said that everyone said he couldn't survive. But Ling Shen knew that he would not abandon her and would survive. He thought about how she was a good sister, but she was bullied by everyone. She shouldn't have to suffer again. He decided that from now on, he wouldn't give her a reason to suffer. He would never forget the bullying of those three. This is the first time they see the world. The weakest in martial arts can shatter dozens of stones. What's even scarier is that the heavenly ancestor of martial arts can turn the world upside down. There are nine stages of development. Novice, warrior, spirit master, emperor, sage, honorable and heavenly ancestor. So everyone on the continent has the biggest dream of becoming a martial arts fighter. Ling Fang the most talented genius on the holy mountain, who had reached the emperor stage at the age of thirty. The temple of the holy mountain. Wu Mountain. The girl asked Ling Fang if he was hungry. She prepared some food for him. Let him drink it carefully. The guy asked if there was any food left for her. Ling Shen replied that she wasn't hungry, so he could eat more. He said that his body was still recovering, he couldn't eat more than he should, because it would be a waste of food. The boy realized that it was the girl who was hungry, because she was lying about being full. Holding out a spiritual energy pill to the guy, the sister asked him to eat it. Ling Fang asked the girl where did she get such a pill from. She said that as the guy knows, she is in Ling Wu Academy, and yesterday they gave them achievement pills. He wondered how the academy could gift such a pill. The boy realizes that he would have to work very hard for such a pill. Ling Fang realized that he had made his precious sister suffer. By restoring cultivation, he would definitely change his fate. Guy kept telling himself that he had to start walking again. A healthy body is vital for cultivation. Turning this body into a warrior's body takes a lot of effort. He has only one way to get out of there, he needs to regain his health. Whatever it was, he had to go 10 meters. He had to change and go another 10 meters. Seeing the house, the guy wondered, and is this his walking limit? The guy's house appeared in front of his eyes, she asked why did he leave. The guy said he was going out for a little walk. When he saw his sister, he asked why she was soaked. She said she wasn't wet. Anyway, they're having fish for dinner tonight. 
the boy's face showed that he was overjoyed. After a month of practice, the guy yelled out that he finally finished 50 laps. Recently his limit was 40, now that number is 50. He was rejoicing that he had finally broken his own limiter. Suddenly, something began to happen. Ling Fong thought he was dying again. The boy wondered where and how he had gotten to. Looking around, he realized that this was not reality at all. He wondered where the hell he was. Is this his consciousness, or is this the warrior's soul? Is it the golden wine? Why is it there? The guy couldn't have died twice because of it, right? Ling Fong remembered that the earth and sky scroll had written about some special liquid. The golden liquid was odorless and tasteless, but it could split the heavens. One sip of this liquid could kill a wise man. The wine he drank before was sealed in the bottle. That's why he became so strong. The guy had drunk quite a bit of that liquid, hadn't he? He wondered, then, why was he still alive? Did he drink so much? When he woke up, he realized he was alive. The guy wasn't dead, and his meridians had regenerated. They became like roots. He marveled at the effect of that water. Now his body was even better than the body in his previous life. Ling Fong thought that most likely no one knew about this water yet. He wondered what the limit of his body was now. At least 35 kilograms, he thought. Breaking the stones with his hands, the guy realized that with the help of water he had risen to a bronze body. Now, attaining a silver and gold body wouldn't be a problem. Now that he would meet those who had insulted his sister, he would be able to wipe them all out with his power. Looking around, the guy realized it was already night, he wondered why his sister still hadn't returned. As he got closer to the house, he heard his sister's voice calling him. Ling Fang realized that something was wrong with her. When he opened the door, he saw that the girl was lying on the floor. He ran up to his sister and asked if she was okay. Turning to her brother, Ling Shen said that if she leaves this world, he must live no matter what happens. Ling Fang didn't understand what was wrong with her. Her body was cold, but her forehead was hot. He realized that these were symptoms of a frozen soul. The cold chi is trying to displace her body's chi. The girl might die. For his sake she worked tirelessly, for his sake she had no time for herself, and as a result her illness grew worse and worse. Turning to her brother, she asked him to live a great life. After tying a belt around her waist, the guy said he would definitely cure her. He took her in his arms and said that he would not let his sister die. Now we must go to Mount Linway as soon as possible and find the pill to help her. The guys shouted, who dared to come there at night? The guy replied that it was them, Ling Shen and Fan. They wondered why he was still alive. They all saw the guy destroy his meridians. Seeing the girl on his back, the guys said that it looked like she was about to die. Smirking, one of the guys told Ling Fang not to worry, if anything happened to her, they would help. The guy said he was there to get the cure and he would kill anyone who got in his way. Calling him a bastard, they said if the guy made another move, they would kill him. But before he died, Yu Feng decided to show him the skills of a level 4 cultivator. Watching this, the guys said that this trash had the courage to fight with a guy, this brat wouldn't even be able to withstand a single blow from him. Ling Shen asked them to stop. The guys were watching everything from the side. The guys started attacking each other. One blow sent the guy flying off to the side. His arm turned completely red. The guys didn't understand how could this be possible. Could such a scum like this really defeat Yun Fong? After the guy's two friends started running towards Ling Fong, the girl prayed for them to stop and stop everything. He yelled that if he wanted to, he'd kill the guy with one punch. Ling Fong avenges her sister because those bastards abused her. After beating everyone, they lay on the ground and didn't understand how in such a short time he was able to become so strong. Looking at him the girl realized that he couldn't cultivate after all. The girl could see that she was getting worse. Grabbing the guys, Ling Fang said that if they doubted his strength, he could beat them again. With fear in his eyes, Yun Fong told the guy not to even think about it. His sister was in danger, he had to figure out where to put them. Rummaging through their pockets, he found a nice catch. It was a blood-hardening pill, just what he needed. After taking the pill, the girl said she felt much better. But the guy realized that it wasn't enough. This pill won't be enough to cure his sister. 
He needs to go to the valley and find fire herb and fire fruit. He shouted to the three of them to get out of there, and not to interfere any more. He hugged his sister and told her it was time to go home. Training Valley. This place is in the desert. The boy thought well, it's not as dangerous as he thought. He found the very same fire weed. Suddenly, from outside, he heard a painfully familiar sound. It was just a blue-eyed leopard. He's only at the third level of a martial warrior. Happy, the boy thought he would bring this leopard to his sister. After a few blows, the leopard was defeated. Ling Fong decided that now it was time for him to find the fire fruits. He was already in the middle of the forest, but they were nowhere to be found. Suddenly, the very same tree caught his eye. It was them, the very fire fruits that would help his sister. Ling Fong sensed something wrong. The birds abruptly began to fly up into the sky, as suddenly, a golden lion appeared in front of the guy at Warrior Peak 1. This golden lion is very similar to a human. If trained well, it can be a very useful ally. The guy gathered all his strength into a fist, he was preparing to attack. Ling Fong thought it was about time, so he would go to his house today. With his first attack, he was able to hit the golden lion. Looking at him, the guy told him that he wasn't strong enough to defeat him. After another series of blows, he asked the lion what now. Either he surrendered or he had to die. The boy asked how about if he gave him some meat and he would listen to him in return. The golden lion seemed to immediately become tame. Ling Fong saw that he wasn't so stupid after all. Just remember, if you go against him, you'll die. From now on, Goldie is part of their family. He has to keep an eye on the house and make sure his sister doesn't get bullied. It was a leopard for his sister. If the golden lion tried to eat it, he'd be next in line. The boy said it was time to go home. The next day the girl woke up early in the morning. And felt that her fever was gone. But suddenly she looked around and saw a big, shaggy lion. And she cried out in fear. While Ling Fong was preparing food and heard a screaming voice. Running into the room, he asked what was wrong. The girl told Ling Fong out of fear that a lion had snuck into their house. Ling Fong told her not to panic. He said it was a guard animal he had brought with him. The boy asked him why he wasn't in his original form. But at that moment there was a flash and the lion transformed into a cute little goldie. Upon seeing this little creature the girl was stunned by its golden gorgeous color. With such a fine sense of smell, the girl smelled some delightful odor, but also notes of burning. Hearing this, Ling Fong remembered his fragrant soup, and ran outside with a shout. Holding out a bowl of soup, the guy told the place that this soup was made from green tiger. When the girl heard that, she was surprised to hear what kind of green tiger. But after tasting the soup, she was happy to have such a good event. That same afternoon, someone knocked on the door, saying, Come out, garbage. The guy jumped up and asked who dared to bark in front of his house. Those were the guys the guy got. The guy asked them if they were here for more if they didn't have enough last time. The guys said their brother Foshan was gonna avenge them. And he's going to kick his ass for the guy hurting them. After all, their older brother is a genius at Lingui Academy who is a level 6 trainee. The boy didn't understand what they were saying, so he asked what a Foshan Bao was, because he had never heard of it before. But suddenly a girl ran out and asked Foshan why he was here. Foshan said he had come because her brother had hurt his brothers. Ling Fong without waiting long instructed the big Goldie to beat him up for him. Goldie only scratched Foshan and knocked the sword out of his hands. When they saw the lion, the boys wondered where he got the golden lion from. Ling Fong said if they had come for their deaths, let them die. Taking all his will in his hands Foshan lashed out at the lion calling him a monster. But the lion was only to be buried as Foshan begged for forgiveness. The guy told Foshan if he dared to provoke them again, he wouldn't get off that easy. Ling Fong went inside and started to show affection to Goldie, and said that he was rewarded today, that huge piece of meat. The guy thought the golden liquid was ready. And now he could handle 2,500 pounds. And with that strength as a foundation, he could finally learn martial arts. Now he only had to swallow the chi of the earth and sky. But everything happened so fast that he didn't expect to break through to the first level. Screaming with joy that he had already broken through to the third level he woke up his sister and little Goldie. 
and said that he was now ready to take the Lingue Academy exams. Linu Academy organizes entrance exams every year. It is not difficult to pass them, namely, you have to climb Mount Linwei. Mount Linwei has 99 steps. And whoever can climb five steps will be eligible to become an outer disciple of Linu Academy. And the one who rises 30 steps will qualify to become an inner disciple. And naturally, whoever manages to climb 50 steps will become a disciple of the main branch and will be able to learn from all the elders of the academy. And if someone manages to reach the top, then he will enter the secret group. Balandin says that there he will be able to practice techniques that are over 1,000 years old. After all, he is a fourth-level cultivator, and this year he will be able to climb 30 steps and become an inner disciple. But the girl standing next to him humiliated Balandin that he was only at the fourth level. And compared to their younger brother Lee M.O., he's nothing. The blonde man heard suggested to Lee M.O., to have a competition on Mount Linu to see who was stronger. Lee M.O. couldn't help himself and called Blandin an arrogant brat, and told him to stay away from him when he was climbing, because he would kick him. Ling Feng who had studied 3,000 sacred mountain books, which were more useful than those from the Lunu Academy, also came to this competition. It's still not enough to come back. After all, he needs to drink the chi of earth and heaven. The girl seeing everyone said that she needed the resources of Linu Academy to fully recover. Hearing this, the guy told his sister not to worry. After all, he's not the same as before. And he will definitely get into the academy. But the loud laughter of the guy's enemies did not leave him alone. Blandin asked the boy why he came once a year for a checkup. He can't even get to the second step, can he? The guy asked in surprise who he was. The blonde replied that he was the one who would crush him. The guy thought it was funny and told Goldie that someone was looking for death. When Goldie heard the boy, he turned into a huge lion. Blandin was frightened when he saw him and screamed for help. But the master came to Blondie's rescue and stood up to his defense, and unleashed a mutual punch on Goldie. The teacher called the guy trash and asked him if he wanted to die. But the angry Ling Fong said he was ready to fight him. At that time, the head of the academy himself came and told them to stop. It was test day, and they didn't need any more trouble. The leader said that the grading rules are the same as before. Whoever climbs five steps in two hours will be able to become an external student in their academy. And the young people who could climb thirty steps, then they would be able to become inner disciples of their academy. Now the head told them to go and give their best. Seeing the mountain, the guy's sister was worried and said that the Linwei mountain had a natural pressure, even level 4 cultivators had a hard time. And this boy's talent is so bad that he can't even make it to the top of the first rung. Lee Mo realized that it was very difficult. After all, he was only on the first step, but he couldn't move any further. But he saw Blondin up ahead and said he wouldn't lose to him. But Blondie let him know he was better than him. Lee Mo had only reached the fourth step. While the blonde man was already at the fifth step and mocked him, the competition observer said that Ayun was the first to become a disciple of Lin's martial arts academy. And with his strength, there's definitely a chance to become an inner disciple. But Lee Mo also made it to the fifth step. While Ha Lee Mo is only at the fifth step. And the beholder saw that he was already tired. But suddenly the woman noticed a girl standing in the crowd. And she wondered who she was. Because she looked very provocative. But she didn't seem to be one of the children of the family. It was Ling Feng's turn. His sister told him that mountaineering is not an easy thing to do, you have to be strong to do it. But Ling Feng didn't want to distinguish himself. He told everyone to listen to him after all some of them were upset. I mean, not many of their family get very far. And he said he could bring them back. But not for free, of course. Hearing this, the sister asked the guy what he was going to do. The guy said he wanted to make some money, but one of the guys got distracted and said that Ling Feng was a very ambitious guy. And he offered him a gold coin, which he'd get if he threw iron down. The guy's confidence was insane. And he said to the man, let him be sure, for he would bring him back down. But the watcher heard these words and wondered how he was going to bring Ian down. After all, he would just be humiliated. The sister told the guy not to be an idiot. After all, the pressure of the mountain is very strong. 
but the smile on the guy's face gave other assumptions. Standing in front of the mountain, Ling Fong felt that this pressure of Mount Linwei reached up to 600 jin. But for ordinary people, this is really a big pressure. The man who gave the guy the coin was watching him. He didn't know how Ling Fong would humiliate Ayun. But unfortunately thought Ling Fong, the pressure of the mountain is 600 jin, as at that time, a person at the bronze body stage can only endure 250 jin. The men couldn't believe their eyes because the guy was able to climb the second step. But the men were sure that he would not be able to climb any further. After seeing Ling Feng's strength, the men were very impressed, because he was climbing so fast that they can't count the passing steps. When the head saw this, he thought he was a very talented boy. But his sister's support wasn't lagging behind either. Her shouts made Ling Fong gain more strength. The standing stranger saw Ling Fong climb up the fifth step in the blink of an eye. She thought he was a monster, but suddenly he reached Ayun. And said that they had met again. But he said he was given a gold coin in return for letting Ayun down. Ayun was surprised how Ling Fong was able to reach the tenth step. Taking Ayun by the scruff of the neck, the guy pulled him down. But suddenly a man shouted and told Ling Fong to let Ayun go, and he doubled the gold coins. The distraught man began to resent the guy for pulling Ayun down the tenth step and ruining everything. Ling Fong said it was not his fault. After all, all the blame lies with their family. He just did his job. The man's excitement was huge. So he offered the guy another gold coin if he could get Liamo down. Ling Fong said that the price has changed now. He wants 20 gold coins for the second person. The stunned man blushed when he heard Ling Feng's offer. After all, this money was enough for a small family to live their whole life without worrying about poverty. But the other man said that his family was willing to pay him 20 gold coins if he managed to put down the second genius of the Achi family. Ling Feng hearing such a suggestion, flashed up and brought down the second genius of the Achi family. But Ling Feng's bets kept going up and he was asking for 100 gold coins for the next person. But the same man came up to him and said that he would only offer him 130 gold coins if he let Li Mo down. But suddenly a second man intervened and offered 150 gold coins. And it all turned into one big scandal. The first man threw him a sack of gold and wanted to down Li Mo. The guy grabbed the sack and told him to consider it done. But at that moment, Fa Shinu appeared and threatened Ling Fong with his sword. But the guy was able to react and stabbed him in the jaw. After bringing Li Mo down, the guy kept raising the stakes up, and he was asking for 400 gold for the fourth person. But the men didn't have any more money. The guy got frustrated and started abusing them. But then the guy offered a bad option, and said that there were about 40 people on the mountain and if the men wanted them to stay there, they had to pay for every ten coins. And if no one pays, he'll send them all down. The men thought he was crazy. They wanted to teach him a lesson for it, but the dean himself was watching, starting with the Ajia family. The man offered the egg casket and said it was very valuable to their families, taking a little bit from everyone the guy thought someone else hadn't paid. Seeing a stranger, the guy pointed at her. The guy asked what family this girl was from, because she should be paid. Seeing his persistence the men laughed and said that he would be in serious trouble. Standing in front of the girl, the guy asked what family she was from and why she didn't pay like everyone else. But the indignant girl asked him who he was. How dare he disrespect her. But the angry guy said he was the one asking the questions, not her. The girl called him baby and asked him if he wanted trouble. The girl didn't wait long for an answer and threw a punch, but she didn't expect him to be so strong. And holding her hand she was very upset about it. The guy laughed and said that an old woman like her at level 7 would never be able to touch him. But the confident girl asked Ling Fong, can't he see how smart and beautiful she is, and yet they are the same age. The girl's nerves could not stand this rude fellow. And out of anger she struck the bells hard. But the guy took the girl's hand and threw her on his shoulder saying that she was not his equal. When the head saw this, he was angry that Ling Fong was humiliating Bin Ming. Throwing her on the ground, Ling Fong asked where she came from, and told her family to come and get her. But the head intervened and called the boy stupid, and asked how dare he be proud of it and treat one of their teachers like that. Ling Fong was surprised that she was a teacher. Since when could a seventh-level person become a teacher, 
he asked. Madam Bing Ming is their new alchemist said Head. Although she is only 21 years old, her strength is extraordinary. Her development level in martial arts is average, and she is a student, and climbed the mountain to learn her talent. But Guy is an idiot and still pulled her down. But sister stood up for the guy and told the dean that Ling Feng didn't know much about the academy. And asked the dean to forgive her brother. Sister told Guy to apologize to Madam Bing Ming. But Guy's pride wouldn't allow it and he ran away. Ling Feng ran away realizing that after the way he had insulted the teacher, they would definitely not accept him into the academy. And that's why he has to climb the mountain to show them his skills. And now he must focus on climbing the mountain. After all, it would be too late if the Linu Academy expelled him from the trial. And now it's time to conquer this mountain said Ling Fong. The dean said if it wasn't for his great talent, he would have disqualified him. But the girl said it was okay and she forgave him. The dean stuck to the girl's words and said he would leave him. Saying that Ms. Bin Min is not the kind of person who should be offended. He should be grateful to her for forgiving him. But Bing Ming's cunning was impossible. After all, she had let him into the academy only to take revenge on him. Standing in front of the obstacle and clasping his hand, the boy told Ng Lin that he wanted to see her scenery from the top. When he calmed down, he caught up with the guys he had brought down earlier. When they saw him beside them, they were surprised at his speed. Ling Feng told them to hurry up because they called themselves geniuses. He said they should pay more attention to their reputations. Standing in front of step 29. The boy said he could become an inner disciple if he took one more step. As he stood on the thirtieth step, the men were surprised. After all, for the first time this year, he had become an inner disciple. Bing Ming saw Ling Feng climb thirty stairs. She wondered how high he would eventually climb. The dean said that judging from Ling Feng's strength, the dean thought that he would climb sixty steps. Bing Mo said that the dean was very appreciative of Ling Feng's capabilities. After all, in the history of Ling Academy, there are only a few people who have reached the 60th step. And Xie Yun is the first dean of the academy, only reaching the 65th step. The guy felt about 200 pounds of pressure now, and that's very little to stop him. There's a 40-step climb ahead. But when he got to the 50th step, the guy started to sweat. When he reached the 60th step, he felt that his blood pressure had risen sharply. The dean's joy was not lagging behind either. Saying that Linu Academy should focus on Ling Feng's development. Believing in himself, the guy was given more to do by Matarazzi, because it was already becoming difficult for him to resist the pressure. But he knew his body and that 2,500 pounds was his body limit. And he was ready to climb to the top. As the guy kept climbing higher and higher, he didn't notice how he broke the record of the first dean of the academy. His sister shouted at the kid that he was great and he made history at Linu Academy and set a new record. The men wondered why this boy pervert was so lucky. If you compare Li Mu and Ayun to Ling Fangom, they are not even worthy of his finger. After reaching the 68th step, the guy felt the pressure of over 2,000 jin, but even if it was 3 or 4,000, he wouldn't stop. After all, today he said ready to surpass his limit with this magnificent mountain. To Dean, this was astonishing. After all, Mount Linu is really meant for young people to train their perseverance and martial arts. But Ling Feng turned out to be an even greater genius than he thought said Dean. The pressure had reached 4,000 Jin. Doesn't T he feel any pain Bing Ming wondered. But suddenly, he stopped and didn't move. Ling Feng managed to reach the 99th step. The pressure on the 99th step reaches 5,000 Jin. But that doesn't stop him and he is ready to get to the top. But taking all the strength out of himself he did it and made it to the top. The observers could not believe their eyes, for he had done it. Guy's sister was over the moon and couldn't believe that Ling Feng had climbed to the top. Ms. Bing Ming said that this year they were unlucky with inner disciples, but they got the first spiritual disciple ever. With a wave of his hands, Ling Feng shouted that he had done it. But suddenly, he saw a book standing on a rock. When he took it, he received a book of techniques from the ancient Lin Wushan family. However, this is only a basic skill of the first level. In the Tao, techniques range from strong to weak. But there is the Xian Huang heavenly level of the fourth order. And in that fourth level, 
there are even finer spiritual, honorable and divine techniques. In his previous life, the guy was a saint, he saw incomparable skills. And this book is useless to him, but it's very good for the people here. Coming downstairs, Ling Fong was jumped on by his sister. Ling Fong told his sister not to worry because he was fine. Seeing him, the dean came over and said that Ling Fong was very good and qualified to be a spiritual disciple. The teacher asked Ling Fong if he was ready to become a spiritual disciple. He said he was ready, but he said he wanted to study alchemy. Hearing this, the dean was surprised and said that his talent was the best in the academy. And if he focused on self-improvement, his achievements would be limitless. Alchemy is different from cultivation, because the guy has good talent, but if he takes up alchemy, it's unlikely that anything good will happen. Ling Fong said that Linu Academy's techniques had no value to him, and all he needed was resources. And alchemy is the fastest way to obtain resources. But suddenly, Miss Bingming intervened in the conversation and said that she supported Ling Fong. On the sinewy continent, alchemists are more promising and respected. Ling Fong insisted that he become an alchemist. And this woman, as he saw, doesn't care what others think, he seems like a good person. The dean told the guy not to be so reckless, because this decision could determine his fate. And unfortunately, it's really sad that such talent is wasted. Ms. Bing Ming met a student, Ling Fong. She said she was the only alchemist professor. She asked him why he wanted to study alchemy so badly. Hearing that she was the only alchemy professor, the guy got excited. Miss Bing Ming's boyfriend seemed like a demon. And it looks like his life is going to get a lot more complicated from tomorrow. But the dean approached him and told him if he suddenly got bored with alchemy, he could come to him anytime. As Ling Fong left, Ling Fong remembered about the book and said that he found it on the top of the mountain. He asked the dean for help in understanding the book. Bikan said it's very simple. This spiritual skill can be understood even by an ignorant person. After hearing about the book, the man immediately approached Ling Fong, offering to sell him his book for 100 gold coins. But the guy wasn't interested. But a man asked him just to look at the book. But the guy said he could only look at it for 100 gold coins. But this skill is very rare for Dean. He didn't expect this guy to use a rare skill like this. But suddenly a second man came and handed him 1,000 gold coins. In return, Ayun would look at him. But Ayun said that he only had time to read two sentences and couldn't even memorize them. After all, there are dozens of pages in this book, even if they pay 100,000 gold coins, they will still not understand and learn anything. But the man ordered his children to hurry home and bring him all the gold coins. Ling Fong watched this and told them not to hurry. But it was time for Ling Fong to leave. He said it was too late and he had to go home. The man was unhappy that he was not giving them a chance to read. After all, the man had spent a lot of coins, but in the end they were left with nothing. That night, when he got home, he took out all the riches he'd earned all day. The sister saw all this and said she had never seen so much money in her life. The guy told her that as long as he was with her, he would let her live in poverty. The boy wonders if he can now study alchemy at the academy. But he's afraid that the professor will make him go through hellfire. So he decides he needs to buy some gear so he won't suffer any pain. When they arrived at the academy the next day, everyone was surprised by their appearance. Everyone wondered where they got the cold lion and golden armor from. The guy told Goldie he was going to the alchemy department. And told him to protect his sister. Upon entering the alchemy department, Miss Bing Ming was already waiting for him, holding a whip made especially for Ling Fong. Bin Ming asked the guy what he was wearing. He said he was wearing a new armor that would help him during training. Miss Bing Ming told him to take off his armor. She asked if he wore it to protect himself from her. But if that's the case, he can keep it up. Ms. Bing Ming told him the first thing he should know is how to operate the cauldron. So today he will carry the boiler and learn about its structure. Ling Fong was ready to test people and his eyes were burning with interest. Ms. Bing Ming said that he looked optimistic, but the bowler is there. As he stood in front of the alchemical furnace he realized that it was bigger than his house. Picking it up, he said that it weighed about 5,000 pounds and he could use it for his training. But Bing Ming told the guy to stop because he could destroy the place. 
She gave him instructions on how to use the alchemy furnace. After taking the instructions the guy was happy. And said he wanted to read it right away. But when he opened it, he saw the master's bad handwriting. The guy realized that she writes very poorly, but her explanations are very good. Though he had read a few alchemy books in his past life, but he had no experience in it. People studying alchemy on the continent fall into several categories, and there are still different types of spirits. After reading the master asked him what is the difference between cleansing and straightening pills basic on fire control. The guy said that these two types of pills give off heat. But fire must be combined with air and medicine. When he praised himself, he thought the master would try to humiliate him. But the boy was born with a very good memory, and he can remember all the three thousand books he read on the holy mountain. As he immersed himself, he realized that learning alchemy required pure chi, but he still couldn't use it. And climbing the mountain helped him a lot. After all, tonight he would be able to reach level 5. After reaching level 5, he decided that he needed to try out his new power. He realized that even though he was at level 5, he was no weaker than cultivators at level 6. After all, he had become stronger than in his previous life. The next fine day, a girl said that the liquid fire and animal blood needed to create a nourishing spiritual pill, in addition to the day cloud, immerse in the alchemical furnace, and everything was ready. Ms. Bing Ming asked Ling Feng when he would start. As he started the process, Ming was surprised at the fact that he was at level 5. It turned out that Ling Feng was a very interesting person who had gotten a talent for alchemy and martial arts at the same time. But try after try, he couldn't do it. It was very difficult for him to control Qi. Taking all the strength in his fist he said that this was his eighth attempt and this time he should succeed. Seeing him succeed, Miss Bing Ming was surprised that he had created a pill. And she realized that she had gotten herself a great treasure. Ling Feng said that the pill-making process consists of four steps, purification, fusion, first form and formation. He withdraws the core base and the fusion is successful. Ms. Bing Ming was surprised that he managed to create a pill in three hours. And he is a genius child. She told Ling Feng that he had done a good job, but that he could do better, for she thought that praise might weaken him. Taking his hands to his side, Ling Feng said that unfortunately it took him three hours to finish. And he wondered, how much time did it take her? When she heard such a question, she became agitated and coughed. After all, it takes her three days to do this process. Ms. Bing Ming decided to give Ling Feng three months to create seven basic pills. The boy told her that half a month was enough for him. Half a month later, he came to Ms. Bing Ming with the pills ready. Wiping her eyes, she was surprised. Ling Feng was told by her teacher that rubbing her eyes was useless, for it didn't seem like an illusion to her. She asked him with surprised eyes how he managed to create seven kinds of pills in such a small amount of time. The guy said not only did he make them, but he also made five others, but they're not finished yet. Hearing this, she was very happy for him, and said that he would become a legend of this continent. Ms. Bing Ming reflected that it took her six months to become an alchemist. What's surprising is that Ling Feng is better than her. After all, he is the genius of Linu Academy. But suddenly, while discussing all this, they heard a strange sound. Bing Ming said it sounded like it came from outside. And Ling Feng recognized the voice and said it was Goldie. While outside, a girl was hurting his sister. And wanted his sister to give her the little lion. After all, she wants to trade it for two spiritual pills. The sister said Goldie is part of her family and under no circumstances would she sell him. The girl sighed, and said she was giving her one last chance or she wouldn't leave in one piece today. With a wave of his rope, Goldie jumped at her. But she stiffened and told him that no entry-level monster dared growl at her. With angry eyes, the girl told the little lion cub if he didn't follow her, she would kill him. The girl thought it was an insult to have such an ugly girl in the academy. And today she will tell her grandfather to expel her from the academy Lena. The sister asked Mahjan to stop this torment. After all, she and her brother were having a lot of trouble getting in. But the anger in Mojang's eyes grew bigger and bigger. And no girl like her would dare to speak her name. But Ling Feng manages to grab that rope. But she asked him how dare he stand in front of her. Ling Feng asked her name Ma Zhan. But Ma Zhan told him to stop saying her name, with his filthy mouth. 
But the situation was so serious that Ling Fong told Ma Zhan that it would end today, striking Ling Fong. He said that he was a level 5 warrior with a bronze body. And he would easily defeat a level 2 warrior like her. She didn't expect him to be able to fend her off with the whip. He came up to her and said that she had hurt her sister, so he would kill her. But before he struck, Mo Zhan said that she was the granddaughter of the greatest teacher Mo Zhan. And he can't kill her. As he struck near her head, he realized he had to protect his sister. And he couldn't kill her. My sister said he scared her to death. And she thought he was going to kill her, but luckily he didn't. Ling Fong said he was fine, but she was very badly hurt. And gave her a recovery pill. But suddenly some uncle came out of the crowd and asked Ling Fong, how dare he hit Ma Zhan. Uncle said he was expelled from the academy anyway. And that he shouldn't dare come tomorrow. Ling Fong asked him what he would do if he came tomorrow. Pointing his finger, the uncle said he dared to hit her granddaughter. And the teacher doesn't want him here. Guy told him not to make him angry. Even if the greatest teacher comes, he will not stop in front of him. When the teacher saw this, he was surprised at his evil power. But suddenly Miss Bing Ming intervened and asked Bai Bao what he wanted to do with his disciple. After all, he didn't understand the situation, and he didn't judge fairly. And without reason, he dared to accuse her student. So Ms. Bing Ming decided to tell what had happened. She said that Ma Jian was arrogant and oppressive, for she dared to hit her Yukin sister and his lion, and her disciple was just defending himself. And in a word, Ma Zhan deserved to be beaten by Ling Feng's hands. Bai Bao said to Miss Bing Ming, even if she feels that way, how could he explain it to Elder Mo Shan? Bing Ming said if Mo Shan wants to fight, then let him come to her. And from tomorrow, Bai Bao must not come to the academy. But suddenly one of the teachers came in and started hitting on Bin Min, saying why is she defending this Mauser? The teacher told the dean that Ling Feng had severely injured Ma Zhan. And suggested to the dean that justice be done. But Bing Ming was not silent either and told Dean Mo that her disciple had surpassed Ma Zhan who had recently become an inner disciple. And she also said in confidence that Ling Fong had become a DPNG sure rank novice alchemist. Dean's eyes widened at what he heard. He couldn't believe it. He ended the argument with the words, that's all for today, and told the elder not to get involved in the children's fights. For Mozanu had had a hard time these days, and told the master to teach her well. Dean Mo was happy to hear this, because in just half a month, Ling Fong had become a Dan Shi rank alchemist. And right now, Ling Fong was more important than Ma Zhan. Ms. Bing Ming told Ling Fong that he always gets into trouble like that, and at the very least he should thank her for her help. Bing Ming prompted Jing Cheng to better not go to places like the Outer Ward. And told her to come to the Alchemy Gate later. She would find her a teacher. But suddenly, the incomprehensible occurred to Ling Fong and he undressed thanking Bing Ming for helping her sister. And never put on the armor again. Ms. Bing Ming said although today's problem is solved, she cannot guarantee it in the future. After all, she will not be able to interfere in the problems of the younger generation. Coming to the battle arena, everyone was discussing how Ling Fong had defeated a rank 2 warrior. Balandin said, it was because of his armor. If he was without it, he would be defeated quickly. But suddenly someone shouted that Ling Fong is going to fight again. And he makes to fight Brother Ashing. Brother Ashing is one of the top five disciples, and he has a lot of fighting experience. Oshen told Ling Fong how he dared to hit Mrs. Ma Zhan, but also insulted the elder. So he offered to teach him a lesson. Ling Fong said that he had met many people like him, and they had all been defeated by him. And he wanted to try out his new powers. Oshen told Ling Fong that he was too vain, and he should destroy him today. But this did not frighten Ling Fong, and called Oshen a dog, and told him not to just stand there, but to go and fight him. Pulling out his sword, he jumped up and told Ling Fong that he should die for insulting the teacher. Oshen wondered how Ling Fong could move so fast, but then realized that he had mastered the speed skill. But still, he was not worthy of fighting him. Oshen told him that the worst solution, Ling Fong was to take off his armor. After all, it was only with its durability that he was able to strike Madame Mahjong, and used a yellow level attack skill. Heaven Blast. 
but this didn't surprise Ling Fong in the slightest and he responded with a mutual strike with the ice moon palm. It turned out that Ling Feng's strength was at a high level. And O Shen was surprised that Ling Fong blocked his sword attack. A satisfied and tailed Ling Fong said that against that arrogant Ashen, he hadn't even revealed all his cards, and he had lost so easily, telling the guys who were cheering for O Shen that it was their turn to fight him. But before Ling Fong could finish his words, they were gone. Three days later, at the Alchemy Gate of Linu Academy, Miss Bing Ming heard that there was noise outside again. Miss Bing Ming told Ling Fong that from today, he would start making mid-level pills. An overjoyed Ling Fong said that it would only take him three days for him to make. Three days had passed since the assignment, but the cure had not been made. But Ling Fong had set off several explosions in the alchemy furnace. A sad Ling Fong told Teacher Bing Ming that he wanted to rest. After all, there are bound to be a few days like this every month. But this didn't please Teacher Bing Ming, because he hadn't finished making the pills yet, and asked for a rest she said. And asked him for another explanation. But Ling Fong actually said that he was about to reach the fifth level of martial arts and needed to be alone for a few days. But suddenly, the sister saw that Ling Fong had recovered. Ling Fong said the day he climbed Mount Linu, and the mountain accelerated his healing. And then he said that he started practicing, for he was now at the fourth level of martial arts. Closing her eyes, Teacher Bing Ming thought his words were complete nonsense. However, Qi energy was very important for making pills, so she decided to give him a few days of rest. Ling Feng's sister hugged him and said that she had actually, with the help of his pill, she too had reached the fourth level of martial arts. And she didn't think that he would be able to catch up with her so quickly. Ling Feng said that he could become better. After all, he would make a top-level pill to cure her icy soul. And the first pill he made he decided to eat himself. Ling Feng thought that the road of emptiness was moving him to the next level very quickly. It was still only three days since he arrived in the wilderness, and he had already managed to reach the ninth level of martial arts. A disciple of Dao Chang's ninth level of martial arts, he had already reached it. However, this time, he wants to go beyond it and reach the frontier of martial arts. Though the elixir won't help him, because success depends on ability. He failed to achieve it in a previous life, but there are only a few people in the history of the holy mountain. Ling Feng needs to break through all nine levels and then reunite, but luckily his body can withstand the true agony of destruction. Eventually reaching the borders, his power will be much higher than that of an ordinary warrior. Repeating the same words that he needed to break through the nine levels and then unite again, he did so and obtained a very powerful strength. Having reached the boundaries of martial arts, Ling Fong was very happy, but suddenly, he heard some strange growls. He saw one-eyed wolves, but that didn't scare him and he decided to practice with level 3 wolves. Using the Moonstrike attack, Ling Fong dealt heavy damage to them, but they were also smart and decided to jump on him all at once. But this was also in Ling Feng's favor, because he had a technique called Heavenly Power, someone's dragon power, in reserve. After defeating the wolves, Ling Feng felt that he had reached the limit of martial arts. Only his body strength wasn't enough it seemed he needed to keep practicing, he said. Taking the wolf on his back, he felt they were heavy and just decided to practice with them. But he remembered that he had already been in this wilderness for nine days, and if he stayed any longer, his sister would kill him. All these beasts weigh about three tons, Ling Feng said, and this would allow him and his sister to eat for a long time. Before in the cold mountains of Wushan, it could only barely hold a load of two and a half tons. But now, it could not only carry three tons, but also run at the speed of the wind. But suddenly he didn't notice one of the wolves pouncing on him. And it was the king of the one-eyed wolves. Who had come to bring back his brothers. But after striking him, the wolf simply passed out. Ling Feng said that his punching force was equal to one and a half tons. And even if he is a level four king, his death has long since been attributed. When she got home, sister flew into the room, and was very glad that Ling Feng had returned. And these few days that he had been away from home had made her very worried, she said. Ling Feng told his sister that there was no need to worry, he had just gone to a quiet place for a few days and no more. Seeing the one-eyed wolves, sister told Ling Feng that he shouldn't take such a risk, it was too dangerous. Ling Feng said that he wasn't going to mess around with his own life. 
After all, his body is strong enough to deal with any beasts that meet in his path. The sister told Ling Feng that because he came back late, Master Bing Ming was very angry. And she often hears her sharpening her knife. Entering the academy, Ling Feng asked why it was so noisy. Is there some kind of event coming up? His sister told him while he was away, he missed a lot. And today is the open competition between Linu Academy and Mo Yunsong Academy. Ling Feng said that he had heard of Mo Yunsong, it was a school located in Shenwu. However, what was the reason for the open competition, he thought. Sister said that every three years Mo Yunsong and Linu Academy have a competition between the students, it's called Molindabi, and as long as there is such a competition, the students of both academies can compete. The guy realized that this was a low-level competition, the level of the participants and the level of our students had nothing to do. He said he would watch outside, just to avoid meeting Bing Ming's teacher. The people watching the competition said that Linu Academy would give the winner a yellow grade weapon, and the reward from Mo Yunsong Academy was training one set of brown grade techniques. Hearing this talk, my sister said that she had never seen or heard of yellow class weapons. Hearing his sister's words, Ling Feng hesitated, after all, it was all useless to him, but it seems that his sister's interest had appeared in the yellow grade weapons. Looking at the opponents, the guys from Linu Academy said that they had only won once in the last four competitions. But this year's side has three talents Mo Lan, Ao Shen, and Qian Yong. And they can't lose to Mo Yangzin. Ma Zhan said that they should win this year. And they will definitely have a set of their brown class techniques. Shen didn't distinguish himself either and said that Mo Yunzong against their topmost experts, they would undoubtedly lose. But suddenly, an elder came and said that Mo Yunzong's disciples would be here soon. He told the students to get ready. After all, we need to showcase the power of the academy to Lin. Shen told the elder not to worry, for they had prepared well, and there was no way they would lose to Mo Yunsong Academy. Upon meeting Mo Yunsong Academy, Elderly said that he was personally leading the team, and he was waiting to personally greet them. Academy Mo Yunsong thanked them for waiting for them and apologized for keeping Elder Mo waiting. When Mo Yunsong saw Mo Yunsong's students, she said that they looked bad. They looked like weaklings. Disciple Mo Yunsong said that there was no need for their fourth disciple to take up the task as he Wang Shan was capable of defeating them all without a problem. The disciples of Mo Yunsong Academy said let them do what they want, because if they weren't there, they wouldn't have anyone to mock. The elder walked over and said that it was time for the competition to begin. And a disciple of Mo Yunsong Academy, Wang Shan, walked onto the battlefield and motioned for someone to come up to fight. The fearless and courageous Academy disciple Ao Shan stepped onto the battlefield, and said that he had come to defeat him. A Shan Academy disciple attacked him with a sword. But Wang Shan's strength far exceeded his and with just a sweep of his arm, he defeated the level 7 disciple. Wang Shan laughed and asked all the disciples of Linu Academy are so weak. If that's the case, then he will really deal with all of them. The guys of Linu Academy were outraged by Wang Shan's antics. And welcomed Li Liang from the Academy, and he arrived for a duel with him. But that didn't scare Wang Shan either because he said it doesn't matter to him who he fights when the final is the same. Li Liang attacked him with his level 8 sword, with a slashing attack. But Wang Shan used a hidden strike and defeated him. The guys were very disappointed, because it was the 8th time they failed. After watching the fight, Ling Feng said that Wang Shan didn't have opponents of the disciple level of such strength. The head of the academy, Mo Yun Song, told Mo Shan's brother that her student already had the level of a martial arts expert, thus it could be helped that Wang Shan was stronger than all of his students. Mo Shan laughed and said that most of his Linu Academy disciples had surpassed the level of experts, so they would not be able to defeat them. The head of the academy, Mo Yun Song, said that Mo Shan speaks as if his experts are very strong. And he can't wait to see them. Wang Shan said that defeating her would be the ninth consecutive victory. When he entered the fight, he realized that she was a martial arts expert. He's going to have a tough time. Mo Lan told him that he was unfortunately not high enough to fight her yet. After launching her attack, Mo Lan stunned Wang Shan and said in the future when he saw her, it was best to avoid her. But the second student of the academy, Mo Yangzen, came out to fight. He heard Mo Lan's words and said that he would only remember the honor of his defeated opponent. Mo Lan called him naive and said she would destroy him. 
But all the girl's blows were repelled. She realized that her punch was suppressed, and his style was very similar to Ling Feng's, so fast and ruthless. Mo Yunxiong's disciple told her that she had used two techniques and defeated Wang Shan, but he would use two techniques and defeat her. Entering the battle, Ma Zhan realized that her affairs were not good. And she was defeated by Mo Yunzong's disciple. When she came to her senses, the first thing Ma Zhan asked was how the competition was going. But this guy was beating everyone who stood in front of him. Ma Zhan realized that Lin Du turned out to be a fourth level martial arts expert, and he had no trouble defeating their second level experts. The head of the academy, Mo Yunzong, told Elder Mo Shan that if Linu Academy didn't have people capable of taking the fight, then this year's competition could be ended. But suddenly, someone shouted from the crowd to wait. It was Ling Fong who said that he hadn't come out yet. He went up to the guys and told them they were all worthless, because they had allowed some lowlife to beat them up. Elder Mo Shan also scolded Elder Mo Shan for unrequitedly approaching the competition without summoning Ling Fong to fight. But this did not please Elder Mo Shan and called him a rascal, and how dare he talk to him in such a tone he asked. For that matter said Elder Mo Shan, they are asking one of the top disciples to come out to fight Ling Fong. Since he's such a boy, and is thinking of fighting against Mo Yunzong's disciples, he'll help him but after he waits for him to defeat him. He will have a serious conversation with Mo Shan said. Ling Feng thanked Elder Mo Shan for his support. And said that a stick like this would be enough for him to deal with a few weaklings from Mo Yun Song. One man one stick, will kill them all. The opponent told Ling Feng that he could still leave, but if he dared to enter the competition, he would immediately break his leg. But Ling Feng was not intimidated by this and arrived already for the fight. His opponent said that if he dared to come, there was no need to accuse him of being ruthless. Ling Feng said, to beat him, opponent's status is not enough. After all, among them, there is the only one who can fight him. The best student of Mo Yunsong Academy. Ma Zhan said that she thought that Ling Feng would challenge Luan Du, but he ended up backing off and in the end, he chose a no-name disciple. The opponent asked Ling Feng, did he want to challenge him? But he first said that Ling Feng should fight the first four disciples, and then he would think about it. Elder Mo Shan couldn't understand how Ling Feng could see that this young man was the best. However, seeing was one thing, but being able to win was another. The unknown opponent said that Ling Feng is brave. And he will agree to fight if Ling Feng can defeat them. The opponent said that he was a level 4 expert, and if he killed him, let Ling Feng not take offense. But Ling Feng was not intimidated by this and said that he would beat him first, and he would consider it a warm-up. After striking Ling Feng, the opponent couldn't understand where Ling Feng had disappeared to. But at that time, Ling Feng was already behind him and said that he was too slow. His opponent decided to use his strongest yellow level Mahamudra technique. But in appearance, this did not surprise Ling Feng. Ling Feng's sister saw that Lin Du was using the destruction technique. Lin Du is already quite powerful, it's impossible to imagine this young man being so strong, and Ling Feng was hit by the Budu. Lin Du couldn't believe his eyes that his strongest punch didn't even hit Ling Feng, and he had gone somewhere else again. But Ling Feng had had enough of all this and decided to end this fight. With a backhand strike, Ling Du was defeated. The guys couldn't believe how Luan Du was beaten by him with a stick. Not only was Ling Feng incredibly fast, but he also had such strength. Ling Feng stood in front of the disciples and said that Mo Yun Song had three more inept students, and told them to all get up. But the fourth level expert Dong Feng came out to fight. He said that if Ling Feng was so confident, he wouldn't treat him like that. Ling Feng said if the three of them went out, there might have been a chance, but counting on you alone was a big mistake. After all, they can't beat him. But Dong Feng realized that the boy was capable of destroying his techniques. Mo Yinsong's disciples were surprised that Ling Feng had calmly defeated the top two. And Mo Yinsong's disciples decided to go out with the two of them and told Ling Feng not to make a big fool of himself. After all, the Sun Brothers will raise him up. Ling Feng said that the two of them were also only level 4 experts. And asked them if they had come to face death together. After attacking Ling Feng, the brothers offered him a glimpse of their yellow level technique. Golden Hammer Strike. But these useless attacks did nothing for Ling Feng. 
and he said that they disappointed him. But the following blows were also in vain. After all, Ling Feng was so strong and fast that he snuck up from behind and said that in order to defeat him, he had to keep improving. Mo Yunsong's disciples had already realized that Ling Feng was truly unstoppable, taking one stick and beating four of their fighters. Ma Zhan was surprised by his real strength. Whereas he had been easily attacked by her before, now he feared that she would be the end of him. Standing on the podium, Ling Feng asked them if there were any more who had not surrendered. He ordered those who had not surrendered to get up immediately, as there was no need to waste his time. Everyone refused to fight him. But a stranger from Mo Yangzin's team said he would fight him. This stranger's name was Dong Shuei. The guy's exit was very uplifting, Mo Yunsong Academy shouted for him to avenge them. Standing against each other, Ling Feng told him to show him how strong the Academy's top disciple Mo Yunsong was. Dong Shuei told Ling Feng to show his full power in battle, otherwise he had no chance against him. Ling Feng said when the need arises, he will definitely show his full power. Well then, Dong Shui said that he wouldn't waste time, and ceremonize with him for too long and used a yellow level attack, the Mahamudra strike. Ling Feng realized that this Dong Shui was not so simple. The same fourth level expert, but Mahamudra's strike is much more serious than Luan Du's. Dong Shui said that it was just a warm-up. He decided to demonstrate two attacks in a row at once. Ling Feng said that it was unexpected that he was able to strike two punches at once at the same time. Dong Shui said that he couldn't imagine that Linu Academy had such disciples who could grapple with him for so long. And Dong Shui decided to use a black level technique. Chaotic rock strike it was a surprise to you that he used techniques of this level. Ling Feng reminded him that he was in someone else's academy and he wouldn't want him to ruin everything, and said that Dong Shui was making him surprised again, and decided to familiarize him with the power of the heavenly level technique. From the strong wind, the academy students couldn't open their eyes. After all, these two were very intimidating. Dong Shui couldn't imagine that his fourth level reception would not only not break him, but would leave Dong Shui at a disadvantage. But a satisfied Ling Feng asked if he had any other tricks. Dong Shui stood up and said that she was very strong and was a level 5 expert. The guys were wondering if she was a level 5 expert using level 4 techniques, would Ling Feng be able to resist against her? Ling Feng said that she had finally decided to show all her skills. After all, a level 5 expert and level 4 techniques, this matched the abilities of a level 6 expert. It would be a good training for him. Dong Shui told Ling Feng that he was very lucky, so she would show him the most powerful attack she could do. Ling Feng said that he was expecting this and shouted to hurry up and demonstrate her attack to him. And demonstrated a retaliatory sword strike with a force of one and a half tons. Using a heaven level technique and the dragon fire sword, Ling Feng chopped this stone into pieces. And after passing through the fire stone, Ling Feng said he had reached her. And delivered a devastating blow. Standing in front of her, he said that Dong Shui was very resilient and strong. But unfortunately she lost. Mo Yunsong Academy were very disappointed with the competition, because who would have thought that even Dong Shui would lose? Evil Mahjong said that Ling Feng, sooner or later, would become their most dangerous enemy in the academy. Mo Shan stood up and said that the competition was over, and Mo Yunsong's disciples were much stronger than before. But the head of the academy, Mo Yunzen, was also surprised and said that Linu Academy still had real talents with great potentials. The head of Mo Yunsong Academy walked over to Ling Feng and said that this book was his reward, a black level technician of Mo Yunsong Academy. Let him treat it with care. An elder Mo Shan handed him the yellow level weapon of Linu Academy. Ling Feng was overjoyed and thanked both elders. Ling Feng told his sister that his body is much more powerful and he is not used to using weapons and this precious sword he gives to her. Happy sister took this precious sword in her arms and said that she would definitely cherish it. Opening Ling Feng's book, saw the chaotic rock striking technique used by Dong Shui, and it was a technique he decided was very cool. So they decided to make an auction. Shouting that precious black level black technique of Mo Yunsong Academy, the starting price is 10 entry level pills. Academy elder Mo Yunsong saw this and said that this boy was so stupid. Having acquired a black level technique and not seeing it as something valuable. 
but how could he think of taking it and selling it, he thought, so the elder decided to buy it. He took the opportunity to return their book. It was somehow better than letting the people in Linu Academy practice it, but Elder M. O. Sean also offered fifteen pills. He decided to take the opportunity to buy it for their family, because this chaotic rock strike is an excellent technique. But with each argument, the elders kept increasing the stakes and increasing the stakes. Ling Fong, who was watching, was glad, for the more they argued, the more money he would earn. But suddenly, the beautiful Miss Bin Min came and said that she was giving a hundred entry-level pills. Elder M. O. Shan said that Bing Ming is very cruel, the first sentence and immediately such a big price. His pills are many, but not more than hers. Academy Elder M. O. Yun Song decided to give twenty mid-level pills. And told Ling Fong to know the measure, because twenty mid-level pills were enough to buy any black-level technique on the market. But once again, Ms. Bing Ming stepped in and offered forty pieces. But Academy Elder M. O. Yun Song couldn't leave them the book and offered fifty mid-level pills. Taking the pills, Ling Fong thanked the elder. And said that the next time he had such an opportunity to get rich, be sure to call him. Dong Shue left and told Ling Fong that today's competition was over. When they waited for the next competition between their schools, she would definitely destroy him. A joyful Ling Fong said that he was expecting her challenge. And in his mind, he realized that this Dong Shue was not easy. Although he had defeated her, but in the end, he was experiencing internal discomfort. But suddenly, Teacher Bing Ming snuck up and put her hand to Ling Feng's throat and said that it had been a long time since they had seen each other. The smiling Ling Feng was startled when he saw the tip of his sword and said long time no see, your excellency. Bing Ming said to Ling Feng, apparently he outside has gained useful experience, but she doesn't know if his body can withstand a few cuts, this black level Linka. But a frightened Ling Feng said you what your holiness. He'd better go make pills. But Smart Bin Min asked him what other pills he had. He has a lot of pills at the moment. Noble Ling Fong said that these pills are for the teacher, with reverence he held them out to Bing Ming, and asked him to accept them. Taking the pills, Bing Ming said that it was a little small. And sent him to make the pills. And gave him ten days, if he couldn't produce a solid pill, then let him wait for it. An outraged Ling Fong said nine days wouldn't be enough and asked her if she wanted to kill him. Bin Min agreed with him. She said he had two choices, to go prepare the pills or to die now. Frightened Ling Fong said something will prepare pills. And in his mind, he realized that this lady was very cruel. After all, he had already made pills in solid form. But luckily he didn't die. But the dean came up to them and said that he was definitely not wrong, because he had heard that Ling Fong had saved the face of their academy. Placing his hand on Ling Feng's shoulder said that he was now able to defeat the best at the expert stage, an absolutely outstanding achievement. And the dean thinks that he should leave the alchemy department and move to him, become his disciple. But the indignant Ms. Bing Ming didn't like it and asked the abbot how he could come and boss her around. Hearing these words from Ming Bing, the dean thought that she was evil, because she was the only one who could keep her students in fear. After all, Ling Fong is a true talent, the best way to develop his talent is through martial arts. Ling Fong didn't think for a long time and apologized to Dean and said that he liked making pills better. The joyful Miss Bing Ming realized that her charisma was too strong, in front of them, and they didn't stand a chance. Ten days later, Ling Fong kept preparing pills. But all the agony and attempts were pointless. An indignant Ms. Bing Ming said that these ten days, Ling Fong was alone and didn't let her check on him. And as a result, she sees this. Ling Fong said, well almost, and he wants to ask her to look at these six mid-level pills, and successful preparation. Taking the pill in her hands, Ms. Bing Ming said that Ling Fong was gifted in pill making. After all, he had advanced to a mid-level master of pill-making. An overjoyed Ling Fong decided to ask Bing Ming for the weekend. But an indignant Bing Ming asked him why he needed a weekend again. Ling Fong said that he had discovered his own limitation, and he needed to calm down and meditate for a while. Otherwise, something like a furnace exploding might happen. Bing Ming said that a master in pill-making is different from a martial arts expert, it's more about talent and intelligence than hard work. 
It is indeed necessary to reflect on it properly. The teacher agreed to give him a rest and gave him ten days off. And if he didn't return after ten days, she would not be ceremonious with him. A surprised Ling Fong said that he would definitely come back. Sister hugged Ling Fong and told him to come back early, and not to make her worry about him. But when he left, he fell into the deafness. He said that he was Ling Fong, a talent in martial arts, in his rebirth having reached the limit of the disciple level, so unexpectedly would die here today. Stalo's wild beasts took him and chased him into a tree. This became the fifth level of a martial arts expert. He realized that he hadn't fully recovered from the battle with Dong Shui yet, and right now, he shouldn't be directing them at himself. He was very cautious. The skin of these boars is tough and the meat is rough, but against all odds he decided to attack them. I can't beat them, I can't run either, it looks like he only has one choice left. He's raising his level of martial arts proficiency right now. After taking the pill, he reached the boundary but he still wanted to go up. He began to feel that he was about to reach the top. At the apprentice level, he wouldn't have been able to overpower the boars, but now a single strike is enough, and that is the power of a martial arts expert. Ling Fong had broken through to the level of an expert. And none of these boars had pressured him. He was confident that he could progress so quickly, after cutting up the boar and putting it on the stove. Ling Fong ate it and decided to thank it for being so tasty. But suddenly someone came out of the bushes and shouted for help. They asked Ling Fong for help. Ling Fong asked who were they? And what are they doing here? They introduced themselves as M.O. Humor's disciples. And they said that they were not criminals, but that they had come across a waterfall while practicing. And it's a very turbulent waterfall, you could die. Ling Fong said that the force of the current in the waterfalls is very huge, but not to the point where they are so frightened. The guys said the problem was in the pool into which the waterfall flows. And he found a spot there that had a golden sheen to it. Initially, they thought maybe it was some kind of healing agent or some kind of powerful weapon. Who knows maybe this light can absorb people's consciousness, he just took a glance and a stabbing pain swept over his eyes. And they ran away as fast as they could, but about ten of their brothers and mentors might die there. Ling Fong thought about the guy's words about the golden luster that could swallow a person's soul. Spending another day in the wilderness, Ling Fong found a waterfall powerful enough, and a great place to harden his body. Ling Fong considered because last night, those two disciples of Mo Yun Song, were talking about the golden luster that should be here. But suddenly he saw a bright golden color in the water. And he jumped into the water after that light, for he thought that perhaps it was really a thing. And indeed he felt the closer he got, the more painful his eyes became. When he reached the light he saw the dead flower. In addition to martial arts and bodily techniques, there is another kind of technicians on the land of Lentu. They can kill people with the help of telekinesis, they are masters of spiritual techniques. However, those who wish to become a master of spiritual practice must first master telekinesis, and the golden flower is a kind of extinguisher of the souls of the dead. As he got closer, Ling Feng's body began to fail. He was trapped by this flower and couldn't move. Clutching at his throat, it was no longer easy for him to stay conscious. And he doesn't want to die that way, but suddenly a miracle happened, and something was pressed into his forehead. It seemed to be that mysterious golden seal that suppressed the effects of the flower and also took a hold of his soul. Ling Fong walked outside and watched the flower, which soon turned into a small golden sword. Ling Fong himself began to feel some strange actions. After a while, he realized that he had acquired the skill of telekinesis. And became a practitioner of spiritual power. Ling Fong said that the very powerful power of telekinesis was, roughly speaking, a threat to all life on earth. The power of telekinesis is not a quick thing, and there's no need to rush. The most important thing right now is the waterfall hardening. We need to increase its ability to withstand three tons of force. Ten days later, Miss Bingming saw that Ling Fong had not returned. Out of anger that he was taking advantage of her, she stuck her sword into the table. For ten days, Ling Fong had been in the middle of nowhere practicing on a waterfall. After he learned how to withstand a load of four tons, he began to lose consciousness. But after a while, the boys from Linu Academy made their way into the wilderness. 
The conduit was the dean himself. The dean said according to Ling Feng's capabilities, an expert level werewolf wouldn't threaten him, so he must have gotten to this mountain range. Ms. Bing Ming said he's been missing for a month. And she thinks he must have been eaten by dogs by now. Sister said that in words, Teacher Bin Ming is very angry, lonely she can see that deep down she is worried about Ling Feng, and this time specifically asked the head of the search team to join the search. But suddenly they heard loud noises, and Dean stopped them and said there was a huge werewolf in front of them. The sister shouted that it was Ling Feng. But when Ling Feng saw them, he was very happy and asked how they had come to be here. The evil Min Bin tells him that he's fine now, but she assumes he'll be in trouble soon. After all, she had given him ten days of rest, but he had extended the rest on his own, to a whole month. Does he want to die she asked. Hiding behind his sister, Ling Feng said that it was his fault. Next time, there was no way he would break his promise. Sister asked Ling Feng how his skin became so white. After all, it was darker before. Ling Feng said this was Ling Feng's twelfth day in the wilderness. He remembers losing consciousness then. And his body got even better, and it seems that while he was in a coma, the load his body could bear increased to four tons. And apparently Ling Feng said hardening himself at the waterfall really does work. And he would like to continue. And in the past few days, the current has become stronger, the load has reached a force of five tons said Ling Feng. Five tons is the threshold. And if he was even more assertive, he would definitely achieve a breakthrough to the next level. And in reality, nothing had changed, and he was just bathing. And Ling Feng's body load threshold of five tons passed successfully. But that seal stuck in Ling Feng's head is the seal of true water. Ms. Bing Ming asked Ling Feng was swimming. He was really enjoying the beauty of nature here, wasn't he? The dean told Bin Ming's teacher that she was being too aggressive. After all, that's not the way to go, and you can't get results that way. Therefore, Ling Feng, wouldn't you want to consider leaving the alchemy department? asked the dean. After all, the dean would personally train him in martial arts, and would absolutely become a new generation martial arts genius. Ming Bing told the abbot that she needed to remind him of something. In two months' time, there will be an alchemist competition between Mo Yuna's academies, and Ling Feng is their special student in the alchemy department. And that's why this competition is so important to Lin's academy reputation. Guess we'll have to try to poach him next time. Ling Feng asked two months. That's very short. And he wondered how many participants are involved. Bing Ming said that there would be nine students from Mo Yutong coming, plus him, totaling ten students. Ling Feng wondered if he could be the first out of ten. An angry Bing Ming said that she was going to slash him now, because he could make a pill better than everyone else and be the first. Bing Ming told Ling Feng to concentrate, because Mo Yun Song was very strong, his opponent would most likely be more than one top-level master. So he should immediately prepare a top-level pill for her. Ling Feng decided that first he would make a top-level sawtooth use it to heal Cold Soul and her sister. Ling Feng tried to make pills. But every attempt was a failure. After all, these top-level pills were very complicated. Ling Feng told Bing Ming that he thought he was close, but unfortunately he still didn't have enough perseverance. Ms. Bin Min said he's got a good pace. There's nothing to worry about. One step at a time and it'll work out. Ling Feng thanked the teacher and said that she was very kind to him. Miss Bing Ming told him to try hard, and he should try harder. Cunning Ling Feng said that it was good that he hid it and the teacher didn't discover it. Otherwise, she would have taken the pill from him. The level of the pill is increasing and so are the demands. If you want to reach perfection, you need to train hard every day, for several years. But Ling Feng was a talent in alchemy after all and was unexpectedly able to find such a way to prepare the pill. All it takes is a little telekinesis. Focus his mind on the process of making the pills, the likelihood of success will immediately increase. The power of a spiritual master can materialize with great precision. The control of materialization in alchemy is in no way comparable to the abilities of an alchemist. And the probability of success said Ling Feng, almost 100%, and equal to him cannot be found anywhere. Ling Feng said he should count. These days, behind Ms. Bing Ming's back, how many pills above the level he secretly made. Ms. Bing Ming said, even though Ling Feng constantly fails at making pills, 
he respects the teacher so he can consider that there is progress. Even if he doesn't make one top-level pill, he is still a good student of hers. A joyful Ling Fong said that all the pills that he had prepared is his. He won't even give one pill to teacher Bing Ming. Bin Ming said that this boy is getting better despite a decade-long string of failures and is listening to her more and more. And it seems it's easy to be a disciple. After a month, the boy tried every day. But why wasn't there a single successful day, she wondered. Walking into Ling Feng's room Ling Feng was startled, for he saw the teacher. Miss Bing Ming said that because he hadn't made a pill in a month, she had come specially to look at his progress. Ling Fong asked her if she wanted to watch the process, because it's not everyone's cup of tea. Ms. Bing Ming controlled him resting on the hammock. And asked him if he was ready or not. Because she was tired of waiting. Ling Fong said he was ready while she was sleeping, so he did everything. And gave her one warm pill. As she looked at it, she asked if it was a top quality flight. She called him a parasite because he had finally made a top quality pill. Good job, keep trying, she said. But suddenly, one pill fell out of Ling Fong's pocket. And he realized that he'd been burned. When Bing Ming saw it, she said it was another top quality pill. She didn't call him a scoundrel, because he had actually been able to make a top level pill before. And asked him to tell her how many pills he had made secretly from her. Frightened Ling Fong said not at all. Just these two things. But actually, in his head, he remembered that he had made about a hundred pills. And if Bing Ming found them, he'd be dead. Cutting open his pants, Bin Min found more pills. She called him a nasty boy for not showing all the pills. Bin Min said he's terrible because she trusted him. And she doesn't even expect him to take anything for himself. It's all hers. Bin Ming said that she was patient and encouraged him sincerely but he ended up playing with her. It seems that it is pointless to cheer up and treat such a person well, so it is better to be tough and strict, she thought. Previously, she had thought that if he improved his alchemy skill this month, it would be an achievement. But never even she had thought that he would be able to make the highest level pills. The day of the competition had arrived. Sister asked Ling Fong if he was well prepared for today's alchemy competition. After all, she had heard that Mo Yun-Song had quite a few top-level alchemy masters. Bing Ming showed his sister that these were all top-level saws created by his brother. After all, the best teachers have better students. Under her guidance, Ling Fong became a top-level alchemy master. Ling Fong said that as for the best teachers, the best students, this lady just ripped him off. Unfortunately, she doesn't know that he's not just some high-level alchemy master. Ling Fong said that he will definitely win the alchemy competition. And he already has a couple of trump cards ready for the competition. The dean told Ling Fong that they say the opponent is not weak at all. And asked him if he was confident. An overjoyed Ling Fong said that he was absolutely sure that he would be the best among all the students. Teacher Bin Ming said that there are a total of 10 people and he will be the first. And if he can't take the first place, he shouldn't even think about asking for a vacation in the future. Ling Fong said that alchemy is not very important but vacation is. And told the teacher to calm down because these nine are just worthless, and watch him smear them. The gossiper said that Mo Yunzong's nine disciples are extremely talented, there are already some really savvy top-level alchemy masters. The guy said it would be difficult then. After all, Ling Fong is a tough fighter. But as for alchemy, can he beat the masters? But suddenly, everyone shouted that Mo Yinsong's men had arrived. It was a surprise to them that Director Xia had arrived in person. The dean said that this year was the first alchemist competition of the two academies, it was of great significance to their academy. And he welcomed Elder Lin. But suddenly, a disciple came up to Ling Fong and asked is he the unique disciple of the alchemy faculty of Linu Academy? It is said that he is very tough in fighting, what are his skills in alchemy he asked. When the disciples saw Ling Fong, they said that he was just a kid and they thought he was fighting all the time. They're afraid he doesn't understand alchemy. Ling Fong just watched them laugh. And said when he won them, they would cry. The dean said since both teams were ready, he was ready to declare the alchemy competition open. And said that the competition will be held in three parts, the first part of the competition is to make a quality pill, no matter what level. 
The main thing is to make the structure as good as possible, and those whose pills are of the highest quality go on. And after four hours, finish, and out of ten contestants, five go on. Mo Yinxiong, an alchemy student, told Ling Feng that five people were left in the first part. She said she thought Ling Feng would end it there. Ling Feng said that he wasn't worried about dealing with them at all. So he decided to borrow Bing Ming's chaise long to lie down. Ms. Bing Ming wondered what this boy was doing, because during the first part of the competition, he suddenly decided to sleep. Elder Lin told Principal Xia that their disciple is indeed very peculiar. And he means that using such unusual methods will result in losing. The dean said that this student had a very special way of thinking that they as elders could not understand. Mo Yinxiong, an alchemy student, said that she still wonders if he's really talented. But in reality, he seems like a total jerk. Ms. Bing Ming asked Ling Feng if he was going to ask for a weekend off. If he won, she would give him two weeks off. But Ling Feng decided to put his own terms and offered a month. Bing Ming agreed to his terms. However, if he did not win, she would make him remember what inhumanity was. Ling Feng said that and he will definitely win and make them remember what inhumanity is. The disciples heard what Ling Feng was saying. They said he was too arrogant. He's very smug and talkative. And he doesn't give them any credit. Ling Feng said that it looked like he would have to show what he could do in alchemy to these students. Bing Ming saw the cyclone of martial arts flooding in the process. And Ling Feng is surprising her more and more with his skills. The dean said that Ling Feng was incredibly surprised. Previously, he had assumed that he was only physically fit and a master of alchemy. But now he couldn't imagine that he was not only in good physical condition, but had also reached the level of a martial artist. Ling Feng's sister noticed that he was growing up very fast. And time flew by as he became a martial arts expert. The guys were also surprised that Ling Feng was a martial arts expert. And that he has incredible strength. Since Ling Feng had grown to become a martial arts expert, it turns out he had no time to study alchemy either said for the guys. In the process of obtaining the pill, Ling Feng calculated every step, and finally moved to the power of telekinesis. But by then, the guys from Mo Yunzong Academy had already prepared pills and were congratulating each other. However, they said Lin is the coolest. Not only is the quality perfect but the pill is mid-level. Elderly said that these guys were just self-praising again. Although the pills are only entry-level and mid-level, but the quality is really good. The dean said that Mo Yunxiong could create talents. But he wondered if Mo Yunsong's nine students had already completed the task, but why Ling Feng hadn't finished it yet with only 15 minutes left. Ling Feng realized that he was in bad shape, after all, fire power required more strength and control than telekinesis. The Mo Yunsong guys said that the fourth hour was about to end and then the boy would never cook anything. And in their opinion, the competition could end. Bing Ming said considering Ling Feng's skills, he should have finished first. Why is he stalling for so long, she thought. Did he have some unforeseen difficulties? But a friend boomed and smoke sprinkled. The Mo Yunsong guys started laughing and said they knew he wouldn't make it. But suddenly he pulled a fry out of the oven and said it was hard. Ling Feng told the teacher not to worry. After all, he had done the sawing before them, it was just boring to rest, so he boiled some potatoes. But suddenly, he took out his pill. Mo Yangzen's disciples were very surprised that he had created a top-level pill. Elderly took it in his hands and said that it was an exceptional talent. Not only did he make a top-level pill, but also a perfect quality pill. The distressed guys from Mo Yunzong Academy hated him. And Ling Feng smilingly wished them a good journey, for their paths were diverging. Mo Yunzong's student hit Ling Feng and said that it was only the first round. After lunch, there would be a second round and they would tear it up. Ling Fong told her not to be in such a hurry. Because when the time comes, he'll kill all four of them. The guys have realized that this kid is terribly talented. And it's not easy to get him out, so they need to come up with a plan. Elderly told the dean that Linu Academy has a really good student. The dean said it was very kind of Elder Lin. After lunch, the second part of the competition, we can rest for now. The dean said the second part of the competition is quantitative. Pill levels don't matter. Whoever makes the most pills wins. 
And after 8 hours, 3 contestants will be eliminated. Mo Yun Song, a student at Mo Yun Song Academy, told Ling Fong that he was very daring. But would he have the courage to make top-level pills with her? Ling Fong said that's what he needed. Making top-quality pills. It's very interesting, and when the time is up, if she loses, he'll kick her. The apprentice agreed to his terms. And if he loses, she'll punch him in his piggy face. The dean told Ling Fong don't let yourself be fooled. If you make low-level pills, you can make more. Bing Ming said to the principal that there was no need to worry. After all, Ling Fong is very smart, if he decides to accept the challenge. Rest assured that he will surely do well. Mo Yun Song, a student at Mo Yun Song High School, said that Ling Fong was caught. After all, only two people will come out of the third round, and she will not let him go any further. After all, Ling Fong and her make top tier pills together, so because there won't be enough of them, they'll be out. Ling Fong said that Mo Yun Song's people are so stupid, after all, they assume that he doesn't t see it, that it is a trick. So he thought it was time to show his first trump card. Disciple Lin said that he had easily made 10 mid-level pills to win for sure. Bing Ming said that the current situation was too dangerous. If Ling Fong wanted to be among the top two, he would have to make at least 8 pills, but he chose to make the highest level. Academy student Mo Yun Song said that unfortunately, she didn't finish it. Out of the five top-level pills, she only finished four. But luckily she hurt Ling Fong. After all, he wasn't done yet, and it looks like this is the first defeat she's left him with. But suddenly a stone jumped out and hit that student. It was Ling Fong who apologized and said that he hadn't kept track of the time and the cauldron exploded. But the joyful disciple told Ling Fong that his cauldron had been blown up. Therefore, he had lost. But Ling Fong told her not to be angry and threw her one top-level pill as damage. Taking the pill, she said he must have done something. However, if he only did one thing, it wasn't enough to win. Ling Fong said if one wasn't enough for her, he still had nine grand and could give it to her. Bing Ming was surprised that he was making ten top-level pills at a time. The boy suddenly hid this maneuver discreetly. Even she didn't know anything. The dean said that he had learned earlier that Ling Fong was terrifyingly talented in martial arts, but he couldn't imagine that his talent in alchemy was even more terrifying. Elderly said that they had previously made Linu Academy a disgrace, but who would have thought that now they themselves would become so worthless? Mo Yun Song Academy's disciple Mo Yun Song was upset because all three of their disciples had been killed by this little guy. But Ling Fong shouted at her not to leave and she asked him if she'd forgotten their bet. He hadn't kicked her yet. Elder Lee said it's just an alchemy consciousness network, nothing more. And he didn't think it was necessary to use martial arts when using betting. Mo Yun Song, a student of Mo Yun Song Academy, walked up to Ling Fong and told him not to rejoice so early. After all, Brother Ling is a true alchemy genius. After giving her a kick in the ass, Ling Fong said that in the third round, he would definitely make it. Seeing this, Elderly said that even though he was not used as a martial arts expert, he was still very strong. Bing Ming told Ling Fong that tomorrow is the third round and if he is ready. After all, that Lin Shang Tian is very capable and dangerous. They say he became a top-level alchemy master a few years ago. Ling Fong asked and what, a high-level master. He is only concerned about one thing. Teacher Bing Ming month of vacation is still in force he asked. On the second day, Ling Shan met Ling Fong and said that he would completely blow him away today. The smiling and strong Ling Fong told him that he was very cocky. And his words will ruin him. But suddenly, the dean came out and said that the third round of the Linu and Mo Yun Song Academy Alchemist competition was open. And in this battle, it's Ling Fong versus Lin Shang Tian. The dean said that the third round of the alchemy competition would be to see who could make the best pill and who would be the winner. The round will last 12 hours. Ling Fong said looking at the materials that Lin Shan had chosen, it looked like he was going to make a top-level warming saw. If by his account it's like this, then Ling Fong has won. Because he wants to make a mystery level pill, Ling Fong said that sometimes a mysterious master alchemy could surpass any boundaries, the mysterious level pill she made was much better than just for the top level. It can be said, 
This pill is missing half a step to reach the heavenly level said Ling Fong. Elder Lin said that the disciple of Linu Academy is enthusiastic. And it looks like this one might realize he's in trouble. Bing Ming said that Elder Lin is being too boastful. Elder Lin is extremely overconfident today, and she has a bad feeling about it. Ling Fong said that the liquid pill was done, everything was going smoothly. But somewhere, he saw a catch. After all, Ling Shan clearly understands that he is capable of making a top-level pill. He wondered why he was so confident today. He obviously had a method to defeat him. And he was Emo Yinsong's strongest disciple, after all. But suddenly, he realized that Lin Shan could also make a mysterious level pill, and even a higher level pill. Now making a mysterious level pill is meaningless said Ling Fong. Even though he had never done it before, he would have to take the risk now. So he decides he needs a pill that's as unadulterated as possible. So he uses the essence of a martial arts expert and infuses it into the pill. The dean was surprised that he had raised the air furnace for cooking. He asked Bin Ming if there was such a method of making pills. Ms. Bing Ming didn't understand what that boy was up to either. She had never seen him make pills like that before. In the process, Ling Fong repeated that he needed to introduce the essence of a martial arts expert when forming the pill. But suddenly, Lin Shan said ready. Elder Lin said despite the fact that it is a warming saw it has reached a mysterious level in addition to this top grade quality. Last night, Elder Lin told Lin Shan that based on Ling Feng's methods that he had seen, the elder was certain that he did not yet know how to make a heavenly level pill but rather, he only knew how to make a mysterious level pill. Lin Shan already has many years of experience in making mysterious level pill. If this boy has the ability to make mysterious level pills, it is still impossible for their quality to surpass his said elderly. Bin Ming said that yesterday's victory came too easily, causing her to underestimate her opponent. The dean told teacher Bing Ming to be patient. After all, Ling Feng's disciples' eyes are burning and he won't give up. Ling Feng told himself in his mind that he would prepare a much better pill than the mysterious level pill. Bing Ming couldn't understand what Ling Feng was doing in the end. After all, in the third part of the competition, he always finishes last as usual, can't it be done faster? The disciples said that Ling Shan had made a mysterious level pill so early. It looks like Ling Feng can't defeat him anymore. Suddenly, a ball came out of the furnace. When Ling Feng grabbed it, he didn't realize what the result would be. Ling Shan was surprised at what Ling Feng had already done. The disciple told him not to worry. After all, as she could see, the quality of what Ling Feng had done was not good. Bing Ming walked up to him and asked him what kind of pill he made after all. And he handed her a black colored pill. The student said Ling Feng is just messing with their heads. Vel his teacher can't recognize his pill either. Elder Lin asked to look at that pill. But Bing Ming said that it wasn't in this section, and they would just admit defeat. The student said to teacher Bin Ming it's just a competition after all. Since her student had already made a pill, why not let them watch it to broaden their horizons, she said. Elder Lin told teacher Bing Ming if he saw correctly then it must be a heavenly level pill. The dean was surprised because the heaven level pill was still a level above the mysterious level pill. Actually said Bing Ming that the quality of this pill is very bad, because of that it is completely ugly, but it is a real heavenly level pill. Miss Bing Ming realized that this boy's true talent at this age had already made a heavenly level. She was afraid that the people in Mo Yun Song would hate him, so she wanted to admit defeat but there was no way to keep it a secret. Elderly said that Mo Yun Song had actually lost. The dean thanked them for their fair competition. The dean announced that the winner of this competition was Linu Ling Fong, a student of the academy. The disciples of Linu Academy said that Mo Yun Song's followers had gotten to the point where they weren't shy about coming to their Linu Academy and showing off. A single heaven level pill immediately put everything in place. A disappointed student Mo Yunsang said that he was pissed off by all of this. They came to bury the Linu Academy, and as a result, they suddenly lost. Academy student Mo Yunsong said that in a few years, Brother Lin would definitely be much cooler than this boy. Lin Shan said that she was wrong. After all, the boy had broken the boundary of his ability right during the competition by making a heavenly level pill. His talent level is extremely high perhaps he himself will not reach such a level in his entire life.
The disciples said that they would then wait for the competition between Linu and Imo Yun Song, and then let their other disciples settle the score by avenging Brother Lin. The apprentice said but then we'd have to wait a few months. When they come back today, they'll call all the brothers and sisters. They'll go into the wilderness and give the Linu Academy students a real hell, torturing them to death. Elder Lin said that Ling Feng so few you possess such talent in alchemy in fact they are very jealous of them. Ling Feng's talent is very outstanding and will probably bring him a lot of trouble. Judging from Elder Lin's behavior, Mo Yinsong's followers don't want Ling Feng to develop further said Dean. The Dean told Bing Ming F that the guy's ability is already known to everyone, and he is afraid that Mo Yinsong's people will treat him very badly and Linu Academy can't lose a guy like him. And in his opinion, they should teach Ling Feng martial arts so that he would have the ability to defend himself. Bing Ming said that the headmaster was definitely right. But if one was distracted by this training, no matter how talented one was, one would not be able to excel in either martial arts or alchemy. The dean asked what the guy wanted. But Ling Feng actually said he wanted a vacation. Bin Min once a month passes, he needs to go back and show her and no excuses are allowed. The dean told Ling Feng that if there were any questions regarding martial arts in the future, he could always contact him. Ling Feng said although the principal praised him but his ancestors were great martial artists, compared to them this is a higher level. The guy came home and told Goldie that these few days are quite successful and these top tier pills are his reward. Praising Goldie, because now he had turned into a ferocious beast of a second level martial arts expert. And starting tomorrow when he is not at home he will guard his sister said Ling Feng. The sister told the guy that in these days that he had given her the pills, she had reached the first level of martial arts expert. The guy decided to congratulate his sister, because now everyone in their house is a martial arts expert. Apparently the pills were very good. The pills are very good, but unfortunately teacher Bing Ming remains at the seventh level of martial arts beginner. And the area of the body where life energy is stored is called the Dantian. And teacher Bing Ming has a problem with it, so there's no growth beyond the seventh level. And you can even develop abilities, but it won't do much good. The guy said that with this problem, the pills are not suitable for her and that's a pity. His sister told him to stop talking about it. He's leaving tomorrow and she wants to feed him tonight. The guy said he could use telekinesis to create an arrow piercing metal and rocks and it would kill any enemy. The sister went outside and she thought she heard the sound of an explosion, where did such loud noises come from she asked the guy. Ling Feng said that he was just making pills all night and was very exhausted and so he made a little noise. The boy realized that the ancestral arrow was indeed dangerous, and he didn't use it steadily yet. The guy realized that the ancestral arrow was indeed dangerous, and as long as he didn't use it steadily. On the way to the mountain descent, the guy noticed people. He asked them exactly a student of Linu Academy, and what happened to them. They said Imo Yangzen's people were bullying others. They sent the disciples into the wilderness to chase those who go out. That's what it's all about said the guy. Mo Yangzen's disciples are asking for conflict with him and take out their anger on others. But the guy realized that he had been doing nothing but alchemy for the past few days. And it's a good thing he broke through to level 4 last night. After three days, Mo Yangzen's people have the nerve to bully them. There's nothing they can do. The student said that three days ago, two groups of their students went out. As a result, ten students from Linu Academy were beaten up one after another. The second student said that such bullying is happening to them and some students were severely beaten. Why are the teachers and elders of Linu Academy silent, he asked. But the guys told him to chill out, after all, this is a disagreement between the disciples, the elders shouldn't have a hand in it. And Mo Yangzen's disciples are stronger than them. But suddenly, a female disciple came in and said that there was good news. Their best disciple, Di Xian, has turned up and is now heading straight into the wilderness. The guy rejoiced for this news. And said that brother Di Xian is very strong, he will definitely tear apart Mo Yinsong's disciples. But suddenly and bad news came that Di Xian had fought with Mo Yinsong's disciples and lost, and he had all his bones broken. But suddenly a guy came running in and said there was good news. It turns out there's a student from their Linu Academy, and he's hiding his face under a mask. While in the Minyu Gorge, he one-on-one -on -one was the three big groups of Mo Yunzong disciples. 
And then in the Dragon Gorge, and then one on one he defeated six of M.O. Yinsong's top disciples. The boys were curious about the name of the masked student. The student said he would introduce himself and his name is Lin Ling Fong Academy student. After gifting the sixth of the best disciples, Ling Fong said that he was also no good. And taking a brush, he painted a large turtle on his face. But suddenly, two other students crept up from behind and asked him how he dared to beat up his brother. They said that all the better students of Linu Academy had been beaten up, so how dare he stick his head out. Ling Fong told them that he was asking the best disciple to find him, and let them rest. But now Mo Yunsong knew that it was Ling Fong. The disciple realized that all three of them were martial arts experts of at least the sixth level. Looks like this guy shouldn't be underestimated. But the guys said he couldn't beat them. With the whole wilderness at their mercy, there's nothing the academy can do to Linu. Academy disciple Mo Yunsong said since Linu Academy considers him as their hope, then they should just crush all their hopes. The students of Mo Yangsen Academy decided to split up to finish him off as quickly as possible. But one of the students saw his brother and asked who did it. While Ling Fong stood on the tree, and asked if the turtle he drew looked good. After striking the academy student Mo Yunsong realized that this boy was very strong. No one would have thought that he would beat him with one punch. The guy told brother Ling Yu that he should be careful. While Ling Fong said that another big turtle had come. In the Ming Yu gorges, several of Mo Yunsong's top disciples lost to Ling Fong, only Luan Yu remained. The guys said that Ling Fong is extremely dangerous. But who is he? A big mystery. A student from Mo Yunsong Academy asked why everyone at Linu Academy was so happy. After all, when Luan Yu destroys Ling Fong, they would all have to leave the wilderness at once. The second disciple supported him. He said that there were rumors that Ling Fong was a level 5 expert, but their brother Ling Yu had long been a level 9 expert, and he would break through to the master level in a little while. There was no way he would lose. Suddenly, one of the guys said Ling Fong came. He said Ling Fong was too cowardly to come, but suddenly Ling Fong's voice came out. And he asked this guy, does he want to get hit in the head? Standing up other friend Ling Yu asked is he Ling Fong? The guy said correctly and his full name is Ling Fong Tian. Ling Fong ordered him to tell him how to beat him up. Ling Yu didn't like it and thought it was insolent and threatened to blow him up. Ling Yu used the yellow level 5 element technique out of anger. Ling Fong said, he dared to challenge him with his fighting techniques. But Ling Yu was so slow that Ling Fong walked beside him and he didn't even notice it. Ling Fong said that Ling Yu was incredibly overconfident. And it would be inadvisable to hit at full strength. And unfortunately, Ling Fong can't use the dragon strike with the fire sword. Because there are a lot of people here, it catches his eye and attracts a lot of attention. Fortunately said Ling Fong, his precious body is quite flexible and strong, otherwise he would have already been severely injured. But suddenly, Ling Yu came to his senses and said that he himself was provoking him. Seeing him, Ling Fong realized that his power had increased. He had reached the level of a martial arts master. He used a heaven-level technique against Ling Fong. Striking a two-stage disc and in addition merged the discs together. Seeing this the guys said that Ling Yu was incredibly dangerous, this battle could be considered over. The guys at Linu Academy said that Ling Yu already had one foot at the martial arts master level, and Ling Fong was in real danger. These attacks left Ling Fong with no options. So he saw that this was going to be a violent clash. So he decided to retaliate with a mutual punch. But all of a sudden, Ling Yu rushed past Ling Fong. And he noticed that Ling Yu had changed the way he was fighting, and Ling Fong had made a mistake. Ling Yu said that Ling Fong was indeed tenacious since it didn't kill him already. He decided to use the devil sword attack. Withholding the punch Ling Fong said that in addition to his body enduring heavy loads, he also had good movement speed. And there's no need for Ling Yu to be too self-satisfied. Being alone naked on a martial arts master stage isn't too dangerous. After striking Ling Yu, he told Ling Fong to stop. After all, his punches were absolutely worthless. Ling Fong said that Ling Yu's defense is very strong. And he only relies on the overlord strike, and is afraid that it won't be enough to pierce through his armor. But Ling Fong came to his senses and stood up said funny, 
but Ling Yu still believes that it will not penetrate his armor asked Ling Feng. This trump card is a retaliatory strike, Ling Feng originally did not want to use it. But it's all because Ling Yu provoked him. Ling Feng used one technique from the ancestral spirits, the secret absorption technique. Ling Yu couldn't understand where Ling Feng got such tremendous strength from. What will he do now Ling Feng asked after overpowering him with his peerless power of ancestral spirits. The guys at Mo Yun Song Academy said that the newly minted martial artist lost to a level 5 expert. That doesn't make sense. Ling Feng said that from now on, Mo Yun Song's followers were not allowed to enter this wilderness area. Otherwise, everyone he saw would be beaten up. The distraught students of Mo Yun Song Academy said that they would now only go to dangerous places in the wilderness for classes. Ling Fang noticed that there were people even higher than him in the crowd, and such a heavy atmosphere. It was good that no one was following him. The absorption technique is incredible. But even with such a strong body, Ling Fong was injured. In addition, after defeating Ling Yu, he had used up most of his energy, and his body was now in great pain. But suddenly, someone from behind told Ling Fong that he was caught. Who was he? Ling Fong asked in surprise. Ling Fong didn't understand what was the matter. After all, this person had suddenly appeared behind him, and he didn't even suspect anything. Taking off his mask, he said that Ling Fong didn't need to know who he was. When Ling Fong saw him, he said trouble and quickly ran away. This stranger asked Ling Fong if he wanted to run away. He's a quick thinker, but unfortunately he can't run away from death. Ling Fong said that this stranger is very fast. His level is higher than the expert, which is two levels higher than him. Even full of strength, Ling Fong is afraid that he won't be fit to be his opponent, what to speak of when he has injuries. But Ling Fong realized he was in a bad way. After all, this huge river is full of evil spirits. If an evil spirit entered his body, death would instantly follow. Why did the stranger stop? Telling Ling Fong that he could also run across the river. Ling Fong said that Mo Yun Song would come to be of great importance to him since he had already sent a martial arts expert after him. The stranger said that Ling Fong is very funny. And he really wants to kill him, however as Ling Fong could see, he gave him a chance to escape. Unfortunately Ling Fong couldn't escape him. After all, Ling Fong had beaten the disciples of Yuzong Academy outside, and made them suffer shame in the competition. And this time, the torment would be inflicted on him. After all, Ling Fong still hoped to deceive everyone by hiding his face. Ling Fong realized that Mo Yuqiong had been plotting against him for a long time. He was very angry about it. The stranger said that Ling Fong was right, because Mo Yuong Academy was very seriously interested in him, and he especially waited for Ling Fong to be as vulnerable as possible, for reliability. Ling Fong told him, to cut a chicken with a bull knife, you have to be very cowardly. After all, they followers of Mo Yutsen are all sad and shameless people. Ling Fong realized that he had no way out, because behind him is the Annan River, inside it he is sure to die, and so it remains only to fight to the end. The stranger said that Ling Feng's body strength was greater than he expected, a true mastery. It's a pity but it will die. After falling into the river, Ling Feng said that the evil spirits would eat his heart and bones, and this time he would not escape. The stranger jumped after Ling Feng, for he had assumed he was trying to get away from him. The stranger said that this river is incredibly dangerous. If a lot of time passes, it will be difficult for experts to avoid death. So we must act quickly. After hitting Ling Fong with an attack, the guy apologized to his sister, saying that he didn't think he would die like this here. While the guy's sister sensed something. And said she could hear Ling Fong calling her for help. Miss Bing Ming told Ling Qing that of course she understands that her sister is worried about her brother. But right now, no one knows where he is and there's nothing they can do. Ling Fong was ambushed, he realized that against such a strong funnel, his chances of surviving were very minimal. The stranger said that Ling Fong was more dangerous than he thought. So, he wouldn't hesitate and attacked with a heaven-level technique. With such colossal attacks, Ling Fong realized that he could not hide. He could only fight back to the end. He has another trump card up his sleeve that he decided to use a heavenly-level telekinesis attack. Stopping arrows. But one of the arrows pierced his broad chest. 
He was frustrated that he did not have time to use the attack. The stranger said that Ling Feng was very gifted, but however, he was still only a martial arts expert. Seeing that he was still alive, the stranger didn't understand how this was possible. Suddenly, something exploded. The stranger said that he never thought Ling Feng would turn out to be a spiritual master. And his talent is incredibly intimidating. A joyous Ling Feng said that he had won after all. The martial arts expert had finished off the expert. A true miracle is this the end of his life, he thought. He was thrown into a vortex somewhere unknown. When he opened his eyes, he wondered if he was still alive. He didn't understand, because he was kind of taken by the funnel, wasn't he? And how he got into this place, he could understand. And he saw a way out. But he can't get out either, for his wounds are too severe. Evil spirits have entered his body, and there is no cure. But suddenly he saw a golden glint behind the stone. As he looked at them he wondered if they were brushes of gold. Taking it in his hands he couldn't believe his eyes and started counting the pieces. And he started counting exactly fifteen pieces. These golden stones are amazing, their brilliance reflecting the incredible power of the earth and sky. To find one such stone is a rare stroke of luck, and he found fifteen. Having this, not only would he be able to cure himself of evil spirits, but he would also be able to sanctify his body so he would be able to break through to the next level of his abilities. This is the reward for such agony, shouted Ling Fong. He said there was no time to waste and it was time to drive the evil spirits back to where they belonged. Taking a piece of this gold, Ling Fong didn't expect that she would have such a powerful sun energy. With this gold, not only did he regain his strength, but he became more powerful and dangerous than before. These gold stones are of rare value, said Ling Fong. And he must take it out, with the help of the bottom he can help his sister. And Ling Feng remembered that Teacher Bing Ming also had problems in the Dantian realm. After all, there was also a chance that these stones would have a miraculous effect on her as well. He could take advantage of this opportunity, and he realized that it was time to leave said Ling Feng. And he wondered what the place outside was like. Climbing to the top on Ling Feng Mountain saw a very beautiful scenery and felt such cool air. Seeing the huge waterfall, he feels like he could cultivate there. It's this second level golden monkey martial arts masters golden monkeys. But suddenly those monkeys got angry and Ling Fong said that it was very vigilant. He hadn't encountered them before, but the gold stones had enhanced his abilities. And now they'll be very angry. He still has 20 plus days of vacation left. He's just in time to practice his martial arts skills. But as the days passed, Ling Fong returned home screaming. His sister met him and told him that all this loot seemed much heavier than before. Ling Feng said of course, because he had practiced very hard for a month in the wilderness. Now his beautiful body could withstand a load of 20 tons, and the impact force was now 10 tons. My sister said once he's back, it's good. And she said she made him some meat soup and called him to eat. When Ling Feng had eaten enough, he said how good her sister was at cooking but he remembered about the golden stones and decided to give her one. In the wilderness, he used up four gold stones that helped him break through two levels. And he's already a level 7 expert. Taking the stone she marveled that it was a marvelous stone, a heavenly luster. She told Ling Feng that she didn't need this wonderful thing and let him keep it. Ling Feng told her it was just for her. And he has ten more pieces. Not only will it help her progress, it will also help cure her ailment. My sister said that during these few days, thanks to his pills, her ailment had not bothered her. But Ling Feng said he needs to be completely rid of the disease. He won't rest on this taking the stone in her hands, sister was overjoyed. Ling Feng said that using this stone could be painful and she had to be patient. Just endure it and there will be no problem. The sister told Ling Feng that she understood and said that he was tired for this month, let him go to bed. Drinking this stone, she was consumed by such pain that she said she couldn't be a burden to Ling Feng. She wants to become stronger. When Ling Feng woke up the next morning, he couldn't find his sister. So he ordered Goldie to go with him to look for his sister, while his sister was at the river and couldn't believe her eyes. After all, that stone had changed her face so much that Ling Feng would be shocked. But when he saw his sister, he said something about her being very beautiful. 
Ling Fong said they should go up the mountain and show everyone how beautiful she was. The girl ran after him and shouted that she was happy to be his sister. Ling Fong also said he was happy. Ling Fong said that his sister was cured of her ailment and became incredibly beautiful. And now he's worried about her. When they arrived at the academy, the guys couldn't figure out who she was. They assumed that she was not a student at Linu Academy, and how they had not noticed her before. Mahjong asked, what was even going on? After all, these Linu Academy students didn't look at her at all. Ling Qing didn't know why so many people were looking at her. And she was starting to feel a little shy out of it. When she came to Bing Ming's teacher, she asked if this was her special student. It's been a month since we've seen each other, so he must have come stronger, she said. Ling Feng said, I haven't seen you in a month. And teacher Ming Ming, you've gotten a little better again, he said. Pulling out her sword and holding it to Ling Feng's throat, she said that she had just seen his sister suddenly become incredibly beautiful. Did he bring something useful, she asked. Ling Feng said that it was actually simple, last night, a star fell directly on her sister from the sky, after that, her sister immediately changed. This answer did not satisfy teacher Bing Ming and she pulled out a second sword. Seeing this, Ling Feng said, this is actually one of the golden roots, when taking it in hand, an unusual atmosphere is immediately created. Hearing this she was very happy. And said it was the gold Shuanshu stones she had dreamed of. She asked if he still had any Shuanshu stones left. She said she would give him ten sacred pills in return. One stone would be enough for her. Ling Feng said that he had already made heaven-level pills in the alchemy competition, and ten pills would not be enough. So how about an exchange for thirty sacred pills he asked. Bing Ming said that he is a very good student, and unceremonious. Since he wants the thirty pills, she agrees. Ling Feng took the pills and said that they were of poor quality and she should continue to work hard. And taking a stone from his pocket, he held it out to her and said that this Shunshu stone was hers. Holding the pills in his hand, Bing Ming said that her vital energy Dantian was impaired, which prevented her from overcoming the seventh level of a martial arts disciple, moreover, because of this, she couldn't develop in alchemy. And now finally her Dantian problem could be cured and she could also further develop in alchemy. Bing Ming told Ling Feng to go make pills. And she should go treat her ailments. Ling Feng said if there was another person, he would request a few hundred pills or no pills at all. Ling Feng remembered that he too should practice making pills. It was said that teacher Bing Ming had spent years to make a hundred kinds of heaven-level pills. And he wondered how long it would take him. Ten days later, Ling Feng had already made the third kind of heaven-level pill. This is simply an incredible speed. But suddenly, he heard a voice asking him to come out. Standing at the door, Ling Feng said that it was the girl he had defeated the other day. She said she was telling Ling Feng that his days were numbered. Mo Tsong's older brother Mo Jane came and asked if he was Ling Feng. Ling Feng smilingly said that it was him, the famous one. Who's asking? Ling Feng asked. Mo Khan said that Ling Feng had once injured her sister, and today he would pay him back double. Ling Feng said that she was hurting his sister back then. Naturally he couldn't help but comfort Mahjong. Mo Khan said he didn't care about the color of the gold. The usual showmanship won't stand a single blow. Ling Feng said that he didn't care who he was, a disciple of Linu Academy or from somewhere else, since he dared to challenge then take it. Mo Tsong said that this boy's golden energy is not simple, the abilities are not at the level of a seventh level martial arts expert. Pulling out all his anger, he said, but that won't do, he's a seventh-level martial artist. Seeing Mo Tsong's attack, Ling Feng realized that his real ability at this moment was roughly at the third level of a martial artist, but he would not be able to defeat him. If he is incapable now, then he only has to use his spiritual abilities, only then perhaps Ling Feng would raise a ruckus, and it wouldn't be a bad ending. But suddenly, Ms. Bing Ming told them to stop. And she told Mo Khan, he's got a nerve. He came and fought with her alchemy student. Bing Ming said Mo Lan originally bullied Lin Qin, then was punished. Mo Kong can't he see justice, she asked. Mo Tsong said that Bin Min doesn't count for anything. However, her position within the academy is high. 
and he can't argue with the alchemy teacher. Ling Feng said she had defeated Mo Yinzong's students in the martial arts and alchemy competition, and that was a great achievement for the academy. And if Mo Tsong is so gifted, then at the competition between Ling and Mo Yunsong Academy, fight their best fighters instead of showing off here. Mo Tsong said since the competition wants to compete, he's ready. He asked Ling Feng if he dared to fight him in the competition. Ling Feng agreed to his conditions and said that he would beat him in front of everyone during the competition. Mo Khan said that today, because of Bing Ming's interference, there is no option to deal with Ling Feng. But in four months, he'll deal with Ling Feng honestly, and no one will be able to interfere. Lin Ming said to Ling Feng, something on too reckless. This Mo Khan is socially provoking him. Teacher Bing Ming told Ling Feng that he pissed her off. After all, Ling Feng is an alchemy master, why the hell would he fight him, she asked. Ling Feng said that he and this Mo family must come to some decision sooner or later, there is no escaping it. Besides, he still has four months to train, no need to worry. Okay dear teacher said Ling Feng. And asked how was her Dantian energy? Wasn't his stone wasted? Bing Ming said that the Dantian energy had been successfully restored, and she had already reached the first level of martial arts expert. Ling Feng said that he was very happy for her, because now they were all martial arts experts, and they all possessed this golden energy. After twenty days, Ling Feng blew up the furnace again. But it was too difficult to make ten pills at a time, and only five were successful. However, no matter what one says, and this is already twenty heaven-level pills. Ling Feng feels like it doesn't take much time, and he can develop well in the skill of making heaven-level pills. Ling Feng said that Miss Bing Ming has a ruthless beauty. Eat a girl is extremely terrifying, always pulling out her blade on occasion. Ling Feng said that he had just made one and it came. When she took it in her hands, she said that it was a pill of the highest quality. Miss Bing Ming said time flies very fast, and from the time he passed Linu Academy certification in the alchemy department, half a year had already passed. She decided to give him another news that tomorrow is another certification of Linu Academy, he is the best student of the alchemy faculty, on behalf of the alchemy faculty he will be accepting new students. The next day, Mount Linu was the site of the academy certification. Chi Yun the daughter of the Feng Qing family said the mountain is so steep, there was a reason she walked so far to participate in the evaluation. Ao Ding from the Ao family told her that she was right to come. In the past six months, Linu Academy had become the most honored academy. Li Meng said the Linu Academy had become incredibly prestigious in these six months, only worth the success of Ling Feng Master of the Alchemy Department. It was said that during the open competition, he had beaten Mo Yunxiong's students with a single stick. And in the alchemy competition, he did something amazing. Qi Yun confirmed Li Meng's words. And in their Feng Qing family, everyone used to come to Mo Yunyong before, but now she had specifically come to Linu Academy to study alchemy. The dean said the guys who make it to the alchemy department must be tested at Mount Linu. And then dear Ling Feng will do the selection. Qi Yun saw Ling Feng and was surprised by his beauty. Sister Ling Ching and Goldie were walking next to him. They were all so cute. Elder Zhu said that at the certification six months ago, Ling Feng took and bypassed their children for testing and they still lost their money. However, the Li family elder said Ling Feng is their alchemy genius. It seems that being friends with him is the most advantageous now. But make him a little angry and the events of six months ago will happen again. The dean reiterated that the rules were not complicated, as always the Indians needed to climb as high as they could. And ordered everyone to climb the mountain. Two hours later, the Li family elders said that their guys were already at the 30th step by the time they reached the 30th step first, and they would be accepted. The second elder said that they didn't necessarily need to reach the 90th step like Ling Feng, the most important thing was that it was without incident. The dean said although the results of the two families are good, the few kids who came from afar are also doing well. At this rate, within a few years, Linu Academy will overtake Mo Yun Song Academy in every way. The stranger said it had been two hours. And the fifty steps have not yet been passed, does Linu Academy accept such students every year she asked. Who are these budding talents asked the guy loudly. 
It was immediately clear to him that they were scum. When the dean saw him, he remembered that a few years ago during the Ding Academy certification, Wuyu had climbed to the 55th step, becoming a disciple of the academy and receiving their recognition. However, he has an arrogant character, a lot of ill intentions, envy and malice towards the mentors. And in the end, the dean kicked him out of the academy. The evil dean asked Wuyu why he came to Linu Academy. To which Wuyu laughed and said that he was now a follower of Ng Tsong, this petty Linu Academy of theirs didn't care about him at all. Frowning his eyebrows, the dean asked the follower of Ng Tsong. Ng Tsong is one of the strongest academies in Shinwu, Linu Academy is not their equal. The dean couldn't think that Wuyu had taken to it. Wuyu said that some century has the mood to come to see, he could not imagine that there would be no talent here. And in fact, the small gate is a passage for small people. But suddenly some guy started yelling at him, saying he was too crazy. And when he severely injured his brother, he hadn't paid him back yet. Looking at the man, Wuyu called him a lowly loser who dared to shout something else in his direction. And ordered his pet to chop up the man. The man was surprised asshole he is only a level 3 martial arts expert, is this leopard really a level 4 expert? The man said the leopard is incredibly ferocious. Just like its bloodthirsty master. He's fiercer than Ling Feng's golden lion. The dean got angry and shouted will you enough. And said that just because he was in Cheong's disciple, it didn't mean he was allowed to run amok here. Wu Yu said, the principle is quite imposing. He is a successful disciple of Ng Tsang, came to share his experience. Does Linu Academy not even have successors, and the principal has to make an appearance by himself? The dean said this boy has a lot of nerve. The dean is a generation older than him, and he can't speak against him, otherwise it would look unfair. The pet approached Wu Yu. And the guy said to the dog, whoever dares to approach him, let him be mauled right away. But suddenly he flew up and said that he had come to Mount Linu to compete with everyone. Standing up on the steps, he sighed with his hands and laughed, saying that Linu Academy's students were so frail that they made him feel disappointed. The dean realized that Wu Yu intended to disrupt the grading by taking and dropping all the guys back. Looking at Wu Yu, Ling Feng said, this guy is buying it, this is too trivial. But suddenly Ling Feng asked Goldie if he could see that leopard and ordered him to flog it for him. After beating the leopard, Chi Yun realized that this little guy was so cool. Beating a beast of the fourth level of martial arts expert, as cool as its master. Dikaz laughed and said when you take an example from such a master, it's hard for him not to be strong. Seeing this, Wu Yu realized that this lion was a sixth level martial arts expert. Since he had beaten his leopard, Wu Yu wants to take it for himself. But Ling Feng's sister came up to Goldie and stroked him and told him not to be angry. Seeing this, Wu Yu said to pack them both to him. Seeing this, the guys said that Wu Yu was so brave, taking and flirting with Ling Qing right in front of Ling Feng's face. But the evil Ling Feng said he was the one who dared to disrespect his sister. Wu Yu told Ling Feng not to show off. He that he wants to speak for Linu Academy, but he's still a sucker. Wu Yu told him he's waiting for him upstairs. If he wants to compete, let him catch up with him. But the calm Ling Fong just sat back and watched to see how far this guy could get. After reaching the 66th step, Wu Yu waved his hand and said that this was the biggest record of Linu Academy. Ling Fong laughed and asked him if he was crazy. The best record had long since been updated. Wu Yu said there's no need to exaggerate. That's the top of Empi Linu over there he'll admit that he hasn't climbed, but let Ling Feng show him what he can do. The dean shouted to Ling Feng that it was time to show him what he could do. Taking all his strength, Ling Feng told him that he would show him what was called climbing a mountain. Wu Yu couldn't believe his eyes and said that it was unreal. Ling Feng told him that the highest step six months ago had been overcome by him. Ling Feng took him by the scruff of the neck and said that he had just admitted to himself that he was unable to climb to the top. Then Ling Feng would help him now. Wu Yu shouted that he would come back. But Ling Feng told him no, for the mountain was too high for him. Wu Yu asked Ling Feng is he so easily able to climb to the top of the mountain. Ling Feng got angry and said that he didn't need to know who he was. He only needed to remember that he had beaten Wu Yu. Wu Yu asked that he dared to fight him. And he remembered him. Ling Feng told him that he had treated his sister badly, 
and how could he turn a blind eye? But Wu Yu told him not to hit, after all, he was Ying Tsung's disciple, and if Ling Feng hit again, and Ying Tsung wouldn't let it go. Taking him by the shirt, Ling Feng remembered that he was Ying Tsung's representative, and because of the respect, he would put up his best. After seeing this spectacle, the dean began to laugh and said that physically, Ling Feng was very good, and he had finally shown his power. Qi Yun said that Ling Feng is so cool and the alchemy department is incredibly cool, and she should go there. Ling Feng walking away said, who would have thought that Ying Song's disciples were so worthless? Taking him by the scruff of his neck, Ling Feng asked him to go downstairs. Wu Yu didn't like it and told them to wait, after all, he would still come back. The dean told everyone to calm down because the burden is gone. And Linu Academy's grading process begins anew. Four hours later, Ling Feng shouted to Ms. Bing Ming hurry over here and hurry up and save him. Ling Feng said so many young girls want to enter the alchemy department. Hurry up and think of something Ling Feng said Ms. Bing Ming. Bin Min said it's fine. Let him continue with the selection. After all, the authority to recruit has been given to him. Ling Feng told everyone that they would each rewrite what they needed from this alchemy notebook. The alchemy assessment is in three days. Whoever does better will stay. Bing Ming told Ling Feng that she didn't know there was such a big demand for it. Ling Feng said that he didn't really need it. Handling so many girls is actually hard. But suddenly, Qi Yun came in and said that she wanted to ask Ling Feng a question. She said that the Pasconic flower and the Aster flower are very similar in properties, can they be used together? Ling Feng said that using them together is fine. But the fruit has different medicinal properties, so it would be difficult to use them together. Of course, if you control it well, you can. Qi Yun asked Ling Feng how is it going. Ling Feng said that it might show and after that, Qi Yun just melted. Ling Feng was so exhausted that he told Bing Ming that he was passing it on to her. And he needs a day off. And for about two weeks, he'll be gone. Bing Ming laughed and said that Ling Feng wouldn't be able to handle the young girl's soap, after all, he himself was still inexperienced. After all, according to Bing Ming's grading results, only Qi Yun had the skills to enter the alchemy department. In the wilderness, in these few days, Ling Feng had gone from a seventh-level expert to a martial arts master, and had also beaten several Mo Yun Song disciples, quite productively. But suddenly, he was attacked, and Ling Feng didn't realize where it came from. It was a creature very rare, the Qin Ping bird. Ling Feng began to study and became nervous because how dare she attack a martial arts master. When Ling Feng attacked him, he missed. And shouted to him that he couldn't fly, and if the bird wanted to deal let him come down. But suddenly the fog fell and Ling Feng wondered if the bird could do something in the fog. Because Ling Feng is ready to teach him a lesson. Using his spiritual energy, Ling Feng dispelled the fog and aimed his sword at the bird's head. He said if the bird obeyed him, he wouldn't kill it. But suddenly, she turned into a little chick. Ling Feng said and beasts have a well-developed talent for pretending to be cute. In the future, Ling Feng will call him Xiao Qing. The abilities of the Qingping bird are very huge, but if it is well cared for, who knows where the limit of those abilities will be. If he meets an enemy that Ling Feng can't defeat, he can always fly away on it. Ling Feng asked Xiao Qing, if there are any special places in this area. Places to train, he needs to arrange an expedition. Who would have thought said Ling Feng that a martial arts master level bird was so submissive, and looked incredibly dangerous. After arriving at the cave, Ling Feng said that the atmosphere of the afterlife was not a simple forbidden area, but he should go there. Telling Xiao Qin that he will go to the dangerous cave. And let him stay here and not go anywhere, let him wait for him. But suddenly, someone came into this cave as well and asked Ling Feng who was also a student of Linu Academy. The forbidden area is incredibly dangerous and you can't go there. It was Doug Yu, a student of Linu Academy. Ling Feng told her that he was very grateful for the warning. Ling Feng remembered that he had met her on the academy grounds, but he had forgotten her name. Doug said they are cooking, there is a warrior spirit inside whose weapons are incredibly murderous. There is also an incredibly dangerous beast that has killed countless daredevils. And Ling Feng is still young, don't let him do anything stupid. Ling Feng decided to trick her and told her he was leaving. 
and a satisfied Doug was glad what was going on with this trope, or else the kid would have been in trouble. Ling Fong hid behind a rock and watched until Doug left. He realized there was something valuable inside, so he couldn't help but go there. Once inside, Ling Fong said that it was very unusual inside. And it seems that Sister Doug wasn't lying, many people had really died here. But the farther he goes, the more he feels the atmosphere of death. It seems a terrible beast is somewhere nearby. After stepping over the line, Ling Fong realized that he had passed the broken boundary. It was a dragon and lion mix worm. Ling Fong saw an incredibly dangerous beast that had the ability to strike fear into all living things. Ling Fong said that the beast had no mind, but it was incredibly ruthless and vicious, and the guy couldn't escape. So Ling Fong decided to fight him and see who's more dangerous. After conducting several attacks and expending his strength, Ling Fong realized that this beast had a unique technique. But the dragon attacked back and hit Ling Fong. Lying on the ground, he said that the fire power was incredibly huge, and once it started, it was almost unstoppable. Ling Feng's whole body is now on fire and he can't stand it. The guy said that the dragon's body is invulnerable, so he needs to change his attack. It is useless to attack him with the fire-breathing dragon sword. Ling Feng felt that his entire body was already on fire. So he decided to try his most powerful punch. After launching this attack on the dragon, Ling Fong was surprised that a single strike was enough to defeat the beast. But suddenly, he noticed that his hand was on fire, and it looked like the fire had penetrated his body. Ling Fong realized that fire was much harder to deal with than a beast. And it would take a long time to get rid of the fire. Ling Fong said that staying in one place is very dangerous and the deeper the cave, the more dangerous beasts. And he can't stay here for long, he has to find the treasure, take it and leave. As Ling Fong climbed the stairs, he began to feel something. The treasure that the dragon lion was guarding must be here somewhere. But suddenly, he found some kind of sword. It was very old, it must have divine properties, Ling Fong thought. When he touched the sword, it fell apart. Ling Fong said, the appearance is not true and cut his finger. But suddenly, something happened that Ling Fong himself did not expect. The sword shards were completely embedded in his hand, but he saw them begin to spread through his veins, and were about to be all over his body. Ling Fong said that his strength and body have no chance at all to deal with those shards. And his body is completely poisoned. After all, these shards are very heavy, as if they were huge rocks. Ling Fong can withstand ten tons of external load, but he can barely handle the load inside his body. And he hit a dead end. The weight of the shards is 7.5 tons, and Ling Feng's body is in the process of being destroyed. Ling Feng realized that these destructive shards were indeed incredible weapons, as if there was another being inside the body. There's a reason this is a restricted area. First the fire, now the shrapnel, all incredibly lethal to humans. Ling Feng said that he could use his abilities to absorb it, then using the power of fire, suppress the effect on the shards. And that's a very good way out. Ling Fong can't take it anymore. This is his last chance to see if he can survive, no matter what challenges lie ahead of him. He doesn't intend to give up a single step. Five days later, Ling Fong came out of the cave. And shouted to Xiao Qin where are you? While the bird was sleeping, taking him in his arms, Ling Fong told Xiao Qing that he didn't run away and Yudo deserved respect for him. Ling Fong told the birds that she had led him to an unusual forbidden area, allowing him to have a rewarding experience. So the boy decided to show the bird what he'd learned. By killing the beast, he mastered this power. But that's not all, Ling Fong risked his life to test the shards. And even though they're small in size, they're very powerful. But suddenly, the bird screamed. Ling Fong realized it must have been frightened. And gave it the pills it deserved. Ling Fong said that coming back with her would attract too much attention. He ordered her to stay in the middle of nowhere, to practice, and he would call her at the right time. The guy said he had to go back. And he doesn't even know what's up with the alchemy department now. Lying on the hammock, Bing Ming wondered when that bad boy would come back. But suddenly she heard footsteps and the rock came back. The stranger told Bing Ming's sister that they hadn't seen each other for a long time. But apparently Bing Ming didn't like it and asked Su Zi why he had come. Su Zi said, 
After she left Yao Tsung without even saying goodbye, it made him miss her a lot. He didn't know that she was at Linu Academy for a long time, and as soon as he found out, he immediately went here. Bing Ming said that she didn't think she was still remembered. And told Su Zi to back off. Su Zi told Bing Ming that there was no girl as beautiful as her in this world. Bing Ming jumped out of the hammock and told him not to be insolent. This wasn't Yao Tsung's territory, and it wasn't proper. Su Zi laughed and said, Can you really compare the small Linu Academy with the great and numerous Yao Tsung Academy? He came to take her away from here. No one will dare to stop him. But suddenly Bin Min screamed and said he was a jerk. But then the girls ran in and asked what was wrong. When he saw them he said the girls were very nice. Especially the blonde one, whom he hadn't seen yet. Bing Ming called his return nickname and told him to talk to her. And there's nothing to flirt with little girls. But suddenly Su Zi got angry and said how dare she shout at him, that she was very brave. So he decided to teach her a lesson by punching her in the face. He said that they had studied together and it was nothing that he had hit her. After all, he could hit anyone from Yao Tsung Academy. The girls got mad and said he was a real bastard. And don't even think about hitting her again. Su Zi got angry and called the two juveniles, and asked how dare they call him a scumbag. And with one slap, he hit the other two girls. But then the dean came in and asked who he was. And how dare he hit students and academy teacher Lina. He said that Su Zi is the grandson of the influential academy elder Yao Tsung. And only that those girls had spoken disrespectfully to him, so he taught them a little lesson. The dean said that Yao Tsung's influence is very huge, maybe even more than Ng Tsung's influence. The situation is very unpleasant. The girl said he was lying. At first he ordered to Bin Ming's teacher, but after refusing, he got angry and raised his hand. Su Zi got angry again and said that she was lying. Watch out he doesn't kill her but suddenly someone from behind said to kill him instead of the girls. It was Ling Fang and called him a Japanese jerk, and asked how he dared to act like that by coming here. Ling Fang told the director that he came to deal with it. The director said as if he was from Yertsang. Su Chi asked who he was. After all, he had never even seen him before. Ling Fong laughed and asked him if he was so special. Ling Fong said he was a monk of the Holy Mountain. Su Zi was surprised and couldn't believe that he was a monk of the Holy Mountain. After all, the Holy Mountain is one of the oldest and strongest academies. Every elder is not below the level of a great martial artist, and their wisdom level is boundless. Su Zi said that he remembered his grandfather telling him that Ng Tsong and Yao Tsong looked insignificant compared to the monks of the Holy Mountain. Ling Fong asked as a worthless follower of Yao Tsong, dared to doubt him. But with fear, Su Zi said he had no doubt. And he usually glares at other people, but now all of a sudden a boy is glaring at him. His self-confidence comes from within, it is very possible that he really is a monk of the Holy Mountain. Ling Fong said that he was a respected monk of the Holy Mountain, and Su Zi dared to touch the people dear to him. First of all, he hit his sister. And two, he hit his intern. Third, he hit his older brother's fiancé. Su Zi was startled and realized that Bing Ming was his older brother's fiancé. His older brother must be a monk of the Holy Mountain too. They will kill him, and even his grandfather won't help him, he thought. Su Zi said that he wanted to apologize and make amends to the three girls by handing over the heavenly level pills. Su Zi realized that this guy is 100% a monk of the Holy Mountain, because he behaves so unwaveringly. Ling Fong said that they didn't need his pills. He raised his hand to his loved ones, what pills could cover that? Ling Fong said that it would be like this. He would only need to take three punches from him, and today's event would be a thing of the past. Su Zi asked only three punches. He would be very happy to accept them. Ling Fong said, apologizing in advance. Su Zi said no big deal, he can start, after all it was his mistake. He is a comer from Ng Tsung, and does not want to have problems with the monks. After striking the first blow, Su Zi thought he could withstand it, but no such luck. Now he realized that he was a monk of the Holy Mountain. After striking all three blows, Su Zi couldn't stand it and holding his but ran home to his Yao Tsung home. But in Su Zi's gaze, Ling Fang saw something alarming, he seemed to hold a grudge. 
Then he thought that he couldn't let him leave. Bing Ming walked up to Ling Feng and thanked him for what he did today. Ling Feng said that he had done what he had to do. Bing Ming said that difficult boy is getting better and better. After all, he dared to impersonate a monk of the holy mountain to help her. While Su Zi said that he needed to recover for a while, then tricked Bing Ming out of Linu Academy to do whatever he wanted. Perfect reading of Su Tzu. No one will even notice. And no one knows what's in his mind. However, now he still needed to return to Yao Tsong to heal his wounds. Ling Feng said through his mask that he had finally caught up with his Su Zi. And he must be destroyed, right in the middle of nowhere. Ling Feng thought this plan was perfect, because no one would even notice. And no one knows what's in his head. He looked around and saw that there were three other people ahead. When he saw the masked man, Su Zi asked in surprise, how did he get here? Su Zi said this time they should break into Linu Academy, finish off Lin Feng in his beast. And there is also a beautiful girl said Su Zi, and she must be taken with him and brought to him. But suddenly, he met Ling Feng on the way. He said he'd found him Ling Feng fell out of the sky. Ling Feng said he was a sneaky scoundrel who took two assistants to attack him. Waving his sword, Su Zi told Ling Feng to surrender, for he had no chance to escape. Ling Feng said that all three of them were running away at a breakneck pace, too bad they didn't t know what he was up to. Finally, the guy said he got to Su Zi. And just as time is running out, we should get started. Did he really bring his assistants with him Ling Feng asked. But he also has brothers said Ling Feng. A while earlier, Ling Feng had caught up with that Su boy and said that he was glad to meet him. He missed him to death. Ling Feng told Su that it was a chilly evening tonight. He suggested that he put on his cloak and stay warm. Su thanked him and said that the weather was really cold today, but he was not afraid because he was warmed by brother. Ling Feng told him that he had something to do and had to run away. When he got to the academy, he would make sure to find the director. Su said that guy's a hard guy to figure out. But I don't care, he didn't bully me, that's good. But a friend of his met some guys on the road and asked who they were. The guys shouted Su he's Ling Feng's brother. And they heard everything. He also told him to go back to Ding Academy and find the director. Su said that they were mistaken and he was not Ling Feng's brother. Su realized that they were looking for Ling Feng, but mistook him for his brother. Did the boys make a mistake, you ask? Then how did his cloak end up on him? And Su realized that Ling Feng had just given him the cloak to lure them. The guys asked if his name was Su. Su realized that he was in a bad way and said that Ling Feng was just a liar and died. Wu Yu said that he had killed his brother, and now he was going to kill him. But suddenly a strong wind blew and the boys looked up and saw a big creature. Wu Yu asked what level bird is this? He hasn't seen one at all before said Wu Yu. The next morning, News came to Lin Academy that Su Zi and Wu Yu had been killed in the wilderness. The director said that Su Zi was killed by Wu Yu. And Wu Yu was killed by some huge bird of prey. Bing Ming tarred Ling Feng did he hear that Su Zi died? Ling Feng said Yudo is just horrible, it is said that he was killed by Wu Yu on the way home. Bing Ming said that it turns out that Ng Tsung's disciple killed Su Zi, and he was killed by some bird of prey. Is that really possible she asked. Ling Feng said that this place is far away from here, so it is possible to encounter a bird of prey. Bing Ming realized that it really wasn't Ling Feng's doing, so that was fine. Let In Song and Cho Tsong deal with each other on their own. Ling Feng said that of course it wasn't him. It has nothing to do with them at all. Ling Feng was glad that no one had figured him out. And no one knows what kind of bird of prey it is, and no one knows that he has such a bird. And now all the bad people are dead, no one will hurt Bing Ming and sister said Ling Feng anymore. The martial arts competition between them and Mo Yutong was approaching, as he had only broken through to the level of a martial arts expert, there was still a lot of work to be done. He should go out and practice, and he needs to become much stronger said Ling Feng. Three months later, Bing Ming's voice could be heard again at the Ling Academy. She asked where Ling Feng was again. Sister said that Ling Feng often went into the wilderness to train. But today, he's been back for over a month. The intern said that today is already the competition between Mo Yuzong Academy and Linu Academy, Ling Feng must have forgotten. 
Sister said that he said he would definitely not forget. Teacher Bing Ming said it would be better if he forgot, let him do alchemy with her. He's still a long way off from a hundred different kinds of heaven-level pills. The trainee said that Bing Ming's teacher was worried about Ling Feng not fighting with others. Bing Ming denied everything and said she was not worried. Mo Tsung the second strongest disciple of Linu Academy asked why hasn't the draw started yet. Li Xiang said that all the teachers and students from both schools came, about 200 people. Not a bad rush for a three-year competition. Li the fourth strongest disciple asked, those three among Mo Yuqiong's disciples are their most outstanding talents. Li Xiang said that they had lost to Mo Yuqiong Academy for ten years in a row, and no wonder they were so shy. Li De said that in the past six months, Linu Academy has won two other competitions. And it's all credit to Ling Fong. Mo Khan said that weaklings like Ling Fong could only participate in such competitions for all comers. The competition between Linu and Mo Yuzong's academies is their business after all. Li Xiang said that Mo Yuqiong's followers are very threatening this time, what does Doug think about it? Doug Yu the strongest student of Linu Academy said that the opponents are strong, but they are not weak either. The dean said to everyone's attention. They are looking forward to the start of the competition between their academies tomorrow. And now said dean passes the word to Elder Mo to tell you all about the rules of battle. Elder Mo said that their competition consists of two parts. Each part consists of four rounds. The whole competition will last for seven days. 200 disciples, 16 venues, one-on-one -on -one fights. The one who wins all the fights wins. The judge told everyone to come up to draw lots, the visiting team would draw first. When Mo Yuzong's disciple heard this, he ran first. It was one of Mo Yuzong's top four disciples, Ling Shui, and he would be fighting on the seventh court, the fifth fight. Mo Tsong said that this insolent boy just now, he just made fun of them. However, his speed is really good, don't underestimate him. Next to the lot went to Lan Hao one of the three strongest disciples of Mo Yuqiong, who would fight on the thirteenth court. Li Xiang said that the disciples and look ordinary, they must be very talented, they definitely should not be underestimated. Dig said that it was said that Mo Yuzong's three strongest disciples had long ago reached the eighth level of martial artists, must have already reached the ninth level as well. But the influence all shouted that Brother Ling Feng was coming. Ling Feng asked the teacher, what's his hurry? After all, the protagonist always appears at the last moment. But suddenly he saw Bin Ming and said hello. Bin Min told him how mean he was. He remembers when to come back here. He should have died in the middle of nowhere. Sister told teacher Bing Ming to just forgive him. He was probably just too engrossed in cultivation, so he came back late. Ling Feng said at least his sister understands him. And she's progressing incredibly fast, just a month without seeing her and she's gotten so much cooler. The disciple said that Lin Chin is now officially among the top disciples. And of the seventh level martial arts experts, she is among the top ten in swordsmanship. Ling Feng said then she would be among the top twenty or thirty competitors in the competition. In other words, if she was lucky, it was likely that she would be among the top 16 disciples. A female disciple asked Brother Ling Feng his abilities had become much stronger now. Ling Feng said yes, they have become coarse and more powerful than ever. But suddenly, someone shouted to Ling Feng, turning around he saw Dong Shui. She's one of Mo Yuqiong's top disciples. She lost to him in the recent competition, now looking much more powerful. Dong Shui said that she had come again. And she really wants to fight Ling Feng again, and put up a good fight. But suddenly, Ling Feng was taken from behind by someone, and he asked, What does Ling Feng Tian know? It was another one of Mo Yuqiong's gifted disciples. Recently, when Ling Feng used the alias of Lin Feng Tian, he had beaten him in the wilderness. However, his look is completely different, Ling Feng didn't even recognize him at first and told him that he didn't know such a thing. Mo Yuqiong's disciple Shui Ling said that she had a premonition, a disciple like Ling Feng should definitely appear in the competition between their academies. Ling Feng said this while staring at him a guy thinks he doesn't he look like an ordinary person. Mo Yuzong Academy is up to something, it's full of unusual students. Dong Shui. Wu Yu. 
And that third one, the four disciples of Linu Academies are also high-level masters, and this would be a meeting of old enemies. The next day, the dean said he understood that everyone was agitated, but please keep it together. The dean will now declare the martial arts competition between Linu and Mo Yuzong Academies open. Ling Fong said he would go to the 16th court. Sister be sure he will win. Her sister said that with the sword he won and gave her at that open competition, she was not afraid of anything at all. On the first court, Mo Yuzong's disciple John Ming came out. Against the academy student Linu Ling Chin, John told the little girl not to take offense if it hurt. He is, after all, a level 5 martial arts expert. After striking Lin Ching, John didn't expect her to take the blow so easily. This is an unusual way of wielding a sword. Lin Chin said it was her turn. And gave a lunar level strike. John thought he could deflect it, but he couldn't and dropped out. The alchemy student said that Ling Ching was using lunar level techniques. Punching through this level 5 expert, of course he was no match for her. On the second court in the third fight, Doug Oe was victorious. And in the fourth fight on the fourteenth court, Mo Khan won. While the Linu Academy disciple fought with one Mo Yuzon girl, it was a very long time, his strength ran out and he gave in. Now what did the disciple ask? Here he was, he immediately surrendered in a fight with Li Xian. The pretty girl still admired him. The apprentice said it perfectly. After all, the top four disciples of Linu Academy are going without any losses so far. And Mo Yuqiong's top three are also winning, Dong Shui and Luan Yu winning time after time. Ling Feng told them to calm down and called them skillful. Like him, they don't lose at competitions. Ling Feng said he came here to have fun. Bing Ming told him not to fail, why let him win for her sake, and pass to the next round. What is the next round Ling Feng asked? After all, he actually expects to win, otherwise he wouldn't have come. The student started laughing because the alchemy student had decided to win the left arts competition between Linu Academy and Mo Yuqiong Academy. It's a challenge for the other students. Ling Feng said that they say that his rival's name is Wu Min. Where is that kid? he asked. After all, the guy wants to start earlier and finish earlier. But suddenly a guy came up from behind and said he was Wu Ming and this is my opponent Ling Feng. He said he'd finish Ling Feng off. Ling Feng had gotten a little too cocky. Mo Yuzong's team was up to something, how could one lose concentration? Ling Feng said that because of respect for him, he would fight at full strength. Ling Feng defeated Wu Ming with one punch. He was puzzled, but Ling Feng's second opponent said he wouldn't dare to fight him. And he admits his defeat. Bing Ming said to Ling Feng that very good, kid, has already passed the fourth round. Why are you not happy? she asked. Ling Feng said that it was the third day of the competition and he didn't even break a sweat. Ling Feng shouted out that he was waiting to catch a dangerous opponent so he could have a good time. Here's the original fourth round. The final bout on the first court. The contestants are invited to the court. A student from Linu Academy. Ling Chin. And a student from Li Nu Academy. Mo Lan. Lin Ching said that luck was on her side as there was still no opponent who had defeated her so far. Mo Lan said that Ling Ching not only became more beautiful, but also developed her abilities, she is now a household name in the academy. Mo Lan has been preparing a lot and taking pills, she can't help but defeat her. Ling Ching said it would be very easy to defend against her punch. Just like that, simple and neat. Using a lion level strike Mo Lan said, although she hadn't mastered this technique enough, it would be enough to kill her. Lin Nim said, Mo Lan's sister said that she had already suffered an injury and needed to admit defeat. Mo Lan admitted defeat. After all, Lin Nim was worthless and weak before, but now she was more beautiful and stronger than her. Ling Feng said that he is very bored. And he doesn't know if the next opponent will be able to cheer him up. Mo Yuqiong's disciple Leng Chen told Ling Feng not to be too frivolous. After all, he had come to finish him off. He said he's one of their top students. And he's fourth in their top three. Ling Feng said hurry up and start the fight, for his stick has been bored and eager for a fight for a long time. Leng Chen told Ling Feng that he was overconfident. 
he'll have to pay for his words. Leng Chen is a ninth level martial arts expert. And he launches an attack and delivers a level 5 yellow level 5 step strike. Leng Chen missed because of Ling Feng's fast speed. And now he wanted to use the yellow level ferocious tiger kick. And then there would be a dissecting kick. Ling Feng asked why he was doing all this. Unless he wants another stick kick in the ass. Ling Feng said he was shocked. And it's called a retaliatory strike. A triple attack. And the guy said he can also attack multiple times. But suddenly, Ling Feng used his exclusive fierce stick technique. But after throwing a few blows, he stopped and misfired. And said that Leng Chen is the fourth among the disciples. Miss Bing Ming told Ling Feng that good job, as long as he didn't disgrace the alchemy department. Ling Feng said that he had not had a chance to show his strength fully yet. The fifteenth site where the battle between the two friends took place. Ching Chan said that she was incredibly talented to defeat him. After all, Ching Chan did not give in to her, she had already surpassed him, keep it up and she would reach greater heights he said. Seeing the list, the students said that they shouldn't be beaten by Mo Yutong this year. Before this, the difference in the level of the participants was huge, some even reached this stage quite easily. The participants shouted that the table was unfair. After all, Ling Qing would be fighting the incredibly strong Doug Yu. And there will also be a fight between Luan Shui and Ling Feng. The old rivals will fight again. That night, Ling Feng at the table said that no matter what opponent, they should not be afraid, they should eat and sleep. On the fourth day of the competition, Ling Feng said that the atmosphere was better than the alchemy department. Bing Ming said it's nothing. It's just that once he starts making pills, there are always explosions. Meanwhile as Lin Qing looked around and was surprised that everything was gathered around like this for her, it was a very huge pressure. The disciple told Lin Qing not to be afraid, and to do her best. Standing on top of each other, Lin Qing said that she was honored to fight Sister Doug in battle. While Doug told her to get ready, Bing Ming noticed that Lin Qing's sword couldn't withstand the blows. Unfortunately, the difference in strength is huge. Ling Feng said that it is very powerful, even being here, he can feel it. Without using any techniques, she is able to deliver such powerful blows. But suddenly, after a while, Ling Qing felt she couldn't cope and decided to give up. And Doug thanked her for fighting. Bing Ming said that she would take Lin Qing and go rest, and let the two of them stay and do their own thing. The student said that Du Ange was one of the best, of course she would win, no way. Ling Fang said, however, the fact that his sister was among the top 16 contestants was a great result. For the second fight, Sun Tian from Mo Yuzong against Qing Gao from Linu Academy came out for the second fight. Song Tian said that so time to show Linu Academy's real level. Jing Gao told him not to be so confident, for today, he was going to trample one of Mo Yuqiong's top disciples. The student said that Qin Gao from their academy with looks like this fight will be intense. Ling Feng said no, and he thinks it's a matter of seconds. While Qin Gao was eliminated, Sun Tian won the battle. As he left, Sun Tian said that the students of Linu Academy were weak. The apprentice was surprised at how quickly he gained the victory. One strike from a level 5 martial arts master. She asked how did Ling Feng know about it. Ling Feng said that Sung Tian is the first of Mo Yuzong's disciples to go out to bat in the playoffs. Of course, he wants to instill fear in them. The third playoff fight was Li Sung from Linu Academy against Han Ren from Mo Yuqiong. The student said that they say Han Ren is very powerful, it seems like there will be a massacre here. But Ling Feng said it will be fast again, while Li Xian prodded. The student asked Ling Feng how he defines it. Ling Feng said that a weakling in front of a truly strong opponent could do nothing. The disciple thought that the next fight between Mo Yuzong's disciples, Leng Shui versus Leng Yu Ling Shui is very strong and should defeat Leng Yu with one punch. Watching this, Ling Feng said that Mo Yuzong was very calculating. Ling Shui hadn't dropped out yet, but he still hadn't shown his true power. The apprentice told the chief that this kid is diligent. Obviously he is weaker than him, but how can he compete with him? The kid told him to try harder. Bing Ming asked Ling Feng why he came so late. 
The guy said that his fight would be his last, so he decided to take a nap. Lin Chin said the fifth fight has already come to an end, Li Du defeated Dong Xian. And the student said that the sixth fight is about to start. This Shui Lin is not so intimidating but let's see if he can fight Wang Qi. Wang Qi said that his strength has run out. And let him not be beaten, he admits defeat in this fight. The female disciple said what a twist, just an unexpected outcome. While Ling Feng said that Shui Ling was much stronger, he was just playing for fun. Ling Feng pondered and thought that Shui Ling does not raise questions. And is a very mysterious fighter. But suddenly, someone shouted to Ling Feng. Turning around Ling Feng said Mo Khan approached him through going out to fight. Ling Feng asked if he remembered their agreement. Mo Tsong told the guy to wait for a while, once he finished off Luan Hao, he would definitely come after Ling Feng. Ling Feng told him to first see how he performed against Luan Hao, and then we would already talk. The student said finally some strong opponents have gathered. The fight will be very interesting. In the end, who will win? Lin Qin said she doesn't know either and thinks both of them are very powerful. Bing Ming said yes, what is there to think since both opponents are strong, they have the same chances. The student asked Ling Feng if he knew who would win. Ling Feng said he wasn't sure because he hadn't seen Luan Hao perform. Luan Hao said that Mo Khan is said to be in the top four in the second position, very curious how dangerous he is. Mo Khan told him, let him check it out. Luan Hao said something to see that they were not going to hide their abilities and there would be a good fight. Mo Tsong said that he was now familiar with him, but before he could finish his words, Luan Hao threw a few punches and won. Ling Feng started laughing, for Mo Khan still wanted to show him what a true master was. Bing Ming admitted that she made a mistake, originally the odds were not the same. Ling Feng said that the atmosphere was heating up, the morale of Mo Yuqiong's followers had risen. The disciple said that the next fight is a battle between Ling Feng and Dong Shui. Ling Feng said no problem he's going to finish him off. Except your pairings are considered the weakest in this part of the competition, no one expects to see anything interesting. Miss Bing Ming said that he is an alchemist and Dong Shui is not qualified enough, naturally no one will be interested in you. After all, Ling Feng always used one stick, so not everyone clearly understands your maxim. Ling Feng said it's too much. He will show them. Dong Shui said that he had waited for this moment for a long time, and let Ling Feng not disappoint him. Ling Feng told her to relax, after all, he will trample his hopes. Dong Shui said the genius of stick fighting and does not use the shelf. Ling Feng lost his temper and said that he shouldn't be called a stick fighting genius. As the fight started, Dong Shui shouted to Ling Feng that he was coming. After throwing a few punches at Dong Shui, he said that it hurt a bit. It turns out Ling Feng is so powerful. Ling Feng said the ability to withstand this blow shows that Dong Shui has also become stronger. Ling Feng said from Mo Yutsen's techniques have no creativity at all. What's tiger punches, what's dissecting punches, he's seen it all. Give me something more interesting. Dong Shui said he understood. And demonstrated a heavenly level technique. Chaotic rockfall. Seeing this, Ling Feng said, it's beautiful. There used to be only one rock, but now there are so many. The disciples said that because Ling Feng was dependent on the use of sticks, he was now suffering. Dong Shui said this is how it is. She tried her best and couldn't hurt him. Ling Fenga holding his hand on top said that this technique was very strong, he almost started to fight back. The disciples were surprised that almost nothing happened to Ling Feng, that was cool. Stick fighting genius. Let's go. After throwing a few punches, Dong Shui lost her weapon. And Ling Feng threw a few strong blows and Dong Shui falling down said that history was repeating itself again. Ling Feng said that Dong Shui was very good, but unfortunately she lost again today. Bing Ming said that Ling Feng said I won't, but his body is more honest. Didn't T he grab the stick like a little kid? Dong Shui said that she is not really upset, Ling Feng is getting stronger and stronger. Ling Feng said that Dong Shui's progress is also noticeable, she is one of Mo Yuzong's top talents. Ling Feng held out her stick to her. Dong Shui said that a stick fighting genius could be without a stick. 
and told him to take it with him to the next battles. Participants discussed that Linu Academy did a good job this year of having their students in the top eight. Du Oe said that it didn't seem like someone who would underestimate the opponent, unlike Imo Khan. The Mo Yuzong Academy disciple said that it would be much easier for him now that his opponent is an alchemist. He seems to be a third-level martial artist, it's not a big deal for him. The guy said that Ling Feng was incredibly young, and on top of his gift in alchemy, he also possessed a fairly high level of martial arts, this showed that he was a great talent. The guy said they should by no means underestimate him, because then we'll make a mistake and lose. The first battle of the quarter-finals. Du Oe vs Su Tian. Su Tian says they'll see who's more dangerous today her or his knife. Striking with nine levels of fire he mostly missed and decided it was going nowhere. After all, it only messes up the knife more. Du Oe was fed up with all of this and decided to take matters into her own hands and used a heaven level technique. Supersonic attack. Su Chan said that the heaven level technique was simply terrifying, but his two blades weren't that hopeless. So he decided to show off his most powerful strike. But in this fight, Du Yu was much stronger than him and he lost. The referee announced that Du Yu was in the semi-finals. Analyzing the fight, Ling Feng said that Du Yu is very capable and strong, not for nothing she is the first. Academy disciple Mo Yu Cheong said that he didn't think Du Yu was that strong, telling his partner not to lose. Ling Shui said that everything was under control, as the second place in the competition had already been reserved by him. Second fight of the quarterfinals. Ling Xian vs Ling Shui. Ling Xian told her opponent that she came to smash him. Ling Shui called her little girl and said that he hoped she was at least a little dangerous and wouldn't be destroyed like Imo Khan. Lin Feng watching the punch said, this is cool. The area is big enough, Ling Shui will need to defend himself. Li Xian was surprised that Ling Shui didn't even dodge her punches. Ling Shui said that she wouldn't catch him. If she could catch him, she would have won long ago. Ling Feng analyzed the fight and said that Li Xiang is excellent at long range, but close combat is her weak point. Li Xian said, Ling Shui is definitely crazy. Not to be defensive and seek his death in the process of fighting. Li Xian said that she wanted to see what he could do. Come on, take the arrow. And launched a killing arrow attack. But suddenly a bright light flashed and no one saw anything. But suddenly, Ling Shui came out of the smoke and said that she had been caught. Ling Shui said that they were both ninth level martial artists. He still can't understand how he didn't T win so quickly. Ling Feng said that this fighting method is doomed to failure. He seems to be willing to give up personal gain for the sake of his academy. A disciple asked Ling Shui is he too injured? Ling said compared to Li Xiang's wounds, it's still nothing. In the next round, he will fight Diu to the death. Striking Diu said that they say this technique is one of the most popular in Linu Academy circles, right at the top. Fortunately his punches are not worse. The guy said a level 9 martial artist and he uses those kind of blows. So he's unusual. The student laughed and said stop praising him. He had broken through to this stage only through luck. The guy said he still wouldn't underestimate him and would fight to the best of his ability. He said as an already disciple noticed, he is the strongest disciple of Linu Academy. He is not a level 9 martial artist but already a budding martial arts expert. Shui Ling laughed, and said that the martial arts expert was very dangerous and he wouldn't be able to defeat him with his own strength. Du decided to hit Shui Lin with his strongest punch, the big bear technique. But he suddenly missed and didn't realize what had happened. Shui Lin said that's the trouble. Because of the battle with him, he'll have to show all his abilities. Du was surprised and asked him if he was an expert too. It turns out this one is the strongest disciple of Mo Yucheong Academy. After seeing Shui Lin fight, Ling Feng realized that the guy's abilities surpassed his abilities. D decided that he only had his last chance to take the pill in time. And shouted give him strength. Shui Ling seeing this blew by whether he was planning to break through to one level above martial arts right here and now. After turning into a monster, D said that he had been waiting for this moment to shock Mo Yuzong Academy. Shui Lin said that it looked dangerous. And his techniques now looked insufficient for him. But suddenly, D made a crushing attack on Shui Lin. But Shui Lin had time to make a counter-attack as well. D asked is this a heavenly level technique? 
Shui Ling said correctly. This is a heavenly level death spear. D said that he needs more power. But he ran out of pill energy, now it's very difficult for him to fight him. But D had lost. Shui Lin said, due to his lack of experience and knowledge, he couldn't control a high level force, so he would have lost anyway. The guys were so scared that they said Shui Lin is so dangerous. Is there anyone who can defeat him? Li Xian said that out of the top four, only the girl went further, now we can only hope that Ling Feng will beat Luan Hao. The girl said that Li Du tried hard, in fact, she was also not at all confident that she could beat Shui Lin. Mo Khan prayed that Luan Hao, must win. If he lost to Ling Feng, then it would mean that he would lose to him as well. Ling Feng told Luan Hao to say how he wanted to be beaten. But in response, he received words not to be so talkative, after all, he's just some alchemist. Luan Hao said that Mo Khan couldn't withstand his triple punch, but would he be able to withstand it? With a flurry of strikes, Luan Hao realized that Ling Feng was able to withstand his devastating hail of blows. So, he decided to move on to heaven-level techniques. Ling Fang laughed and said that he didn't care what techniques he would show. And asked if he would show anything else or not. Luan Hao said, it's time to take out the weapon. And he would make Ling Fang see the intimidating power of a ninth-level martial arts master. Ling Fang said that he would make Luan Hao see the intimidating power of a stick-fighting genius. Striking out, Luan Hao asked is this the limits of Ling Feng's ability? Ling Feng said, it seemed like the martial arts master had something that he couldn't easily defend against. In fact, Ling Feng said, he is a fifth-level martial artist. But this did not scare Luan Hao and said that he was four levels above him. Ling Feng said that he had already broken through the level of a martial arts expert in independent practice, so his foundation was better than ordinary people. In addition, his tempered body is able to cover the difference of four steps. After striking Luan Hao was lying on the ground and couldn't leave it to this kid to pass the finals. But Ling Feng told him to get up, for the battle was not yet over. Luan Hao told Ling Feng that he should lose today. Because he is almost a martial arts expert. After striking, Ling Feng realized that he needed to change his attack, as his technique was not enough to crush Luan Hao. Ling Feng asked Luan Hao is this his trump card? If it is, Ling Feng is very disappointed. So he decided to introduce him with one of his spiritual practice techniques. Ling Feng laughed and said, almost an expert, but not that cool. Luan Hao said spiritual practice techniques are very dangerous. Luan Hao lowered his weapon and said that he had lost. And with tears in his eyes, he admits his defeat. But suddenly, the guy from Mo Yutong said that this technique that Ling Feng used, he had seen it in the wilderness. So this is him, the very person that Mo Yutsun Academy guy is looking for. Ling Feng said it right, he's the same Ling Feng Tian. The guys saw this and said that the mysterious Teach is a stick-fighting genius. Now he defeated Luan Hao and made it to the semi-finals, Ling Feng is unbelievably cool. The guy from Mo Yuzong Academy said that Ling Feng was their common enemy, but unfortunately, he was getting stronger and more dangerous. Bing Ming said damn boy, imperceptibly becoming incredibly strong in martial arts. Lin Nim said that she didn't even realize that Ling Feng was already a level 5 martial artist. Shui Ling said, finally everyone has finally started to show their power. I hope this isn't all Ling Feng can do, otherwise he will be disappointed. On the seventh day of the competition, the elder said that today was the last day of the competition between the academies, there would be two semi-final battles in the morning. The dean said the two winners will have a final battle in the afternoon, then the winner will be revealed. The semi-finals are now open. The first semi-final bout. Diu versus Leng Shui. Leng Shui thought that Diu and Li Xiang are good at long-range attacks. All he has to do is to use close combat. After launching several powerful attacks. Diu asked and he would stop at the low blows. If Yudo is like this, then he has definitely lost. Leng Shui asked if Diu could stop his strike. And struck the strongest blow with a deadly hail of swords. But Diu retaliated and Leng Shui said that it was tougher than his move. Sis is dangerous after all and Leng Shui decided that he too was using one of the most dangerous techniques. Leng Shui told the girl that she had better defend herself well, 
or else she wouldn't escape the spawn. Carrying out several attacks, Ling Shue said that this incredible power was destroying his body. After the battle with Li Xing, he had not fully recovered, now it was more difficult for him. However, he must not lose, he must win. Taking his sword he shouted for her to let him thrust his sword into her. With each attack, he grew weaker and weaker, and at the right moment, he lacked just one step to win. Incredible power. He still lacked one step, that one step is really so hard. Leng Shue told his sister that he accepts his loss. And they have their first finalist and it's Du Yu. The fans shouted that Du Yu was simply incredible. She didn't make a single move and defeated Leng Shue. And this is the first finalist who is a student of Linu Academy. But in this fight, Du Yu lost a lot of strength and fell to her knees. At this time, Ling Feng came over to her and gave her a recovery pill. Du Yu smiled sweetly but her eyes still showed her immense strength. And taking the pill, she thanked him. Ling Hao said Du Yu is injured, she will not recover in a short period of time, Ling Shue did well. Shue Ling said that he wanted Ling Feng to demonstrate the technique he used to defeat Ling Hao. As the fight began both opponents flew at each other in different attacks but they were so strong that they did not yield to each other. Shue Ling said that Ling Feng's strikes are strong, but these strikes of a level 5 martial artist are still far from his level. After all, he is almost an expert. Ling Feng said as he used a collapsing barrage of blows, it was indeed much stronger than what Luan Hao used. In this series of strikes, Ling Feng realized that he was less successful, a strong body was not enough. He must demonstrate everything he's learned. Strike with all your might. After striking Shue Lin, Ling Feng said it was his 7.5 tons heavy punch. He doesn't know if Shue Lin is able to continue fighting. The crippled Shue Ling said that he appreciated Ling Feng's abilities, but it was time to get out of the warm up fights. Ling Qing said that Ling Feng was only a level 5 master, but was able to fight someone who was about to become a martial arts expert. But suddenly after striking a few blows, Ling Feng felt his stick break and was very surprised by this. Shue Ling laughed and asked how would Ling Feng be without his stick. Ling Feng said he had a way out. And now they would both be without weapons. And he used his laser finger to smash his weapon. But a friend somehow Shue Ling hitting the stick pulled out another tip and asked who said he would not have a weapon. Shue Ling shouted that now was definitely his last moment. Ling said that he would use new techniques then too. After striking Ling Feng said, Shue Lin lost. Shue Ling said something couldn't help but admit that he had lost this fight. But now he is moving on to the next stage and from now on. He is no match for Ling Feng. Saying that Ling Feng could be proud, that Shue Ling would use all his might to destroy him. Shue Ling said that he was now a martial arts expert. But Ling Feng was not frightened or surprised by this, because every other martial arts expert is a martial arts expert. Where did Ling Feng ask with such self confidence? And unleashed a piercing blade technique attack. Hitting his 7.5 ton defense hard, Ling Feng was thrown backwards. Ling Feng said that he had been blown away. It was a good thing that his body was strong enough, or else he would have only lost. Ling Feng stood up and said that Shue Lin's attacks were very dangerous, as he was even able to repel his attacks. But he said that the specialty had one more spiritual technique, and if Shue Ling were to resist after that, then Ling Feng had definitely lost. Taking the full strength of Linu Academy, and Ling Feng's spiritual sources, Ling Feng used a spiritual technique the flame tongue. Ling Feng told him to take his attack, Shue Ling, and this was his most powerful technique he had learned. Shue Ling laughed and said that it was time to see who was stronger than Ling Feng or her. After injuring his hand, Ling Feng pointed his finger and told him that it was a pity, but in the end, Shue Ling lost. After all, did he make one of the blows hidden, the guy suddenly asked and asked if she was going to keep fighting. Shue Ling thought and couldn't believe that Ling Feng was able to hit his head so easily. And at any moment, he could finish him off, because he had no way to respond to this kind of attack. Shue Ling sadly said that he had lost. Ling Feng laughed and said that he seemed to be a little stronger after all. The fans started shouting that Ling Feng had made it to the finals, and now he would fight to you. Shue Ling's friend told him that he had at least tried, because this boy is simply invincible. A guy from M.O. Yinsong's team said that he didn't expect the best of them to lose. 
The guy next to him said that he shouldn't look up to Ling Fong, but should think of himself and improve. The head told the dean that he had a good team gathered at Linu Academy, and this time they would admit defeat. And the finals no longer have anything to do with Mo Yunsong Academy for them, so they leave. After all, they need to do the error work and work hard. Dean Lee thought, because in the last three competitions between their academies, Mo Yunsong students had been defeated by Ling Fong all three times. This boy had simply become their nemesis. The elders of the spiritual practice department said that Ling Feng's martial talent was unbelievable, so he couldn't waste any more time in the alchemy department. He should take him as a disciple to the spiritual practitioner department, and they would give him a good training. After descending to the ground, Ling Feng said that these disciples had thrown him up, and now he was dizzy. Ms. Bing Ming stuffed the boy into a bag and said that there was no way the elders from the spiritual practice department would take him away. But suddenly the girls ran up and lifted his top, followed by Bin Ming shouting that she would deal with it. Ling Fong told Bing Ming that she had prepared well and even found the bag. He asked the girls to let him go, because it was already over. As Bing Ming left, she shouted to the elders that Ling Fong was saying he couldn't hear. And he refused their offers. The dean asked the elders, did he miss here? And it seems that Ling Fong refused. The elder said that it was very strange, but he said that he didn't need it. Ling Ching asked, is brother Ling Fong leaving? The girl next to him said that it doesn't matter whether she or he wins, because they are both top students of Linu Academy. The dean said that he would declare the competition over since Ling Fong had left, and do you would become the champion. A disappointed Ling Fong said that he wanted to have more fun, but Bing Ming told him to shut up. A crowd of tall people gathered in front of Bing Ming and said that talents like Ling Fong were born once every hundred years. If she listened to them, she would definitely hold a good position in the academy in the future. Bing Ming told them that she wasn't interested and didn't agree. The leaders saw her struggling and said that if her legs were so long, she was right. The dean told Bing Ming's teacher not to do that, but to ask Ling Feng's opinion. Bin Ming said he was badly injured and needed to rest now. But people still wanted to see Ling Feng. When people heard that, they were curious about his serious injuries and still wanted to see him. But Bin Ming was so angry that she sent them away. Ling Feng was resting and eating a delicious watermelon, saying whether he became the champion or not, he didn't care. After all, he didn't even know what was waiting for him in this battle yet. The elders sneaked up and attacked Ling Fong, and the boy asked what they were up to. The elders said they wanted to carry him away in a bag. But suddenly, Bing Ming ran in and asked who dared to take his Ling Fong. The boy was surprised and happy that his favorite teacher had come to rescue him. Bing Ming said they've driven her to despair, so she'll just set the bag on fire. It'll burn to the ground and no one will get Ling Fong. The majors asked why she was so hostile. The dean intervened in their conversation and told them to cool down, and suggested that they put Ling Fong down and sit down to talk quietly. Ling Fong had thought about becoming a disciple in the spiritual practice department. But it was not in his plans for the time being. The elders told him that by becoming a disciple of the spiritual practice department, he would have more opportunities and resources for development. The indignant Bing Ming surprisingly asked for resources, and they had enough resources in the alchemy department to do so. But suddenly, there was a struggle for Ling Fong. The elders said that they could help him find and get rid of his weaknesses. And Bing Ming said she would make his every day great. Ling Fong told them to stop clamoring. After all, he would definitely stay in the alchemy department, and he wouldn't give up martial arts, and if there were any questions, he would be happy to answer the elders' questions. The dean said that it would be easiest and no one needed to argue. The elders calmed down and left the arguments. Ms. Bing Ming said, since she is a good person, she is willing to give them half of their pledges. The dean remembered and asked the guy where these heavenly and spiritual level techniques came from. Ling Fong laughed and said that it was a very long story. The guy said that in a forbidden area in the mountains he defeated a dangerous beast and found a magic stone. This stone held the secrets of some techniques, but after he mastered these techniques, the stone shattered into pieces, and he no longer has it. The dean was angry, because if they had these techniques, they would never be afraid of Mo Yunsong again. Ling Fong told the dean not to freak out because he understood him. And in the future, 
he said he would show Ling Academy how to learn the five techniques. At the Faculty of Alchemy of Linu Academy, Ling Feng was writing a book related to the five techniques he had promised. Ling Feng was surprised because he had just finished writing and the ink wasn't even dry yet. He wondered why they were acting like children. The dean told everyone that in two weeks, the fire sages will be meeting, and Linu Academy can attend the meeting. Hearing this, Ling Feng thought about this meeting, since it was held once every few years, compared to the wilderness, he could learn a lot in a shorter period of time. The dean said, but the number of seats is limited, only students of the spiritual practice department are allowed to enter. And since Ling Feng doesn't want to be a student of the spiritual practice department, he won't go in. What did Ling Feng ask the dean to wait and not leave? After all, he just handed over five techniques to the academy. Isn't that enough to give him a seat? The dean asked if it wasn't a gift. And gifts don't count. But if he's a student of spiritual practices, that's a different matter. Ling Feng said he asked to be admitted to the spiritual practice department. And saying that this old man has gone crazy. Ms. Bing Ming got angry and said that such gatherings are very dangerous because he is just a pill maker, and asked him if he was going there to have fun, and if he was planning to continue practicing alchemy. Ling Feng said that he was making a promise, not only would he not forget about alchemy, but during the meeting for the sake of the excellent teacher, he would search for useful materials and information to make pills. Ms. Bing Ming said well. But his current level is heavenly level pills. Once he learns how to make sacred level pills, she will let him leave immediately. The dean was surprised to hear Bing Ming's instructions about the sacred level pills. After all, it would take several years for Ling Feng to become an expert pill maker, and the fire sages meeting would be over. Ling Feng asked for a sacred level pill. And taking out a pill, he said that he already did. Everyone started shouting that everything was fine, and to give the okay for Ling Feng to go to the meeting, the dean took the pill and said that it was indeed a real sacred level pill, and a very good one. Ms. Bin Ming said that the guy was shameless, and asked if he really made her. Ling Feng laughed and said that the teacher had actually given him the pill a long time ago, and it wasn't his doing. The boy told his dear teacher that in the Forbidden Zone, he had found not only rare techniques, but also the elixir of immortality. And on the holy mountain, at an altitude of about 1,500 meters, you can find such elixirs and techniques. Ms. Bing Ming asked him if he could make the elixir of immortality. And had he memorized the method? Ling Feng went crazy and said that the teacher doesn't understand, because the restricted area is very dangerous, and he's a little worried. Ms. Bean said the elixir of immortality has nothing to do with it, silly boy. If she were in his shoes, even if she had to put her life on the line, she would have taken notes on the creation of the elixir. Ling Feng told her that she knew he had a good memory. Even though he didn't have much time back then, he still remembered a little. Ms. Bin was glad to hear it, and told him to speak quickly. But Ling Feng began to say that he had been beaten up a lot lately, and his back pain was really bothering him, and his thoughts were not very clear, and his head was not thinking clearly enough. Ms. Bean kindly asked him to show her where he was hurting. After all, she had decided to warm him up a little. After going through the massage course, Ms. Bin said she was having a very nice day. After all, there are only about ten kinds of immortality elixirs, and he had discovered about a hundred. Ms. Bin told the boy that he should definitely go to the fire sages meeting and learn something useful and come back. Ling Feig asked, why is everyone so unserious and naive? That night, Ling Feng said that the fire sages meeting was in two weeks and her sister wanted to go too. The guy asked his sister if she was going to the fire sage meeting. Ling Ching said yes, since she had done well in the competition, she had become a disciple of the spiritual practice department, so she could now participate in the fire sage meeting. Ling Feng said that martial arts also requires constant development, so she should remember to practice constantly. Suddenly, a strong wind came out of nowhere, Lin Qin stood up and said that some huge bird was attacking them. Ling Feng started laughing and told them not to worry, because it was his pet bird and his name was Xiao Qin. Ling Qing was very angry, and asked Ling Feng in surprise, what kind of person is he? And he had trained such a big animal. Ling Feng said that since Ling Qing would also participate in the meeting, he would make sure that she was fine. Taking the bird in her hands, Ling Qing immediately turned into a sweet girl and said that the bird had just scared her a lot, 
but she forgives him. The guy said whatever you say, it's going to be very dangerous at the upcoming event. And these three golden stones are for his sister, they will help her to develop her abilities quickly. And he gave two of them to the animals to protect his sister. The lion cub felt empty at first. But as they began to get to know each other, they found a common language. Ling Ching happily told Ling Feng to see how the animals approach each other. Ling Feng told his sister that there were still two weeks left, and told them to develop their skills, because they couldn't rely on a single golden stone. And he must teach them the heavenly level technique. Two weeks later, the dean said that the gathering of the fire sages was very unusual. And they would be moved to a very unusual place. He said that there will be a lot of difficulties and that they must work together to ensure people's safety. The boys all said that they understood. The student told Ling Feng and Ling Ching to be careful. Ling Ching told her that while they were away, she should help teacher Bing Ming a lot. Ms. Bin told the guy that he was still his student and asked him what kind of handouts he wanted. Ling Feng told the dear teacher to calm down, and he doesn't want to hurt her, so he gives her this sack. But the guy told Miss Bean not to find a fiancé until he was gone. And he took a step into the circle and disappeared. When she opened the bag, she was shocked to see the golden stones. And looking up at the sky with a smile, she said she was here waiting for him. After being teleported, Bertie turned into a huge winged airplane. Ling Feng told his sister that they would have to split up and then he would find them. After falling into the water, Ling Feng said that this way of traveling was not very safe, because he almost crashed. But suddenly he heard someone say, who the hell is this asshole? And ordered him to leave the place. Ling Feng jumped out of the water and asked who was talking. And told them to get out. The stranger said that this pond is for bathing emperors, and he takes and drinks the sacred water from here. Ling Feng spit this water, because it had miraculous properties and was always very highly valued, but everything is spoiled because someone is washing here. But suddenly a small red lump jumped out and told Ling Feng that he was a fool for wasting sacred water. Or did he ask if he wanted her to beat him up? Ling Feng looked at her and said he was a little bird, but she didn't like it and asked who said little. If he insulted the emperor, he will die. Ling Feng couldn't help himself and slapped her. The parable said he would die, and he dared to attack an imperial servant. Ling Fong pulled out his middle finger and told her that she was a little bird who was just making a phoenix of herself. The bird said it wasn't a phoenix, it was just an imperial bird that would kill anyone who came here. Ah, like a phoenix, if he met a phoenix, he'd rip it to shreds. The guy said that the phoenix is an unusual animal, even a great martial artist can't resist it but this chick is confident that he can defeat the phoenix. After grabbing the bird, the guy said that it did not have a scratch after his blows, it turns out that the bird has armor. The guy also noticed that the bird had a great master level armor. It was all spirit, earth, sky, gold. In Linu Academy, it was rare to find heaven level items, and this armor was three levels higher. The guy told the bird he wanted to talk to her about something. But the bird immediately told him not to undress her. Strip asked the guy. Cause it sounds like he's a pervert. But the guy loosened his grip and the bird flew away saying it had to go. Ling Feng got angry and told the bird to come down to him. But the bird called him a thief and told him to go up to the top. Ling Feng told the bird that it was lucky it hadn't died yet. He was sure that she was on the level of a great martial artist. Just a few blows from him, and she, the stupid bird, would have collected her teeth on the floor. The bird said she was furious and needed to finish him off, the stupid, shameless robber. Seeing her attack, the guy said that the level of this fire attack was higher than his level. This is the fourth of the nine levels of fire. Not afraid of the bird's silly attack, Ling Fong saw this as a great opportunity to acquire such an attack for himself. After taking such a strong attack, the guy felt pain, and said that he was in big trouble. But one way or another, he has to endure the level 4 fire. The bird told the guy that he couldn't move his arms and asked him how he expected to defend himself. And attacked him with a Naja fireball, but the guy attacked with a hidden blow. The bird took the blow and cursed the guy. But luckily he had sacred armor, otherwise it would have killed him, calling the guy a scoundrel for using telekinesis power. 
Ling Fong shouted at the damn bird that he would finally master the power of fire. Pichka called him a mean boy, and asked him if he wanted to take away his fire power. And told him to get out of here quickly. Ling Fong said that he could do it, and since he wasn't using the power of fire to its fullest, it would be his. Birdie said she can't go any further, she's just got to use what she has. Birdie said he can't make it, and she'll be here to watch the guy die. Birdie smiled and said that it smelled fried, which made her tummy rumble, he would just fry himself. The guy called him a damn bird, and shouted at him to wait, as soon as he could control the fire energy, he'd fry him first. The guy felt that the fire is very strong. And he can't talk to it and master the fire at the same time. Birdie said she doesn't want to wait, so she's gonna take advantage of his vulnerability and kill him. The guy says he needs to attack again. And he needs to hit harder than the last one. Spirit Absorption, and Incomplete Absorption After roasting the bird, the guy said it wasn't going to die, it was just unconscious, and not to bother him anymore. Absorbing the fire attack the guy wondered how much longer he had to wait, since he couldn't take it anymore. The bird woke up and asked, is her meat ready yet? And noticing that the boy was still absorbing energy, he came up behind him and decided to roast him. Ling Fong abruptly turned around and told the bird that he had slept for four whole hours and finally woke up. The bird was surprised because there were no flames on the guy's hands, and how did he do it, the bird asked. The guy said that he had not only mastered the fourth level of the fire art, but had broken through to the eighth level master. The bird started laughing, after all, no martial artist can match a level 4 fire energy, and the guy is bluffing. Ling Fong asked, didn't the bird want to fry him? However, he wanted to remind him that he could now easily defeat a person at the third step of a great martial artist. Bird said that in that case, this is the last fight, and he has to use the most dangerous technique, the phoenix blade. Ling Fong asked the bird, doesn't she despise phoenixes? After all, the phoenix blade is a phoenix technique, and conscience allows him to use it asked the guy. Birdie said she was using him, doing the phoenixes a favor they should be proud of, and delivered a crushing blow to the boy. But the guy got there in time to launch a searing blade attack. And told him a few options for the bird to survive, the first option is the bird goes to him, and he slaps him. And the second option, the bird gives the sacred armor to him, and he immediately forgets all their differences. The bird was angry and called the boy insolent, because he drank his water, mastered his level 4 fire technique, and dared to set conditions. The guy said that the fire technique was now his, and the sacred armor was about to become his. The bird asked him if he was threatening him. He'd rather die than give a stranger his powers. But the guy was able to land the maximum blow. Unfortunately, the bird was defeated and asked what the guy's name was. The guy said his name was Ling Fong. The bird said the guy's obviously an outlaw but he's not shy about calling himself Guru. And the bird is pissed. The bird said that Ling Fong would be honored to see all his power that he had never seen in his entire life. Ling Fong said that although this chick is not a great martial artist, he has some dangerous skills. Moreover, since he possesses sacred armor, he shouldn't be underestimated. The bird decided to use the transformation of the sacred armor and attack the guy. The guy said if you can fly and have full strength, then there's nothing special about it. The bird told Ling Fong that even though he had retreated today, sooner or later, the bird would finish him off. Ling Fong said that it should not be sooner or later, only today it should happen. The bird was frightened by the guy's actions and asked how he did it. After all, a martial artist can't go up in the air. The guy laughed and said he wasn't flying. He just stood on a leaf, nothing more. The bird said it's a sacred level technique, flying petals. Which means Birdie has to run. The guy said unfortunately he hasn't caught it yet. The flying petals are too depleted to catch up with him. And of course to follow the blood trail, after all, he can't hide from it. Ling Fong said that the terrain is unusual, if it wasn't for the traces of blood, he wouldn't have found him. Birdie asked not to beat him, because he has a big house and a garden and there are a lot of magic plants. And if the guy wants, he can share it with him. The guy asked why this wild garden was his. And considering she's a bird, why does he need magical herbs? The bird said, believe it or not, he's telling him the truth. There are so many magical plants that he can't carry it all by himself. He can take half and keep half. Ling Fong said that he really couldn't carry it all, 
but he could take it with him. But suddenly, someone came at him from behind and gave him a crushing blow. The guy told the bird to stop him and he would go around the other side. The bird said the guy was lying and he just wanted to leave. The stranger told the guys not to run away, let them just accept their deaths. The guy asked who they were. The stranger said this garden was their territory, and anyone who broke in should die immediately. The boy told the stranger that it was just a misunderstanding, because they had simply lost their way, and they would leave right away. These two strangers are level 4 martial arts experts, and they are very dangerous, said the guy. But the strangers pounced and said it was too late. Ling Fong told the bird that they couldn't avoid it. The bird said that these two were ninth level martial artists and it would be easy. Lao San and Xie were defeated with a devastating blow. But a man stood up for them and said that he would finish them off and avenge his brothers. The man used a heaven level weapon and a purple bowl attack. Ling Fong told him to watch him smash his bowl with a single blow. Ling Fong used a ten ton punch. The bird saw this and hid behind a rock and told them to ignore him. The man asked the guy, how did he get such strength? But the guy was also surprised that the man's bowl was not simple, it weighed at least five tons. But someone attacked him quietly and stabbed him and asked him what he was looking at. The guy realized he was in trouble. The stranger said the guy's left arm was already broken, and now he's gonna kill the guy. The guy said it wasn't him that was gonna die, it was the stranger. And it was time for a sneak attack and used a heavenly spiritual technique. After defeating the stranger, the bird was surprised to see that he had killed the martial arts expert in no time, but luckily he had a sacred armor, otherwise he would have already been killed by Ling Fong. His eldest came after the stranger and asked the guy how dare he kill his brother. And he doesn't care who he is, but he's gonna die today. Ling Fong said that to defeat a level 4 martial arts expert, one must use something more dangerous like a series of five slashing blows. And if he relies only on his right hand, he won't last. He ordered the chick to do something. If he dies, the bird won't escape. The bird came out and said okay, they're on the same side now. And it was time to look at his powerful weapon. The stranger said that attacking this little guy was useless, and he was sorry that he was so weak and worthless. Ling Fong said that now it was his time, and if they were to measure only physical strength, he would defeat him with one right. The stranger grabbed the bowl and asked the guy to give it back. But the guy told him to catch him first. Birdie said that taking such a blow of such incredible gravity is simply certain death. The guy said, even though he had killed two martial arts experts, he was also badly injured, because his left arm had completely collapsed. However, getting injured paid off said Ling Fong, after all, this bowl is now his. The properties of heaven-level weapons can be used through the body, and it is very convenient. The bird watching said that she should not waste time and urgently hide her golden net. After all, this guy will take everything in sight. The guy said he had to see what kind of interesting thing the stranger had in there. And when he pulled it out, he found the keeper's ring. Ling Fong said it's awesome. After all, the guardian ring opens up a new space, and this is where the magic herbs are kept. This space is huge. And apparently this ring is not below the black level. But suddenly, Birdie said she found the keeper's ring too. Waving this ring, Ling Fong said that it would be useful for alchemy. And if this chick eats these plants, the plants will go to waste. Birdie said the kid's crazy, wasn't it agreed that everything is 50-50, and the kid can't take other people's money. Ling Fong said, if he is not going to cooperate with him, then let him go. But there is another option said the guy. All the magic herbs he found will be given to him, and he will split everything in half. Birdie said this boy's totally insatiable. And she wasn't sure if the boy would take him, too. So the bird said, what kind of devil is he? And he's just ruthless. After a while, Ling Fong said they were finally finished. He told the bird to give up his ring, but the bird told him to stop thinking about it. After all, he'd already robbed him so would he take this too? Ling Fong got angry and said that he had fought with those brothers, so the ring should be his. Birdie asked him if he's here to make a profit. And she's not going to argue with him, because they'll never see each other again. Ling Fong shouted to the bird not to leave. After all, he hadn't given him his sacred armor yet. The bird begged the guy to let him go, but suddenly they heard strange noises, the guy asked, 
is it an animal roar? And it seems to him that there are a lot of them. The bird said that there were dozens of beasts, all martial artists and even some experts. So they decided that there was no point in running away in the valley, and they decided that they would fight to the end. And he decided to present his new toy to the animals. The bird decided to remind the guy that his thing can grow to incredibly large sizes. And the guy remembered and decided that he would make it bigger and bigger. The guy got angry and told the damn bird not to just stand there. Let it try to kill someone. After showing his new weapon, the guy asked the beasts if any of them wanted to die, they could approach him. After defeating all of them, the chick said that he was tired and that they should not come back. It's not easy to fight beasts. The guy felt that two serious battles in a row were very hard. But luckily he took a lot of pills with him. Birdie said that if you let that bastard recover, she'll be bullied again. Once he started, he'll have to finish the job. And now is the perfect opportunity for a surprise attack. And once she kills the guy, all his fines and savings become birds. Suddenly, she's all over the guy. The guy called her a cheeky bird and asked her what she was up to. And if it wasn't for him, she would have been killed by those animals. But the bird said it was nonsense. If he hadn't been there, he could have hid in a safe place. The guy said she's an ungrateful and unscrupulous bird. Let her wait, he'll heal his left arm and fry her right away. The bird laughed when she heard him say that and said that she would kill him right away. After striking the guy, he fought back with his new weapon. Birdie realized that he was ready for this. The guy said he was such a stupid chick, how could he not be on his guard and told her to take off her sacred armor, but stretching the bird's armor wouldn't come off. But suddenly she started to feel hot. Did the bird tell the guy to let him go quickly, or does he want her to burn alive? she asked. The guy told the bird not to get so hot and invited her to a barbecue. The bird asked him if he was going to eat him. The bird said that Ling Fong was a vile scoundrel and told him to let him go, because they could fight again. The guy said he likes fried wings. And if the bird takes off the sacred armor, he won't let it die. Birdie said that the armor and him are one, they can't be removed. And if he dies, the armor goes with him. The guy told the bird that while she was passed out, he found another interesting thing on her. Like this ring he found. And he'd already taken the magic herbs in it. But what about this ring the guardian asked Ling Fong? He can't open it. It seems to be keeping some kind of secret. The bird told him to give it back to her quickly, because that stinking boy had stolen his family ring, which he had inherited. While Ling Fong said he loved fried wings. But the bird lying on the net said she'd tell him everything. The bird said that this ring kept the secret practices of his Zhu Qiyue ancestors, and that outsider families couldn't see what was inside. The guy said Zhu Qiyue is one of the four sacred birds. They say that Zhu Qiyue's techniques are incredibly effective, so he asked the bird to show him some techniques. The bird said that he beats and robs him, spills Zhu Qiyue's blood, so it can't happen, and he can't break the covenants of the ring and he won't give anything to the guy. The guy asked if there was no way to make a deal. And he said he loves fried wings. The bird asked Ling Fong if he wanted to tame it. So he's done it and now it's tamed. From now on, he's its master and it's his chick. The boy said only a fool would fall for it. But the bird told him to wait, because there was a temple nearby, and there were many interesting things there. The bird is ready to show him the way and help him find the treasure. The boy said that new adventures are ahead of them, and they should go soon. When they came to the secret valley, the guy said that even though they were badly wounded, they had gotten to this drink. The boy said that it was a wonderful thing to heal wounds and become stronger. The younger brother said that with this drink they could rise several levels at once. Unsuspecting, someone suddenly threw a rock at the younger one's head. The boy started shouting that they were attacked by enemies, but it was our bird. Ling Fong said the last one was his. But the bird started to resent him and said that guy was his. A frightened guy asked who they were. Putting on their glasses, they said they were a robbery team. Ling Fong said that it was indeed a very rare drink, compared to pills, it was much cooler. But suddenly a bird found something and asked, what is it? And asked the guy if he's the only one who's going to take this one good drink. Pouring the drink into a big can, the guy said he'd split it in half. Half, the bird asked. Taking the jar, she said it wasn't even a third, 
and she trusted him. Bertie said she had to go to the bathroom and not to let him bother her. The guy said he should quit, because who needs to see what he's doing? After drinking the drink, the bird said that with it, he could become a martial arts expert, become a real predator, and then finish off Ling Fong. The drink began to take effect and the bird began to deform and said that it had finally become a dangerous predator. And we could try using new techniques. When you become a raptor, you have muscles of steel. The bird said that little Ling Fong was dead because the emperor's chick was going to make him find out who was the eldest. Sneaking up from behind the bird told him to try out his fist. Ling Fong turned around and was shocked by what he saw. But Ling Fong slapped the bird and said that he too had drunk this drink and had successfully reached the boundary of the martial arts master level. Ling Fong asked the bird if she had anything against it, he suggested a one-on-one -on -one fight. The bird told the boy that it should not be killed, because the sacred temple is already close, and they need to continue their journey. Going up the stairs, the bird said that this temple had been silent for many years, and now suddenly the light was on, and they should definitely go there. Ling Fong said he thought there were a lot of people upstairs. The bird said whoever touches her treasure will be killed. When they got to the top, the guys jumped down and struck a pose, saying that the robbery team should be won. In the sacred temple there was a crowd of people waiting for it to open, and suddenly someone shouted that it was opening, and the crowd of people went inside it. The man said that this hall is a technique hall and the shelves are filled with sacred level techniques. Some guy said he found a technique of the level of a great martial arts expert. And with it, their family will be much stronger. A boy came up to him and told him to give him the book. After all, the secret of these techniques belongs to his family. The boy said he found the book, not the Moon family. But the boy told him that if he didn't give him the book now, he would kill him. The boy yelled to the Moon family to stop harassing the others. But the boy drew his sword and said he would take them all down. Bertie saw it and called it a smear, because they're willing to kill each other for one tiny technique. The guy said he thought there were a lot of these techniques. And if he were a level lower, he would have practiced these techniques long ago. He told the bird to go while they were fighting, and they would go to the main hall of the temple. Standing in front of the steps, the bird said they were like sacred steps. The higher up, the harder it is to climb. Ling Fong said that on Mount Linu, there were also such steps that a person without talent would not be able to climb up. But the bird flew up and said that it was not an obstacle. But suddenly she felt pain and said that the pressure of the last steps is the greatest probably about 15 tons, but at last she was able to get up and was very tired. The bird said that if the boy asked well, she would help him. Ling Fong said he didn't need to. After all, he was already up. The bird was surprised and asked why he was so easy. The guy laughed and said it was only 15 tons. The bird thought he was a devil when he heard that. The bird said that this was the weapons room. The guy said that was great, because he had a lot of techniques, but not enough weapons. The guy said he thought someone was already here, but he met some obstacles in his way. But suddenly some boy told Ling Fong if he kills this guy, Lan Yu will be very grateful to him. The second boy told Ling Fong not to listen to him. And let him help him finish him off, and said his name was Sei Tu Tsong, and gave him a sacred level pill. The first boy said that by killing the second boy, he would become his brother. But the second boy said that the Sei Tu family was one of the eight strongest families, and if he helped him, it would be a great benefit to him. The boy said he didn't think it would be good enough. The bird got angry and told them to get all their treasures and then they wouldn't die. The first guy asked how dare a little bird say that to him. And the second guy asked the bird, is she taking advantage of the opportunity to steal from them? They're level eight martial arts experts. One palm strike and he's dead. Ling Fong said that level 8 experts were scary, but level 8 wounded experts were not so scary. Birdie said that they were ready to start looting. The boys told them that they thought they could come to an agreement. Ling Fong said that he didn't care what they thought, but there would be no agreement. The bird told them to stop talking, and she flew. And used the spiritual level technique of the palm of darkness. The second guy told the bird that his master was afraid to fight him, and she is a small bird, so cheeky. Ling Fong asked, who said he was afraid to fight him? The other guy said he was looking for death. After all, he can't compete with the members of the Sei Tu family. But the other guy missed the moment and got hurt. 
and said that the guy was strong and he didn't expect Ling Fong to be stronger than him. But then a bird ran up and hit him on the head with a stick and said that this weakling had underestimated him and he would get what he deserved. The first guy thanked Ling Fong for helping him get rid of Se Tu Tsong, and the Lan family will definitely thank the guys. But the first guy didn't stay on his feet for long either and got hit with a stick from the chick too. Ling Fong said it's great to come from a big family, there are many advantages. Birdie said that the fight in the first temple could stop at any moment, and they should hurry. But suddenly he saw something shiny and said he couldn't count the number of guns in there. But the quality is ordinary. But Ling Fong said, whatever, even though he didn't need it, he could sell it to someone. But suddenly, he noticed something unusual and was surprised. He tried to lift it, but he couldn't. And he said it must weigh 15 tons, 20 tons, or heavier. Ding Fong wondered. If he couldn't lift it, then it was a sacred level weapon. It must be his. The bird flew up to him and said that he had been here for half a day and wasn't looking for anything else, and asked him what he was doing here after all. Ling Fong told him it was his treasure. And it can be very light or very heavy, very small or very big. Birdie said she's shocked at the garbage he found, and this is way cooler. Ling Fong accepted and told the bird to come with him, because he wanted to go to the third temple. The guys asked what the hell was going on. And what kind of freak took advantage of their fight to get all the weapons out of the second hall. The second boy said that there was no time to lose, because the third temple was just around the corner. The stranger said that their eldest son had already entered the temple and no one else was allowed to enter. The eldest son of the Lawn family asked the boy. He thinks it's bad and very bad. The other guy reported that Lan's family's situation is much higher than theirs. There's nothing to be done. The first guy said that they say their eldest son is incredibly dangerous, and they are no match for him. Ling Fong will ask so what? Is the Lan family going to dictate the rules? After all, the temple does not value social status, but personal qualities and asked who dared to block his path. The two practitioners got angry and struck out. Ling Fong was flying in the sky and realized that the two practitioners had struck him and he didn't even feel anything. He also jumped to such a height. Ling Fong asked them what they were waiting for, just a little bit more, and the Lan family would take all the jewelry, and they would have nothing left. The practitioner said the guy is right. The eldest son of the Lan family wants to take everything for himself, he's afraid they'll be killed. Ling Fong said, rather than wait for death, it's better to confront them. And told everyone to go together. Someone shouted at them not to listen to this fool, if they offend the Lan family, they would be in serious trouble. The practitioner told his friend to go and enter the temple, but when he entered the portal he got hurt because the magic barrier would not let them in. The second practitioner said that it seems that not everyone will be able to pass through it, so he decided to try, and he succeeded. The elder said that Xiao Yun had passed, so let the others try and see if they could get lucky. But these two bandits attacked them from behind and knocked them out. Ling Fong told the bird to be quicker, because they were martial arts experts and they could not be detected. The bird laughed because she didn't think they were experts and she could beat them easily. The practitioner was angry because Xiao Yun was the only one who could pass through the portal. He wondered what happened to the others. The practitioner looked around and saw that someone was attacking their men, and ordered the attacker to come out to him. Ling Fong told the bird that they should pretend to be dead because they can't fight them. The wounded soldier shouted for Che Shuang and Xiao Yun to leave. After all, he had already mastered a powerful technique. But the stranger in the portal said that no one would leave here tonight. And all will be defeated by his mighty power. The guy said that this stranger is an intimidating fool. He's the eldest son of the Lan family. Lan asked who did this to his brothers. The guys all shouted that it was them. The boy said they were responsible for the deaths of those two. Joining forces and finishing off Ling Ju Kong is the only way to survive. Ling said they'd all die that way. Lan told them to familiarize themselves with his only master techniques. And the strongest spiritual techniques in the world and used the silver moon attack. The rep said this guy is incredibly dangerous. Lon said they're the ones who are incredibly weak. Birdie pretending to be dead said that this guy has killed so many martial arts experts. He's at least a martial arts emperor. Ling Fong said that he had to find a way to escape. 
there was no way he could carry all those pills without being seen. He would have to eat as many of them as he could. Walking over to the guy's Len told them to stand up, and not to try and play dead. Ling Fong stood up and said hello to his brother Lan and said goodbye. The bird apologized for disturbing him and said that they would not disturb him. The guys decided to run away and thought they were safe, but suddenly Ling caught up with them, and Ling Fong was frightened when he saw him and spit out pills. Ling Fong gave a ten-ton punch at once, Ling said that he was a worthless martial artist, and how was he capable of such a strong punch? Ling Fong didn't have time for Lan and fought at full strength. Lan said that he was surprised because his punch was very powerful, and he couldn't imagine that the guy was so prepared. Ling said if the guy shared his cultivation techniques with him, he wouldn't kill him. Ling Fong asked him if he was ready to fight. Ling Fong said that this guy is very strong, after his powerful punch, he landed calmly. Lan said the boy would have to die in this fight. And used a sacred level palm. In response, Ling Fong used a sacred level fire blade and aimed at Lan. Ling Fong shouted to the bird to come down to him, because only they could defeat him together. A bird circling in the sky above the boys said that it won't work like that. Only a fool would agree to go to his death. Ling Fong said, since the bird is not flying to his rescue, he told Lan that it is actually a rare Zhu Chiyue bird. Lan was happy with this information and said that it was very good and he needed such a bird, the bird got angry and said that the guy was a cheat and a traitor. Birdie shouted to Lan to come up to him, if he had the courage. She's ready to take him down and take it easy. Lan said that was a very bold statement. The bird saw the purple wings and realized that it was an emperor level technique. The bird saw this and decided to run away. She used the sacred armor and the fast flight mode. Lan saw it and was surprised by the sacred armor. He said it would soon be his. Ling Fong watched and said that their paths had diverged, but they would definitely meet the bird. The bird shouted to Ling Fong that he was leaving too soon and said they were together until the end. As Ling Fong ran away, he shouted to the bird that they weren't together and she wasn't with him. But the bird was cheeky and perched on his shoulder, while the guy shouted at him to get away from him. Birdie said they would die together, but Len caught up with them and asked them where they were trying to go. Ling Fong decided and said that they would show what they could do. Bird said that even though the opponent was about to break through to the level of a martial arts emperor, they would either die or win. The guys teamed up and used a combination of phoenix and fire blade techniques. But Lan said it was too weak for him. After deflecting this blow, he used a heavenly level silver disc technique. And this blow has killed many martial arts experts, and is impossible to resist. Ling Fong decided to use the heaven level technique with the purple bowl merging. But Lan was so strong that the boys decided to hide, because he might strike from the sidelines. Lan said that he decided to do it again, and if she showed him cultivation techniques, he would let them live. The bird told the guy that death is not a disgrace and they would die but not give up. But Ling Fong told her to shut up, because he was afraid he wanted to give up. But Len said he'd beat them until they got on their knees and said they'd surrender. Lin Fong apologized and said that there was no way he would surrender. And Lan had fallen under his death hold, and would die from absorbing his soul. Lan was surprised and asked, is he a master spiritual practitioner? But not expecting it, he used his purple shield. When Ling Fong saw this, he said that it was impossible because Lan had fought off his deadly attack. Lan told him that he had changed his mind and would finish them both off. Lan decided to use the silver disc double strike attack. And it hit right on Ling Feng's point. Releasing all his anger, he closed his eyes and thought while Ling Fong held his skin chest. When the bird saw this, she decided not to leave her brother and said that she was coming to help. But in the end she said that they would see each other in the next world. But Lan saw it coming and caught up with him and told him to wait. And struck the bird's skull hard. When he got down to the ground, Lan said it was very easy for him to deal with them, but when he saw a hole, he asked if it was a bird or a rat that had dug it. Lan asked where she decided to run off to, the flying bird said it was the jerk who fried her ass. Heading for the bird she berated him to get away from her. But Len told him not to even think about leaving. While Ling Fong woke up and said, if it wasn't for his body's ability to withstand great stress, he would have died long ago and shouted to the chick to hold on, because he needed her to buy some time for him. Before he played dead, Ling Fong ate a lot of pills. 
Now he plans to break through and become a martial arts expert. Ling Fong was about to reach a new level. While a bird flew over him and shouted to Lan, she told him not to concentrate on him and to finish Ling Fong first. And it turns out the guy didn't die, said the bird. But Ling Fong said he really wished he was dead now. When Lan saw that, he said that the guy was incredibly resilient, and said that he would definitely settle the matter with both of them now. Suddenly, a very huge tornado of fire appeared, and Ling Fong said that he had definitely broken through now. He stood up and said that he was now a Ling Fong martial arts expert. Lan said that the guy had broken through and what next? Would a first-level martial arts expert be able to defeat him? Ling Fong said that he can't be defeated, but his speed has become much faster. He'll definitely be able to escape. And as he ran away, he told Len that he'd see him again, but things didn't go according to plan. Lan had also created walls out of nothing. And if you touch them, it's certain death. Birdie said it was over and they had nowhere to go. Lan doubled the silver disc with a closed dome. With a satisfied face, Lan said they were now locked in, and asked if they had any backup plan. Ling Fong told Lan to take his time, because he had a big gift for him. Lan said that in the face of death, he shouldn't care about gifts. Ling Fong picked up the first heavy stone. Ling was surprised when he saw it, his body was untrained and he would probably crush it. Ling Fong let go of the stone without any hesitation, while Lang shouted, no. The guy told him to feel the weight of 25 tons pressing down on him. The bird said that the eldest son of the Lan family is dead. And a level 1 martial arts expert had killed a level 9 martial arts expert who was about to reach the level of martial arts emperor. And Ling Fong turned out to be a real monster. Ling Fong said that it was because of the sacred level weapon, and they had one. However, a lot of energy had been expended, and now he was feeling sick. A birdie perched on the guy's shoulder and said they're friends till death. And she wants to be his little brother. Ling Fong said he was too lazy to handle him. Birdie said he was in a lot of pain. She asked him why he said he didn't have the strength to hurt him. Ling Fong said, is it his fault that he is stronger? After all, these purple emperor wings are now his weapon. After putting them on, he said that even though the purple bowl was broken, he had a stone and purple wings. And this time, going to the temple was very useful. The bird told him not to forget that at the gate of the temple there are many more treasures that are waiting for their owner. The boy said sure, you can't let these good things go to waste. Using his new skill of purple wings, Lig Fong flew after the treasure. The bird shouted that a group of robbers were on their way. One guy asked the man, Lan Chin took the men to search for the temple and never came back. The man said they should go immediately. Finding them, the guy asked, what the hell is this? Finding Lan Chin, he yelled at him to wake up and tell him who hurt him so badly. Lan Chin said that it was Lang Ru Tsong who did this to him and he must have already reached the temple treasure. When he heard the name of Lan Zhu Tsong, he was angry because he not only beat up everyone, but also stole from them. Lan's family is so rich, but he still does such things, unscrupulous. Observing the guys, Ling Fong said that everyone present now wanted to take revenge on Lang Zhu Tsong. As the bird ran away, it said that they would never know that they had taken all the valuables. Ling Fong said that the eldest son of the Ling family had died and had been slandered, which was very sad. But suddenly a huge, huge creature appeared. The bird asked where the bird came from. And it's so hungry that it's ready to take a bite out of her. Ling Fong said she should not touch it, because it was his bird. When he stroked the bird, he asked why it was wounded, and why did he fly to him without his sister. After dealing with his sister in the portal, they found themselves in some forest. Ling Qing asked if the animals were okay. Ling Qing wondered if this was the secret valley of the holy flame. But she noticed its beauty in this valley. But a guy came up to her and asked her where she was from. It's very dangerous here, so he asked her to go to his place. Ling Qing said she didn't expect to meet a rascal so soon. But that guy kept insisting and insisting. But a girl jumped on her and told him to back off. The guy said she hurt him and the Chao family wouldn't let him get away with it. Ling Qing thanked the mentor for her help, the mentor said that the Chao family was powerful and they would be in trouble. Lin Qin said that they are like wild dogs, 
and people from their family will latch onto a person and chase them for 10 days in a row to kill them. The mentor said that the Chow family was one of the top eight major sects, and they had many masters, so it would be difficult for them to escape from here. Ling Ching told her mentor that the pill supply had run out, and there was nothing left for them to recover with. Ling Ching said let Xiao Qing and Xiao Huang cover for the mentor to escape, but the mentor said she wouldn't leave her. Ling Qing wondered how Ling Feng was doing. She was sorry that she wouldn't see him again. So she told Xiao Qing that she should get out of here and look for Ling Feng, and have her tell him that her sister misses him very much and can't be with him anymore. The mentor said that she hoped that Ling Feng would train hard and avenge her. Birdie said that spiritual telepathy is great, you can directly transmit information to your pets. Ling Feng shouted that he would exterminate every last one of the Chao family. And leave no one alive. Birdie told him not to be stupid. After all, there are dozens of spiritual masters in their family. He might be able to kill a couple of them from the back, but he couldn't beat them face to face. Ling Feng said that's why he needed much more strength. So he decided that he would use N.I. Kuen's technique. Birdie asked him, is he crazy? Kuen's technique may be able to manifest hidden abilities and increase his power, but the price is death. Ling Feng thought hard and said that there was no time, and there was no need to risk her in such situations. He said if he can't save even the people closest to him, then what's the point of training further? After applying Nye Kuen's technique, the bird was surprised that Ling Feng had jumped from the first level to the ninth level. He shouted for his sister to wait for him. While the girls reached the secret valley of the Holy Flame in the Tian Dan range on a huge lion, the mentor said there was no road ahead, a dead end, and they might have to fight to the death. But then the voice of this disgusting guy said they'd finally found them. And now they'd realize why it's better to die than to live like this in agony. Ling Qing got angry and said they would end their day badly, while the mentor said she would kill them. The guy's people started to say that these two cats are so fierce, but they can't kill them. On the contrary, they will cover them with their charm and they will become their servants. The mentor said she'd die, but she wouldn't let their plans go through and used the fourth chaotic morning tune, the bloody skull. The guy jumped on them and said that it was an empty attack by an arrogant girl. And licking his hand he said that she was a very nice girl to the touch and her skin was so supple. The mentor told the Chow family that they are giving up. But if they don't leave this place, it will be worse. The boy asked the girls if they were hoping to go to a spiritual master's school. After all, their Chow family had always despised such wretchedness. Even if their fellow students found out, they would kill them. The mentor said that when the disciples grew up, the Chow family would be no match for them. Mentor decided to commit suicide to avoid serving those bastards. She told Sister Ling Ching that she would be the first to go. But suddenly everything in the sky shone, the mentor was surprised by it. Ling Ching asked her sister, what's wrong with your eyes? Ling Ching started crying and asked her sister if she was hallucinating. She said that she was definitely not hallucinating. With bright purple wings, Ling Feng shouted to his sister that he was coming to help, the enemies were surprised and asked each other where did he come from. Floating in the air, Ling Feng struck with his flaming sword. And crushed half of the Chao family's squad. The guy began to repeat that Ling Feng had a sacred ninth level. Ling Feng said that since they dared to hurt his sister, they couldn't live their lives on this earth. The heir of the Chao family shouted to his warriors to go forward, for the enemy is one. Let's defeat him together. Angry Ling Feng told them that not only they should die, but their whole family deserved to die. Slashing everyone in his way, Ling Feng killed mercilessly, the heir of the Chao family decided to run away and said that his family wouldn't leave the guy alone for this. With a crushing blow, Ling Feng told him that there are some people who should never be angry. Ling Qing told her brother that she thought she would never see him again, but Ling Feng handed her a pill and told her to recover and he would handle it. The girl told him that he and he were fellow students and should help each other. But finally a bird flew in and said that Ling Feng was very fast and asked if he had already dealt with the Chao family. Ling Fong says there's more to come. He needs to exterminate them completely. And he's counting on the bird to help him. The bird proudly promised to keep them safe until Ling Fong returned. Spreading his purple wings, Ling Fong flew after the Chao family to exterminate them. After seeing him, Ling Qing said that he had progressed a lot. 
Mentor said that Brother Mentor was full of mysteries. While the bird decided not to waste time, and seeing two beauties he decided to ride up to them and get acquainted. There were rumors in the Chow family territory that fifteen students had been killed. So the boy asked who was so cruel. The disciple asked him if he was afraid. This is the main building of the Chow family with forty brothers. Whoever dares to come here will die immediately. But suddenly the boy noticed a huge ball in the sky and asked, what is that thing flying? And it was Ling Fong with his stone ability who said that today he would make the Chow family disappear from this valley. After killing everyone in the secret valley, the hour of retribution has come for the 58 members of the Chow family who were killed. In a circle of friends, a girl said that just now, all the masters of the Chow family were exterminated. And now the Chow family is in decline, and that little mountain has become a big death pit. The guy said that they say that behind the temple there is now a huge hole too. Did one person do it, he asked. The girl said perhaps, after all, people say that the son of the Ling family died like that, he was smashed into a cake, what kind of monster is it that could destroy Lang and the seven Chow? The boy said that there were only two influential groups that could be considered the Chow and Ling family. Were they Yin or Yao disciples, he asked. The girl said that things were getting more complicated. If they meet such a monster, they'll be dead for sure. The boy told the girls that in the near future not to go alone and beware of those robbers. After all, last time they robbed him, took away all the hard-earned treasures. The girls said they weren't planning on robbing her last time. Turns out her artifacts were too bad for them. After flying to the Valley of the Holy Flame, Ling Fong told his sister that he had returned, alive and well. The guy said that he had dealt with all the masters of the Chow family. He suggested that they take shelter and wait for a while. Ling Ching pounced on him and asked why he was bleeding, had he hurt himself. Ling Fong said he was fine and was fine. But suddenly he passed out and my sister tried to bring him to his senses. But the bird said it was useless. Birdie told them that in order to save them, this guy used the N.I. Kuen technique, from the first holy level jumped up to the ninth level. But N.I. Kuen is a forbidden technique. He was punished for using it, and all his meridians were destroyed. Ling Ching asked, is it possible to save him now? Birdie said that no one can affect his recovery. Even though Ling Fong is physically and spiritually very strong, it won't change the situation. Suddenly, a miracle happened and the guy woke up. Ling Fong said that it looked like he wouldn't last. His mentor told him that she would never forget him, that he had saved her life. Ling Ching mourned for him and said that nothing will happen to him and he will get better soon, because she believes in it. The pain in his chest was squeezing and burning him so much that Ling Fong was telling his sister that he didn't want to die like this. Ling Ching shouted his name and told him to wake up. After all, he shouldn't die and leave her alone like this. Waking up in the void, Ling Fong wondered if he was dead. And looking around, he saw the afterlife. Ling Fong said it's a sea of souls. It's all primordial spiritual energy. Is he still alive? Ling Fong said that the original spiritual energy usually manifested supernatural properties, so maybe he would survive, he thought. The mentor suddenly noticed that something was happening to Ling Fong. Ling Ching saw it and rushed over to him, but the mentor stopped him and told him not to touch him, because it was a very strong energy flow. The bird said that Ling Feng's meridians were destroyed, his soul fire was dying out, and now he suddenly came back to life. He changed his fate by going against the will of the sky. And he's going to rise from the dead. After all, the holy mountain treatises say that the person who uses the N.I. Kuen technique will either die or be disabled, but with the help of the original spiritual energy, he has restored the meridians and the place where the life force is centered. And it seems that now the Nye Kung technique is not forbidden at all, it helps to restore all the energy channels. Ling Fong realized that his Ni Kuen channels were unstoppable now. He needed more Qi energy. Bird noticed that the Qi energy nearby had changed. Not only did he survive, but he also broke through. This guy has attracted a lot of Qi, enough to last several lifetimes. And the bird told the girls to help Ling Fong, because it's a rare opportunity. Ling Ching and the mentor said that they too wanted to become stronger to protect Ling Fong. After a while, Ling Ching said that she had immediately broken through to the eighth level. 
The mentor also said that she had broken through to the fourth holy level thanks to the help of her mentor brother. And the guy's pet bird managed to break through to the third holy level, and Goldie broke through to the first holy level. The bird said that it too had broken through to the third holy level, and now Ling Fong should call him boss. The bird turned around and asked where this guy had disappeared to. While Ling Fong was looking at the sunset, he heard familiar voices and turned around to greet them. Ling Ching immediately pounced on him and said how lucky he was to have survived. Ling Fong said that his sister was crying like a little kitten. Mentor said it's good to have a mentor brother. She needs to be with her little sister. Ling Fong didn't forget about the two boys and said that it was to their credit that his sister was safe. The bird said that Ling Fong had broken through to the fourth level of soul in one day. And the bird is the companion of such a gifted person. The girl told the boys that the Chao clan's masters had been defeated and that there was chaos around, so they should keep their heads down for now. Ling Fong told the girls to go to the mountains and practice, because they needed to consolidate their results. And Ling Fong needs to practice alchemy, so he'll practice alchemy first, and then soul technique sometime later. The bird was surprised and asked him if he was also an alchemist. Ling Fong said that he knew a little about it and could make high-quality pills. The bird said he is a warrior, practitioner, spiritual master, alchemist, and a talent. Could Ling Fong also be a blacksmith? The little bird asked. Ling Fong said that unfortunately, no. But he would have to learn it someday. So he started making the pill, but suddenly this pill jumped up and hit the bird's head. She said he created the pill so quickly, is it a rock? The bird examined it and said that it was a purple cloud pill of the highest quality. She asked the guy if this was the first time he had created such a pill. Ling Fong smiled and said, yes, because he has become much stronger, and alchemy has become easier. Ling Fong thought about it and said that the soul concentration pill could temporarily increase his strength without any side effects, but it was very difficult to make and he needed more soul grass. Birdie told him to practice alchemy, and she and Xiao Qin would go look for ingredients. After a month, the bird surrounded by pills was very happy, because there were so many of them. And even if they meet a strong opponent, they will be able to resist him. Ling Qing said that Ling Fong had already made 15 different soul pills. The mentor also said that the quality was excellent, and at such a young age, he had already become a master alchemist. The bird said that now they should go to the city of fire, because there was an auction, and they could sell the extra pills. Ling Fong heard the word auction and was already eager to get rich again. The boys arrived in the secret valley of Fire City. Ling Fong said he was going to the auction. The girls decided to go look for a place to stay. The guy said the city of fire is big and crowded. A kid who hasn't been around much will have such a broad outlook. The bird spotted the place where the auction was taking place. When he arrived at the door, the girl said that the auction had already ended today, but he was interrupted by Ling Fong and said that he wanted to auction off high-quality soul pills. High-quality soul pills asked the girl. After all, even adept healers don't have those. And it's not a funny joke. Ling Fong took out a pill and asked if he looked like a joker. When the girl saw the pill, she immediately apologized for her ignorance. She opened the door and told him to go in and she would be right back. But suddenly, the door opened and a woman said that some pills were worth bothering her. She told Ling Fong that if he only had one pill, he was of no interest to them. It was the auction manager of Fire City, Su Xiao. Ling Fong sighed and said that young men are always underestimated. He must have more than one pill. Su Xiao guessed that he had about three to five pieces, and she was willing to buy all of them. But after putting them all on the table, she was very surprised. Taking one in her hands, Su Xiao said that it was several hundred high-quality soul pills, and asked the guy, did he dig up the alchemist's tomb? Ling Fang asked Mrs. Su what she meant. Bird said that she mistook their great gang for grave marauders. Mrs. Su told the guy not to leave. She didn't mean to offend him, she was just surprised. Ling Fong laughed and said that Mrs. Su wanted to buy all the pills, didn't she? Madam Su asked him if he thought she couldn't afford to buy so many pills. Tell me the price. Ling Fong said, if we divide all these pills into 12 groups, the minimum price of a group is 10,000 stalks of medicinal herb. Ms. Su said directly that the lowest price is 15,000 stalks. 
you have to charge them a commission fee, right? Ling Feng agreed to mistress's terms. She said that such a sexy brave brother, isn't he afraid that his sister will completely clean him out? Ling Feng told her to try it, but Madame Su said that she was joking, but in her mind she knew that even though she was a martial artist, she was so scared of him that she couldn't move, because his strength was frightening. Ling Feng told her that there was no need to study it, because patience was not infinite. Mrs. Su said that she understood and in a few days, they would auction the soul pills. And as a token of insurance, this plaque is a certificate. Taking it in his hands, Ling Feng said the deal was done. Two days later, Mrs. Su told the auction that the remaining items were high-quality soul pills, and 480 high-quality shower pills are presented for their demonstration. The people present were amazed by the pills. Ling Feng said that their merchandise had stirred up the entire auction, Birdie said that it was just soul pills, hillbillies, the world hasn't seen such a thing. People were surprised by the 480 high-quality soul pills and asked who robbed the alchemist's tomb. Ms. Su said that the first stage of the auction has begun. And the starting price is 15,000 stalks of medicinal herbs. Ling Feng sat in the last row and watched him get richer with every bet. A little birdie said that these hillbillies were very generous. Ms. Su said that the first stage of the auction was won by a guest. And now the second stage of the auction will begin. Ling Feng rejoiced with every step when the transaction reached 25,000 stocks they were very surprised by it. Ling Feng said that he would use these herbs to practice alchemy later. He would use the good pills himself and sell the bad ones. The bird said that he likes this town a lot. Lots of fools, lots of money. Ms. Su said that now she's starting the final stage and this is the last artifact. The bone of the sacred beast. Ling Feng heard that the bone of a sacred beast. And its quintessence can raise anyone's level by several levels. The bird said that she wanted it, and asked Ling Feng to buy it. The guy said that the sacred beast bone was a material for alchemy, and it was worth buying. Ms. Su said that the auction has started and the starting price is 50,000 stocks. Ling Feng said that he will add a little more and say 113,000 and crush them all at once. Ling Feng said 300,000. When the bird heard that, it got angry because he said a huge amount. Ms. Su told the honored bidder that according to the auction rules, you can't cancel what you said. Lin Qing went outside and told the guy if he had heard that there was a spender who had spent 300,000 stems buying a bloody bone. Ling Feng said there was a small mistake. Small, the bird asked. The $300,000 earned is completely spent, and 30,000 in commissions. Ling Feng told the bird to close its mouth and let it swallow the damn bone. When it took it in its hands, the bird smelled a very pleasant odor. Ling Feng said that the quintessence of the sacred beast was wasted by this bird. The bird said that it had done everything right, and had already reached the fourth level. Ling Feng decided to test it and called the arrogant bird over to him. The bird said that it wasn't afraid of him and used the phoenix blade attack. But Ling Feng released his fist, and the bird flew off into the wall. The guy said that even for one punch he couldn't break through, shame on him. That night, Ling Feng was preparing something and said that there was one last step left. Add the powder and it was done. He finally finished, Birdie took this pill and said that the guy really is a talent, this pill far surpassed the soul pill it's almost like an earth pill. This pill is just a little short of the earth pill, Ling Qing asked that Ling Feng is about at the level of the earth. The mentor said that teacher Yun Men would never think that her disciple would surpass her. The bird said she would give him 10,000 stems for the pill. Ling Feng asked him if he thought he was a fool. He said he wouldn't sell it. After pushing Ling Feng away, the bird said that he would buy her anyway. The guy asked her if she wanted to run away. For that matter, said the guy, he decided to teach her a lesson with his new technique. He used the soul-destroying seal attack. After hitting the bird, it crashed into the rock again. The mentor said the arrogant bird had a headache. Ling Feng told the bird that it had become his training partner, and now he would practice his new techniques on it. Three days later, Ling Feng came to the auction building again. Mrs. Su told him that he had caused quite a sensation, and I asked him what he brought this time. The guy said he only brought three pills this time. Only three, the lady asked. So let her buy them all. She's willing to give 3,000 stocks for them, and she thinks it's a good offer. The guy said no. 
That's very cheap. He smiled and offered her twenty thousand for that amount. Madam asked, is he crazy? Three soul pills for twenty thousand stalks of healing herb. Ling Fong said, no, it's for one thing, the lady said she understood him, and these pills will not be auctioned, and asked him if she could look at them. When she opened the pill box, the mistress was surprised, for they were almost like earth pills, and were of excellent quality. Ling Fong asked her if she wanted to buy them. Madam said she would only buy one. As he left, Ling Fong told her to help him sell the remaining pills. Taking the pill box, the lady said that she would help him sell the remaining pills without any problems. Three days later, Madam Su told the participants that today's lot of shower pills were of excellent quality. Ling Fong said they are so popular that there are more people than last time, Bird told the guy that Su went on stage to sell. Madam said that the pills presented are of excellent quality, almost ground level. And the starting price is 10,000 stalks of the target herb. People were surprised because it was an irreplaceable treasure. And they couldn't pass up the chance. Bertie said that all the eight powerful families have started bidding, even the guys from the Yao and Yin families. And the price should soar to millions. Madam said the auction is over. The last bid is one and a half million stalks of target grass. Madam told Ling Fong to take back his stalks of the target herb, after all, the auction only became so popular because of him. Ling Fong said he sold the first pill for only 200,000. The lady said the guy was so bad. And asked him if he wanted her to satisfy him. Ling Fong was frightened and said with an excited voice, no. Madam told him that if he still had such goods, let him come. Ling Fong remembered and said that he had some books to sell. These were the books he found in the sacred palace, there was nothing special, if he sold it would be fine. Madam asked if he was sure. These are sacred level technique books. Ling Fong said that he needs earth level herbs. Ling Fong in his head said when he had ground level herbs, then he would be able to create ground level pills, but suddenly, he felt that someone was following him. Ling Fong told him that he had been following him all the way, so he didn't have to hide. A loud laugh came from behind and said that the guy was very attentive. He introduced himself as Su Yun, the auction manager, and he wanted to talk to the guy. Hearing that Su Yun was chasing that guy, Madam was worried because Uncle Yun owns the city auction, and it would hurt her. If he hurts that guy, the whole family will be in trouble. Chun said they're a powerful family, so why should they be afraid of some teenager? Ms. Su told Uncle Chun that it was this guy who auctioned these items. After picking up the book, the uncle asked if it was a sacred treatise. Does he want to display them? Artifacts like sacred treatises allow any family to rise to prominence in no time. Mistress said these treatises mean nothing to him. How strong is he, Madam thought. If Uncle Yun is rude to him, there will be trouble. The guy asked if he was Su Yun, and Su Xiao sent him. The man said he knew the guy could get the pills. He told the boy to come to the auction of the Blazing City, where he'll make more money. And Su Yun will be waiting for him there. The guy asked what the Flaming City was for, why he wanted it. And he said he wasn't interested. Su Yun said that he's giving the guy this opportunity and he's refusing. And he's obligated to come to his auction. Ling Fang asked him, is he threatening him? Or is he tired of living on this beautiful land? Su Yun was angry and told him to die with a spiritual technique attack, secret lightning. But Ling Fong managed to attack with a scorching blade. Su Yun said that the guy's techniques are physical, and now his techniques, pass to the man. Ling Fong said that a guy with the last name of Lan used to say that too. And he died tragically. Su Yun told him not to be impertinent, since he was not even his opponent. But out of nowhere, a bird entered the fight and attacked from behind. Su Yun was frightened and asked, What is this? The bird asked, Is he blind? But this made the man more angry and told the bird to shut up, because he was about to destroy him. The man was enraged and decided to use the secret of lightning, and the attack of the sickle of life deprivation. The bird told the guy that this attack was strong, and told him to be careful, Ling Fong said that he needed to deal with him quickly so that no one would notice them. The guy didn't wait long and attacked with the destructive soul seal. Su Yun said that it was impossible, and asked him how he knew this technique. After delivering the man's body, Uncle Chun said that it was a horror. After all, Su Yun's soul had been taken out of the body. 
He said this guy is a spiritual master. The lady said he can't be angry. And she hopes he won't be angry with them. A couple days later, a bird came to the auction and showed the badge to the mistress, and said that the mistress probably understood who it came from. Madame laughed and said that she understood, the sacred treatises have already been sold, 3,000 stalks of earth-level healing herbs have come out and she hopes that he will be satisfied. Bird said that if the Sioux family interfered with Ling Fong, he would destroy all the blazing fire auctions and fire city. But to be honest, the guy didn't say anything like that, he made it up. Mrs. Sue said she understood. And they would be good and honest people. And wished the bird a good journey. Half a day later, Ling Fong was concentrating on making the pill. He had been diligently practicing alchemy these days, and he had finally succeeded in making the first ground-level pill. Lin Chin said that Teacher Yun Meng would be very happy, but the mentor said that by then, even Teacher Yun Meng wouldn't be able to compare to brother. Lin Feng said that recently, the Fire City has been too quiet, it is time to give them the big news. Mistress was grieving because she had less and less money left, and this guy hadn't come for too long either. But suddenly a girl came in and shouted to the manageress that the guy had come. Mistress was very happy at these words and couldn't believe it. Ling Fong told mistress that it had been a long time since they had seen each other. The lady hugged him so hard and said that she had been waiting for him for a long time. Mrs. Su asked where he had been. Ling Fong said that this time he was putting up a very expensive item for sale, so she should keep it a secret. Mrs. Su told him not to be so secretive. She'd already seen everything possible. And told him to let him see it. When she opened the box, she couldn't believe her eyes. It was too strong and unexpected, and told him to put it away, because she couldn't look at him anymore. She said that she had never seen such a thing before. It's a rare artifact, is he sure he wants to sell it, madam asked. Ling Fong said of course, because in his home, this item is considered ordinary trash that can be thrown away. When she took him in her arms, Mrs. said that she was waiting for a new product. And hugged the boy, saying he was her happiness and savior. The day of the auction came, people were asking what was going to be sold today. People said they didn't know, because there were no rumors about the item. Uncle Chun told the guards that people below the level of a martial arts king were not allowed to enter. The stranger asked Su Xiao Ru what's on sale today. After all, everything is so carefully hidden. It was the auction manager of Su Yun's flaming city, Su Hao, who hoped that today he would find his father's killer. At the place where the auction is being held, Miss Su said that there will be an artifact for sale now, the starting price of which is 20,000 stalks of ground-level medicinal herbs. People started asking what kind of artifact is this? And what's the high price of these things? She's out of her mind. Mrs. Su said, by the word artifact, she meant the ground-level pill. And the War King's pill. People said that the Battle King pill, with it, one could break through from the ninth spiritual level to the level of a coin a king. And it's the six-star War King pill, it's not available anywhere else. In the end, the final price of a hundred thousand stocks of ground-level medicinal herb won the Ying clan. The bird said a hundred thousand, you can make a lot of money from alchemy. The guy said the bird has no talent for alchemy, it can't do that. People were upset and sorry that they couldn't buy such a good thing. And they were about to leave. Ms. Su told the people that there will be a break now. And the next lot of artifacts is much more valuable. People were surprised that the War King's six-star pills were not the most valuable. They decided to quickly run home and get all the healing herbs they had. Birdie said they caused such a stir. The guy thought it was chaos too. It was like the whole town had turned to mush. Mrs. Sue said that it seemed like everyone had already rested, and decided to continue the auction, which set 40,000 stocks of land-level medicinal herb as the starting price. She opened the box containing two seven-star War King pills. People were just dumbfounded by the seven-star pills of the King of War. The final price was 150,000 stocks of ground-level medicinal herb. And the winner is the Lan family. What happened? The bird asked. Ling Fong sighed and said that now they were very rich, but they had lost the simplest thing. But the auction didn't end there, and the lady said that there was one more lot left, in which she put up two eight-star war king pills. The bird said that she didn't know that the guy had made an eight-star war king pill. After all, even the Yao clan couldn't make one. 
The guy said it's nothing to him. People asked if their country had such a skilled alchemist. And everyone wanted to buy them. Madam said that the starting price was a hundred thousand stalks of ground level medicinal herbs. The guys were immediately sad that they couldn't buy them. Ms. Sue said that the final price is 120,000 stocks of ground level medicinal herbs. The Chin family is buying. Madam said that they had earned 450,000 land level medicinal herbs, and their auction in the city had gained a good reputation. Ling Fong said that today's auction had come to an end. And they decided to leave Fire City for good. Birdie said the girls had set traps ahead of time. And now they don't have to worry about being hunted. The bird told the guy that maybe they could celebrate their success and have a couple of drinks. The guy told him to be quiet. He'd never seen a bird talk like her before. While Su Yun's son followed them and found his father's killer. But the traps didn't work and Ling Fong and the bird started to run away. The bird said that there are only three of them and they should go. The guy said that it doesn't matter, because they will beat all of them. Sun Tzu said that Ling Fong is working with Su Xiao. He also killed his father, Su Yun. Ling Fong said it seems he's not cruel enough to him. Sun Tzu said this is the last time he's warning him. Tell him where he gets the pills from or he'll die. Ling Fong got angry and said that he was taking all the pills from his family's grave, the son said he would kill him and attacked with a lightning strike. Ling Fong also moved into the battle and said that he was currently at the seventh level, but he wasn't weaker than him and attacked with a burning blade. The son said he didn't expect a bastard like him to be so strong. But he's gonna die today. They decided to activate the technique together, since all three of them are level 9. They attacked with the roar of the fire tiger technique. Ling Fong said that this technique will automatically aim at the target. It will be very hard to dodge. The bird said that there was no need to fight him face to face, it was better to run away. But Ling Fong asked, could he throw him away? But suddenly, out of nowhere, his son was beside him and asked him where they were going. And attacked him with a ghostly shadow attack. Ling Fong said that they were ambushed, the enemies were almost martial arts king level, the bird was screaming to be taken away from this battle. A bird saw the arrow and told Ling Fong that he would save him. The talking bird asked the archer. And now he's going to shoot it. Birdie asked the guy to save him. And there's not just three, there's five. And they're almost all martial arts kings. Sun Tzu called the guy a bastard, and shouted at him to meet the Su family's martial techniques. And Triple attacked him with a lightning strike. Ling Fong was surprised to see Ling Fong take this attack, but he managed to escape. Sung Su told his warriors to run after him. Ling Fong said that he would have fought one on one, but they secretly surrounded him from all sides. But he and the bird will never give up. Sung Su asked how dare a guy say that. He doesn't have a way out. Who says he doesn't have a way out? Ling Fong asked. Ling Fong said he could take off whenever he wanted. Sung Su told him not to even think about it, because he would clip his wings. Ling Fong said he tricked him, so he didn't want to run away. He told him to look under his feet. They were surprised and asked, is this an ambush? Birdie said that she knew they would be attacked, so she prepared a trap in advance. And used a gold chain. Sung Su told his friends not to panic and told them to try to hit him with lightning again. Ling Fong said they were too late, and now they'll see his trump card. And used a heavy stone with 5,000 kilograms. After releasing this stone at them, Ling Fong said that it was a dangerous adventure, and five more lightning bolts, he wouldn't be able to withstand it. The bird said it was time to collect the riches. And when she took the map, she said she borrowed it from the boys. Ling Fong was happy about it and said that it was great and he could go on new adventures. But after reaching the valley, Su Chun told Madam that five of Su Hao's men were dead. And among them were almost martial arts kings. Madam said that it looks like Su Hao attacked that guy, and he defeated them. Uncle Chun said that Su Hao died because of the heavy stone that fell on him. Even the ground was dented, the situation of the dead young men of the Lang and Chao families was repeated. Madam said that this guy hurt the families of Lang, Chao, and Su, so now they're in great danger. While Ling Feng's team was heading for new adventures. The guy said he found the entrance at the front. There were two mountains in front of them, and in the middle was the portal they needed. The bird said they had entered, and asked what treasures there were. 
he couldn't wait to see them, but then the bird heard some growling and stopped. And said they were in a bad way and there was a monster out there. After seeing this beast, a bird came running to Ling Fong and said that this beast has a very rare chi. Ling Fong told the bird to take the sisters to safety. He and his partner pounced on him. Ling Fong told the bird not to play dead and helped him with that monster. Taking the bird by the throat and shaking it a few times, he threw it at the vicious dog with great speed. Wiping his tears, the boy said that the bird's sacrifice would not be in vain. And taking the statue from the ground, he stood waiting for the attack. Shouting for the monster to come to him, Ling Fong flew up and threw several punches at that dog. Ling Fong said he put her in her place. The bird was not happy because the guy threw him like a ball. And if she was stronger, she would have beaten him to death. The guy asked the bird if she had something against him. The bird said he had it all wrong. He said they were going on an adventure. Ling Fong told her not to cry, because she's not even exerting herself. A little birdie told the guy to look around for something good to come. Ling Fong said that this was a chi pond, its yin yang power would help them cultivate. The bird laughed and said it was time to go swimming. Ling Fong shouted to the ugly bird not to think of absorbing all the chi by himself. The bird asked him who he thought he was. After all, it was only thinking of taking a bath, that's all. Ling Ching saw them and asked Ling Fong what was wrong. He said that the bird wanted the girls to swim with him in that pond. The girls were very angry, the bird told them that they should bathe first, and he would wait for them. Ling Fong said that the effect of swimming in the pool may be pain, but swimming there will be very beneficial. The disgruntled bird said that the girls allowed Ling Fong to bathe with them, but he was not allowed. Ling Fong said if she was against it, he could leave. Seeing the girls, the bird raised a finger and said that it was not bad. And Ling Fong told Ling Fong to be patient, because then it would be good. Lin Chin said that it was very hot and hard to bear. Birdie smiled and also said that it was hot and very hard for him. The girls decided to go out, and Ling Fong is so relaxed and he can finally focus on absorbing qi. Ling Fong told the bird that it was too light and he should gain weight. The bird said it was all nonsense and asked why the guy put a heavy stone on his head. Ling Ching said that it looked like Ling Fong needed more training. She suggested her sister to take a look around the perimeter. Birdie saw them and told her sister to wait for him. He'd protect them if anything happened. The girls came back from their walk and Ling Fong showed off his body and said that he had been training for so long and had finally broken through. The golden substance had turned into a yin yang substance, and now he could hold 5,000 kilograms. Lin Qin said that she thought that his body couldn't even be pierced by a sword right now. The mentor said that brother was very cool, he had such a huge strength in such a small body. Ling Fong told the bird that he's tired. He can take this chance to beat him. What kind of nonsense did the bird ask? He wants to catch him, but he won't get caught. Ling Qing told the guy that they had found some mysterious ship. Ling Fong said that it looked like they were in for a new adventure. After entering the ship, Ling Fong told everyone to be careful, because there was something wrong ahead. A bird saw the sparks and told the guy to look, it's a golden dragon hiding here. Ling Ching said that it was good that Ling Fong was with them, otherwise they would have been in great danger. Ling Fong said that he was a spiritual master, so he immediately realized that it was an illusion. Ling Fong said that he had the strength of 5,000 kilograms in his hands. Even if it was a real dragon, he could beat it. Bird interrupted him and said that they realized he was cool. No need to show off more. But he saw a glowing ball and the guy told everyone that a ghost monster was about to appear. But some man came out and asked where these guys came from. And they broke into his place. The stranger laughed and said that he had noticed that they had talents, his little friends. And he is ready to give them his sacred rank. The girls were surprised to hear him talk about sacred rank. Bird said what a good man he is and he's willing to accept him. Ling Fong said he's not willing to accept him. The stranger asked the guy if he despised him. He's willing to give them his sacred level techniques. They'll have no equal. What kind of techniques did Ling Fong ask? And listed all the techniques he knew himself. The stranger choked up and said that the guy knew a lot. The stranger also said that he was an alchemist and could teach him the art of alchemy. 
and asked if they had ever seen a pill of the highest quality. Ling Fong took out some pills from his pocket and asked, these? The stranger's eyes were so surprised that he didn't say a word, and said that he didn't expect the guy to have top quality pills, it wasn't bad. However, he definitely didn't see any ground level pills. Ling Fong took it out and said that he had a lot of pills lately. The girl said that Ling Fong did it on purpose. Ling Fong said that he made them himself, not bought them. The stranger was silent for a moment and said that the youth who could afford the earth level pills had a very rich family. Oh the new generation, nowadays children can make pills of eight earth level stars. But however alchemy is a small part of what he will pass on to the kids said the stranger. The stranger said that he could use spiritual reading techniques, could kill the enemy with invisible powers and asked if the guy wanted to learn it. Ling Fong decided to show him the dead soul seal. The stranger said that he didn't expect the guy to be a spiritual reader as well. He's really talented. But in their world, the stranger said, there is another, the rarest kind of bodily. Bodily men can move mountains with their hands and kick the sky with their feet. And he can do it, and his strength is unrivaled. Ling Fong was surprised by the body skill and said it was cool. He asked the stranger if he could teach him. The stranger realized he had a chance. The stranger said he could do it, but it would be very expensive. And he'd have to take a few pills from the guy. And then he'd give them back to him. Ling Fong agreed and in honor of the deal, they shook hands. The stranger was happy that he was able to fool the children. He took his hand and squeezed it so hard that the crunching of the bones could be heard. The girls knew that Ling Fong had done it on purpose. The stranger said the guy's also a body man. And he can do everything he said he could. But let him show off a little. Ling Fong said that he immediately realized that he wasn't a sacred level, at most a king level wounded warrior. In addition, he didn't know all the directions he was talking about. The bird got angry and said that he was a cheat, because he almost fell for it. The stranger calmed him down and told him not to get angry. The stranger said that he was of king level. If Ling Fong beat him, it would be disrespectful to his king level. Ling Fong punched him and said, what the fuck is a king level? He's going to beat him anyway. Ling Fong asked, did he pass out? And now he can do whatever he wants to him. Birdie also intervened and said that he wasn't a king-ranked fighter yet either. The stranger stood up abruptly and said he was conscious. And I guess you can't fool the guys with tricks like that. Deceive asked Ling Fong. Sacred level masters have a very bad character. And he's too proper for the sacred level, isn't he? Plus, he really looked like a dead man when he pretended to be one, you could tell he had experience. And bodybuilders like to have big muscles, and he's as skinny as a chicken. Birdie said she recommends using the turtle breathing technique when pretending to be dead, as if it's better, and it's not formulaic. The stranger said he understood. And that's the mistake. And next time, he'll definitely get it right. Ling Fong said it was the stranger's turn to tell stories. The stranger said that his story began with this pearl, and taking the balloon he vaporized saying that the guys are still young and in time all of them including the bird, when he will get his powers back. Ling Fong took the balloon and told him to come to him quickly. They promised they won't hurt him. The balloon told the guy that he squeaked. And now they'll ask him not to hit them. The bird got angry and said that this cheater was too arrogant and he couldn't stand him. After using the attack, the bird said that it wasn't a simple pearl, it was a soul eater. And he swallowed its chi. And became more food for the deceiver. Well said, stranger, that's his maximum appetizer. And he suggested the guy try it with him, too. Ling Fong said that since he was such a cool soul eater, then he wanted to try it too. The guy said he could see the power of the body man. He had 25,000 pounds of strength in his hands. The guy asked him to come out quickly. But the pearl said he'd rather die in it. And he's not ready to come out until he breaks the soul eater. Ling Fong said that the soul eater is a very valuable item and he doesn't want to break it. He'd rather auction it off. Ball said the guy's really bad, because he lives here. The guy said then it's even better. He'll sell the soul eater, plus a king level fighter as a gift. The little bird said that this item can be put up for a big price. 
Su Xiao Ru will cry at this abundance. Ball said the guys are so shameless and he admits his defeat, the guy said he's a cheat and let him spill what secret this king has. The stranger said that his name was Zi Fong and he was a king level fighter from Tianchen Island. Many years ago, he had improperly crafted a soul eater and got stuck in it, and since then, he had become the guard of a lonely ship. The stranger said that he could also tell about the secret of the lonely king. There is a terrible fire burning under the ship, and they will not be able to make it. What kind of flame is this guy asking? Is it more terrifying than the four suns flame he made? The stranger said that the guy is too young and naive, and his level is much higher. And this is the flame of the nine suns. The nine suns flame asked the bird. That's really cool. Because last time, the guy took away the four suns flame. This time it's his turn to get the nine suns flame. The boy said he didn't need it. The bird agreed with him. The girls said the flames of the nine suns are very dangerous. The guy told them not to worry, he's good at this. The stranger asked the guy if he wanted to take him too. The bird told him to talk less and to show him the way. The stranger started shouting at them that they were crazy and that they should let him go, because he didn't want to die. Going into the cave, the bird told the boys that in the middle of the cave there was a fire of nine suns. The boy said that it is not just the flame of the nine suns. It is the seed of the flame of the nine suns. Birdie said that things are bad. Fire seed is the purest flame, it's very dangerous. And I can see why we need a ship to store it. Balloon said we have to run away and we can't stay here for long. The guy says he won't let them run. If they do anything wrong, the lava will explode, and then they'll be dead. The guy said he wanted to see how scary the flames of the nine suns were. He took out his wings and flew to the source. But as he approached the stone, Ling Fong felt that his clothes were completely burned by the wave of hot air. As he took it in his hands, the guy shouted that he had caught it. And it was indeed a fire seed. But the fire seed caused the flames of the four suns to come out of his body, and a small fire seed wants to swallow it. We must not panic. We must summon true water to quell the flames. The guy gave when the true water showed up. The fire seed is very strong, true water can't suppress it. The guy asked the bird to help him. As they approached the boy, they divided the power of absorbing the flame into two. The stranger started to run away, but the guy caught him and told him that this time he was serious. And he needed to use true water to absorb the fire seed. Ling Ching said that Ling Fong hasn't come back for a long time, maybe he's in danger, she asked. The mentor said that brother is like a cockroach. She believes in him, that he won't die. But suddenly the portal closed and a bird jumped out and said they were back and everyone was alive. Ling Fong said that he had successfully obtained the Nine Suns Flame Seed. Not only had he broken through to the eighth level, he had also produced a true red flame chi substance. The girls shouted that it was great that he had produced new chi. The guy said that without them, he wouldn't have been able to do it and it was a shared victory. The guy said that the stranger is a trickster, he has spent a lot of time here, and he must know about the secret valley of the sacred flame. The stranger told the guy not to ask, because he had lost his memory. The guy said it's okay, Dr. Xiao Feng will cure his amnesia and suggested him to talk, but the stranger said he won't talk and he wants to sleep. And in return, the guy's willing to give him soul fire. Did the stranger ask? First let the guy let him consume the soul fire, and he'll tell him everything he knows. The guy said no, he wouldn't believe such a liar. The guy said he always keeps his word, he never cheated people. The stranger said he'd believe the guy. He asked if he'd heard of the flame rating. The guy asked what it was. The stranger said that the fighters who entered the secret valley of the holy flame will be ranked according to their ranking, this ranking is the flame ranking. And soon a big competition will begin, the entrance is just in the flame city. It's just like the guy said. This is the ultimate test of the secret valley of the holy flame. Okay, said the stranger, it is time for Ling Fong to let him absorb the soul fire. The guy said sure. The girls got scared and said it was the end. The cheater believed Ling Feng's words, and now he's dead. The guy gave him the soul fire as he asked, but the stranger didn't expect the guy to have such strong chi, and the stranger said he couldn't take it. The guy said he was in no hurry and gave him another half of the shower fire. 
and wished him a pleasant devouring. The stranger told him to stop, because he didn't need that much. The guy said he promised to give, so he did. The stranger said it was his mistake. He'd give him the information for free. The guy sighed and said okay, he'd honor him and take it back. Birdie said the stranger was a liar. He wanted to take advantage of Ling Fong. He was fed up with life. The stranger took offense and said that he didn't want to see Ling Fong anymore because he was a liar and a braggart. The guy said it wouldn't work. They're friends, and they have a lot to go through together. What does he want to do? The stranger asked. The guy took him and told him to go. But the stranger came to his senses and said he didn't want to go to the City of Flames. In the secret valley of the Holy Flame, in the inner courtyard in Ling Fong City, Ling Fong was preparing a pill, the stranger was looking forward to it. Taking the pill in his hands, the stranger said that it was not just an earth-level pill, but rather, it was a high-quality earth-level Inyang pill. The guy said that he had simultaneously used the opposing powers of true water and flame, thus he had made the earth-level Inyang pill. The stranger asked, is this the alchemist's terrifying power? He's so young and already so cool. Isn't the guy afraid of being struck by lightning, he asked. The guy couldn't help himself and kicked the balloon and said if he couldn't talk, he shouldn't talk. Suddenly the guy felt that someone was watching him, but suddenly he disappeared and the watcher was surprised. Sneaking up from behind Ling Fong asked the fat man, is he looking for him? The fat man said that the guy must be mistaken, because he was just passing by. Really asked Ling Fong, but the guy didn't like it, so he took him by the shirt and asked him who sent him. The fat guy said what do you mean? He doesn't understand anything. The bird said that if the fat man didn't confess, he would have to beat him up. When he heard the bird's words, he was surprised. The fat guy asked the guy that his pet can talk, you don't see that very often. Is it a parrot or a crested mina? The bird didn't like it and took the fat man. The bird asked him how dare he insult him. The guy and the stranger were laughing their asses off when they saw this picture. So, fatty, are you giving up? Birdie asked. The fat man said that the bird underestimates him a lot. And in fact, he has the ninth spiritual level. Ling Fong grabbed his shoulder and said that he didn't want to waste time on him, and he needed to tell the truth, the fatty was surprised that the guy dispelled his chi with one punch. The fat man said his name was Qin Xiaofeng and he was from the Qin family, the same family that works together with the Ling family. The guy asked why he was looking for him. Chen said, if he is not mistaken, Ling Fong is the Purple Emperor. The boys played dumb and asked who it was. Chen said that they had nicknamed the Purple Emperor a mysterious guy. According to their observations, he had killed the first lord of the Ling family and the younger generation of the Chao family. And recently said Chen, he killed the brave heroes of the Su family. And he has lilac wings growing on his back, and he flies through the sky with the speed of lightning. His combat power is comparable to the level of a martial arts king in the secret sacred flame valley, he is known as the Violet Emperor by everyone. The bird laughed and said it was a very good nickname. The boy said it wasn't bad either, it suited him. Chen said that he was following the family's orders to warn him that the Lang and Chao and Su families had decided to deal with him in the valley ranking competition. Ling Fong said that those three families would never want to put up with him. And asked Chen why they're warning him. Chen said that because such a talented alchemist is something every family wants to be friends with. Interesting what Ling Fong said, they also found out that he's an alchemist. And he's doubting them that they're not up to something. Chen asked, how can one gain the Purple Emperor's trust? Ling Fong couldn't help but hit him and said, for example, like this. Chen started laughing because he needed to complete this task to earn the trust of the Purple Emperor. People noticed him and said that he had turned into a fool because he had been beaten up. While at the Fire City auction, Miss Su was sad because the young man had disappeared and her business was going under. But suddenly a girl ran in and told the manager that the boy was here. The lady was really surprised that he had finally come. Mrs. Su said that she had waited for him for so long that he had become a very bad brother, really asked Chen, after all, they had not seen each other before. Who is he? Mrs. Su asked. Chen forgot to say that he is the representative of the person she was waiting for, even though he doesn't know what is inside this ring. Ms. Su said, this is an earth-level Yin Yang pill, it's luxurious and too incredible. 
Chen said that Ling Feng had decided to auction it off instead of keeping it for himself. Mrs. Su asked Chen if he was sure Ling Feng wanted to auction it off. Chen said yes. Taking the pill in her hands, Mrs. Su asked if there were any more instructions. Chen said that the flame ranking competition would start soon. He said that she should be quiet and not take him as an enemy. Mrs. Su thought about it and said that she understood and would definitely pass it on to the disciples of the Su family. Looking up at the sky, Ling Fong said, it looks like the flame ranking competition is about to begin. The stranger said that there are four ancient paths leading to the entrance of the competition venue, each of them is very dangerous, only a tiny number of fighters can pass this test. The stranger said that the flame ranking competition is very dangerous. Even that sixth level martial spirit girl couldn't enter the top 16. The mentor said that she needed to try harder, Lin Chin sighed and said that they were already practicing hard but it was a pity that it wasn't enough. Ling Fong said that they were wrong, because they were already good enough, no matter what danger they were in, he would always protect them. Because of the suppression of the sacred fire valley said stranger, no one can rise to the battle level of a king. Usually those who have reached the king level can obtain the title of champion, this is very frightening. The guy said that those who almost reached king level, he had already killed a few of those tanks. The stranger said that he was really handsome. Ling Fong said that there was no time to waste, it was time to leave. A stranger asked him what he was in a hurry for. The competition doesn't start until tomorrow. The guy said how embarrassing that was. The bird started laughing and said that Ling Fong had embarrassed himself, the stranger said that it was ridiculous, and now he couldn't stand it. Ling Fong got angry and asked them, how dare they make fun of the Purple Emperor. The next day, Chen came and told the Purple Emperor that he had completed the task. Chen said the pill auction is over. And here are the proceeds from it. Ling Fong thanked the guy for such hard work. Taking it into his hands, Chen was shocked, for it was a very rare 7th level imperial pill. Ling Fong said it was his reward and he was with them now. Chen said that he would do the Purple Emperor's bidding. The bird watched, observed, and told Ling Fong that the flame ranking competition had already begun. Ling Fong looked around and said, there are so many people. The bird said, who's there? They're not worth their attention. People who watched were very excited, even the four strongest will soon come to the competition. The girl shouted for everyone to see that Shui Yin was coming, and he was the strongest fighter of the Yin clan. The girl admired his masculine face, straight and slender figure, and the difference from all, he is like a crane among chickens. Ling Fong said that he was strong, but he looked so funny. The bird and the guy were dying of laughter watching him. But Bai Yun is also the strongest disciple of the Yao clan. Not only did he almost reach the king's battle level, he also became an alchemist. Bird said that this guy's looks are not that good. Ling Fong said that compared to the previous guy, he's incredibly handsome. Talented girl Chen Shi at the age of 9 she was at the level of a novice fighter, at 12 she was at the level of a novice master, now she is 16 and has almost reached the level of a king. Ling Fong told Cheng that this is his little sister and she is much more talented than him. This brother and little sister are not alike at all. Everyone saw that Lan's sister Zhu Shuang had also come, although the Lan clan's main disciple is Kuan, but Shuang is the strongest master among them. Ling Fong said that right now she was sneaking glances at him, and she was quite interesting, the bird said that he had made up a lot of his mind, she was a disciple of Kailan Lan, and they were their enemies. People said that without a doubt, they were the four strongest in the younger generation, and they were called the four heavenly emperors. Ling Fong said that if they are the four heavenly emperors, then he is stronger than them taken, and he is the fifth heavenly emperor. The people felt sorry that they didn't know the name of the purple emperor yet. Everyone said that some purple emperor had come, but they hadn't seen him. The bird told the guy that it was his fan, and to tell them, Ling Fong told the bird not to ramble, for the moment they should stay in the shadows. The bird said that a portal would open soon and that they had to choose one of the paths. The guy told them to be serious, they had to be very careful. And he had to think carefully. The guy said he'd decided where he was going. Birdie asked if he was serious. Or did he see where Lan was going and that's why he chose that path? Chen said that if you follow this path, you'll have to face off against the chief master of the Ling family. He admires her for a reason. Ling Fong with a smile and a satisfied face told everyone to go. 
and mistook the ancient path for a sister path. After entering the ancient path, Ling Feng and his team just wandered along it. Chen asked what kind of place is this? The mentor said that this is just an ordinary mountain road, and where is the danger that everyone is talking about? But suddenly people in black robes lined up in front of them and told everyone to stand still, it's a robbery. Ling Fong said that there was danger. He asked them who they were. Throwing off their robes, they said that they were a team of double robbers. The guys started laughing at them and said there were six of them, and why do they call themselves double robbers? The robbers said they usually go out in twos and that's why they're called that. But today was a special day, so they went out as a team. Chen said he didn't believe it, because he was once robbed by a team of double robbers. They had huge clubs in their hands, and they didn't. Of course there is said robber, let the boys know their place and quickly give them all their bling. As far as he knows said Ling Fong, the real double robbery team consists of a human and two birds. They are just fakes. The robber got angry and said the guy knew too much and should get a club to the head. Ling Fong ordered Xiao Qin to use the black fog technique. The robbers started shouting that they couldn't see anything and that they were going to be robbed now. After defeating all the burglars, the bird said they were bad at pretending to be double burglars. Ling Fong filled his shirt and said that they were robbing non-stop, he had no plans to do anything at all, and now people had come to give them the treasure. The stranger was surprised and asked how the guys had such experience. Or had they been in robberies before? The bird laughed. No of course said Ling Fong, this is just their generalized battle experience, nothing more. The stranger asked, did you also acquire the skill of searching pockets on the battlefield? Ling Qing told the boys that they should go on. Chen thought and realized that it turns out the Purple Emperor could even handle even double robbers, and he was increasingly admiring him. But suddenly someone shouted to Fatty Chen. Fatty was surprised to see Su Wuhan. He said that he didn't think Su Wuhan was here. Su asked him why they brought the girls with them. After all, girls, this fat guy has been losing to him ever since they were kids. They have no prospects with him, and they'd better go with him. Su asked if the girls didn't believe him. And told Fatty Cheng to come over and beat him up. Ling Fong took him by the shoulder and told Cheng to be more confident. This guy just despises fat people. And they should teach him a good lesson. Su asked where did that kid come from? And how dare he talk to Mr. Su's family like that? Chen told Su that he shouldn't disrespect his idol. And Su also attacked him and said he was fed up with life. Ling Feng watched and said that poor fat Chen was about to be beaten up. And that Su is Fatty's biggest enemy. The guys were surprised that Fatty Chen was close to the battle royal level. How could this be possible? The Fatty was able to counterattack. Chen told Su that he had lost, with a bloody mouth. Su said that he had made him very angry and he was finished. Ling Feng told the bird that it should respect the fat man. The bird said that Mr. Su family is not that strong. But suddenly the guys ran out of the bushes and told everyone to run, because the crowd of animals are very furious. Birdie shouted for them to go to him, because his claws are itching. Fatty's gonna fight us too. Lin Chin said that they would also fight but the stranger said that he would rest and watch. Ling Feng used his wings, and the guys noticed it and were surprised. Could he be the Purple Emperor, they wondered. Ling Feng said after defeating these beasts, he had defeated four almost king-level beasts at one time and was a little tired. The stranger also said that he absorbed a lot of qi in one go, and was a bit tired. The bird cracked his head and said that he was a cheat, during the battle, he didn't help at all. Chen told everyone to look at the top. There, every two hours, the ranking of the Valley of Flame appears, showing the top 16. The bird laughed and said that someone was only ranked 16th. The mentor said that Ling Feng had killed four almost king-level beasts and was only ranked 16th. Ling Qing said that local fighters should not be underestimated. Bird told the guy that during the battle, some people discovered that he was the Purple Emperor, Bird told him to say honestly, did he let himself be discovered on purpose? The guy said that the enemies don't know anything, so he gave them a clue to come to him and become prey. Birdie said it's a risky move, right? Ling Feng said they should guard the sisters and he'll do the rest. Ling Feng got up and said that they had had a good rest and now it was time to go on their way. But suddenly he noticed that the first batch of fools were already here and it was too early to leave. The bird said they really do look like fools. 
the fools told the purple emperor that they had come to take revenge on him. The bird said that there was trouble, because there were only twenty of them, and their head was almost a king-level martial artist, although, they were a bunch of fools. Ling Fong said that those who were supposed to come had finally come, even though they were a bunch of fools. The enemies said that they were fools themselves, namely the Purple Emperor. Ling Fong laughed and said, that's right, he is the main enemy of the Su, Lang and Chao family. Someone from the enemy said, fine, and moved to the Oi said he would blow the Purple Emperor's head off. He used the Blue Dragon spiritual technique. But he didn't expect Ling Fong to stop his attack with one hand. Ling Fong said it's not him who's strong, it's the guy who's weak. Now it's his turn to return the favor. The disciples of the Lan family decided that the Purple Emperor couldn't be killed easily, so they decided to attack together. Ling Fong said that they were too slow and let them see his skill. He attacked them with the first strike of the Nine Stone Power. Lan's people were saying that the Purple Emperor can summon such a huge mountain. It's too incredible, he's not human. The observers of this fight said that they were just the hired fighters of the Lan family, and they better not mess with him. And the Purple Emperor was too scary, it was better for them to leave, they decided. Ling Fong was so furious that he told them that none of them would escape, and attacked with a repeated attack of Nine Stones. Ling Fong realized that by using the Nine Stones power summoning twice in a row, he was wasting a large amount of energy. But suddenly, he didn't expect it, and someone attacked him sneakily. The Su family's people rejoiced that the family's joint technique, the five lightning blast was the strongest. The man from the Su family said that after their attack, the Purple Emperor was definitely dead. But the music didn't play for long, and they were defeated in one blow. Ling Fong said that he had experienced their lightning strike, and now he would return the lightning strike to them in full no one would be left out. The girl said that this cannon fodder could at most scratch the Purple Emperor. Just as she thought. The girl said that Ling Fong would get the glory he deserved, which was meant for his dead body. After seeing them, Ling Fong said that these three were his true rivals. Ling Fong asked Chen if he knew these three people. The guy said that they were the best masters of the best. The girl told her partners not to do anything, the Purple Emperor must die at her hands and she was the strongest student of the Su family. Chao's strongest disciple told Baka that he had finished unity practice beforehand to avenge his brothers. But how could one not come without the strongest disciple of the Lan family? Leng Zhu Shuang the four are gathered. Chen said that they had long ago reached the peak of half the level of a battle king, they were extremely strong. Ling Feng said, as he thought, it will not be easy, but it will be fun. The bird told Ling Fong to be calm for his sisters, she would protect them. But because of this, she would not go out to fight, thought the bird. A student of the Su family told the Purple Emperor that he had a funny bird that made her want to eat it. Ling Fong laughed and asked if he let her eat his bird. The girl said that as a sign of respect, she would fight using the Su family's techniques. Disciple Su didn't wait long and attacked with the Heavenly Phoenix spiritual technique, but in return, Ling Fong asked for a burning blade attack in her. Dust flew around and Ling Fong saw that she was wearing a banja. The apprentice said that it was useless, a technique of that level would not be able to break her armor. Is this the full power of the Purple Emperor? she asked. What a low life. Guy said she underestimated him too. The disciple used the Heavenly Phoenix ability and flew up, telling the guy not to think that he was the only one who could fly. People began to tell everyone to watch, for it was the might of the strongest disciple of the XU family. And attacked him with an angry heavenly phoenix attack. After hitting Ling Fong, she said that the purple emperor turned out to be so dash so that IT was true to say that he was not strong enough right now. But taking the pill in his hands, he told her not to forget that he was also an alchemist. The disciple saw the Yingyang level imperial pill and was surprised but said that she wouldn't let him use it and attacked him with a heavenly phoenix bombardment. Ling Feng fell to the ground and a huge amount of dust gathered around him. Ling Qing tried to run out, but she was stopped by a bird. From the dust came a voice saying how nice it felt, this bombardment was almost like a massage, it helped him better absorb the effects of the pill. Not only did he heal his wounds, he also rose to the ninth level of battle spirit, thanks to her. The apprentice was saddened that now the power of the Purple Emperor was not inferior to her power. A disciple of the Chao family told Su Yu if she couldn't handle it, 
then maybe he could join the fight. What is he carrying? she asked. After all, the strongest disciple of the Su family is her. How can she be afraid of him? The Su family disciple used the heavenly phoenix bombardment again. Ling Feng told her that this bombardment was like a massage for him, it wouldn't hurt him. But he approached her so quickly that she didn't expect it, and Ling Feng struck a devastating blow. The guy said, so what if she's wearing that armor? It won't save her reputation. Ling Feng said that he had a very powerful punch, and that he was also a student of the Chao family, and they exchanged blows. A disciple of the Chao family said that his blood technique converts his blood into power. He's not a body man at all. Since Ling Feng said so, let's see whose punch is stronger, the disciple said that he was using the Chao family's technique to avenge the Chao family's disciples and attacked him with a double bloody punch. But these blows were useless and Ling Feng delivered a crushing blow to him, from which he was defeated. Ling Feng said that he had withstood his two fists and hit him with his one, and he was still much tougher than him. After all, his two fists contained 1,000 kilograms, while Ling Feng's fist contained two and a half thousand kilograms. Chao's disciple told Su's disciple that they should fight him without sparing their lives. They decided to combine their blows. Ling Feng said that he could solve several problems at once. Taking out the steel legendary sticks, his level rose to gold. Disciple Su used the heavenly phoenix attack and the phoenix fracture and disciple Chao decided to attack with the bloody technique. Ling Feng was calm and decided to transfer all his qi into the sticks and use the strongest technique. Ling Feng used the burning blade double blade fracture attack, the disciples said that they had lost this battle. The purple emperor said that even though he had defeated those two, he couldn't be happy. He was already a little tired but Lin Ru was in a perfect state right now. She said that it was her turn now. The bird asked that Lin Ru is one of these four heavenly kings. Chen said yes, she is many times stronger than Su and Chao. Ling Feng asked her if it was necessary to fight to the death. After all, he doesn't want to touch her at all. Ling said revenge is his family's duty. Ling Feng said okay. Then he'll fight her in full. Ling Feng launched an attack and used fire blades in conjunction with the fire lamp. In return, Ling attacked him with spiritual techniques. Ling Feng sensed that Lan was very powerful, her power far surpassing the half-king level. The guy told her he wasn't afraid, and let her taste his stick. Lan didn't think twice and attacked him with her sword, Sword Guyu Reverse Flow. Ling Feng said that if she didn't have one stick, he would give her two sticks. He asked if she could take it this time. Lan said that obviously the bodybuilder's strength is great, the guy told her that her light purple armor is not simple either, it allows her to withstand his attacks. He said he didn't believe he couldn't lose because of her armor. Since she's already scared, let her hold another stone strike in addition said Ling Feng. The guy told her she can't handle the strength of a body man. And she's running out of strength. Lan said as the guy wanted to let him prepare to learn the true meaning of the sword Guyu. The guy tasted her attack, realized and said that her level of fighting spirit. That's her real power. Chen said that the dragon Guyu, in so many years, there has never been such a strong technique before. Bird said that in addition, a martial spirit level person uses a king level technique, and how terrifying it is. Ling attacked him with the golden dragon. Ling Feng told her that he wanted to tear the dragon with his own hands. But it ended right, Ling Feng fell and Lan thought he was weak, the guy said that he underestimated the golden dragon. His power is so much greater than that fake one from the lone ship. The stranger said that if the guy is going to fight, let him fight, so don't take the opportunity to belittle him. The dragon used his golden dragon wrath flame, the guy said, for that matter, he would also swap the fire blade for a dragon killing blade. Ling Feng said that his technique also contained king level power, and attacked him with a strong absorption fire blade. After defeating this dragon, Lan was spitting blood from the pain. The guy said that the spiritual level wasn't that strong. Chen shouted that the purple emperor had defeated Ling Ru Shuang, Birdie said that he was insane and she could already be proud of him. Ling took out her weapon and said that her sword art is invincible. Ling Feng said, okay then, he will sword fight her. Ling said that she didn't think she would lose, Ling Feng took her strength and said goodbye to her sister. With a final sigh, Lan said that the Purple Emperor turns out to be very strong. Chen said the Purple Emperor will have to kill her out of respect for Lan. 
The bird also confirmed that Lan is not so arrogant and insolent, Lan Kuan, she is an honest warrior. A great loss to the Lan family, as one of the four heavenly warriors Shuang died in battle fighting for her brothers. Ling Qing asked Ling Feng if he was hurt badly. He said it was fine, he didn't want to use his mind power to kill Ling Shuang, so he was injured a little. Ling Feng said that the members of the three clans would be coming here soon, and they shouldn't stay here for long. They should follow the ancient path to the end. The observers of the competition said that Shuang was very strong. He had single-handedly killed many half-king level monsters. Yi Bai Yun Tian had entered a dangerous area by mistake, but he was extremely lucky. And Chen Shi, she killed a crowd of half-king level monsters with her own hands, small but so strong. People noticed something was wrong. The time for the ancient path of the Flame Valley had already ended, but Lan had yet to appear. But suddenly there was a new ranking for Flaming Valley. People started asking who is Ling Feng. And why is his score higher than everyone else's? The girl said there should be 16 places in the ranking, but why are there only 8 people left? But suddenly there was a ring and Chen said that the next 8 people should fight in the style of one-on-one, -on -one, this competition will decide who is the champion. Ling Qing said that the main guy and the fatty had entered the ranking, and wished them good luck. Ling Feng told her not to worry, because he would definitely win the tournament. So Ling Feng said he would drink tea and relax. But then a little bird came running up and told him to pour him some too. But suddenly the referee said that the first battle is Ling Feng versus Wang Chiu. The guy spit out his tea and asked, is he the first one? Wang Chiu told the guy that he had a bold guess. That the guy was the Purple Emperor. Only a Purple Emperor could defeat a warrior like Lan and then also get the highest score. Ling Feng smiled and said that it wasn't him. Wana said, well, yes, you can tell that he is of the ninth spiritual level, but he's hardly that strong. Wana said that he would not relax and let the guy grab his reception. But Ling Feng dodged. Peren thought to now use a ghost technique to stun him and make it look like he had fallen himself. People began to say that Ling Feng was not only the Purple Emperor, but also the King of Luck. Taking Wang on his shoulder, the boy smiled and said that he was so lucky, and this was his first victory in the competition. After seeing the victories of their opponents, Ling Feng said that it was not for nothing that they were called the Four Heavenly Kings, so easily they defeated their opponents. Bai asked who his opponent was. Chen said that his opponent was one of the Four Heavenly Kings, Bai, and he would definitely lose to him. Ling Feng told him that making it to the top eight wasn't bad. Let him fight at full strength, it's no big deal if he loses. Standing in front of his opponent, Chen said that he had come, Tian said giving him a chance to attack him first. After receiving a punch from He Tian, Chen realized that the difference in strength was huge, and he lost in disgrace in front of the people. Tian walked over and said that he was too disappointed and couldn't understand, how did such a weakling get into the top 8? After all, the fiery ranking competition is not for life, but for death and said that Chen is weak and not worthy of living. On his way to kill him, Ling Feng stopped him. A little bird told Chen that Bai was an evil and cruel hypocrite. Ling Feng said that the flame ranking was very willful, but it was still what he wanted. Bai said that a guy like that fat guy can only raise levels by cheating. And now it's his last battle. Ling Feng said Chen's already lost and Bai can't kill him. And he shouldn't kill him, and if he does, he'll be in trouble. Tian said that he was only a ninth level martial spiritual level, even worse than that fat man with a half king level. He asked why would Ling Feng dare to talk to him like that. Ling Feng got angry and said that with such a one, he could defeat him. And shouted to everyone that by Tian would die today. Tian asked the guy, did he think he could kill him alone? He used a spiritual level technique. Ling Feng said that he only had his heaven level technique left to master, and attacked him with the dragon flame tongue sword. Tian wondered if his spirit level technique couldn't handle the guy's heavenly level technique. Ling Feng said that he was surprised that Tian wasn't cut down by his sword, and he wasn't that simple. Tian said enough, he would use all his abilities and finish off Ling Feng for good. Tian used a level of martial spirit. To which the guy started laughing, and said that he would give him a chance. People began to say that this guy is too bold, daring to despise the power of their Yao clan. Tian turned on the spiritual level technique and the golden bird pang. 
He said that today he would teach the guy a lesson that not all people would give in to his provocations. But Ling Fong took his stick and smashed the bird and smeared it with Bai Tun, the people were surprised that their brother Bai was smashed with a stick. Birdie said that this kid is showing off again. Chen said he's known the emperor longer than all of them. He's the Purple Emperor's biggest fan. The people said that it was all over and were certain that their brother Bai would definitely not be able to defeat the Purple Emperor. Tian said that he doesn't believe that the guy's strength is as great as they say it is, and he must win by any means necessary. Tian was so angry and humiliated in front of his brothers that he used the forbidden technique of reincarnating into a golden ping bird. Ling Feng asked him, at the cost of losing his mind, he decided not to spare his life. Let him attack if he has the guts. It's useless, the guy will smash him with a stick anyway. But still, his strength was not comparable to Ling Feng's and he was losing to Tian. People couldn't believe that even using a forbidden technique, Bai was still beaten. Bird saw this and said that he knew what it was like to be beaten by Ling Feng, and he felt sorry for Bai Ya. Ling Feng stood over him and said that he was striking the last blow, and the next meeting would be in another life. Tian raised his hands and begged the guy to spare him and not kill him. Ling Feng started to mock him and told him to speak louder. Letting go of the stick, Ling Feng said that in the flame ranking competition, one cannot choose between life and death. E. Tian is weak and has no right to continue living. The guy said it was Tian's words, but why is he on his knees asking for mercy now? After all, He's never met anyone as unscrupulous as Tian in his life. Before Tian could say a word, Ling Feng had killed him. The fourth heavenly king had fallen in battle. The boys told Ling Feng that he took the liberty of killing their mentor Bai. And their kind won't let it go. Ling Feng asked them why they didn't intervene before he killed Bai. And if they want to kill him, let them go. Chen thanked the purple emperor for standing up for him. The guy said that it was no trouble for him no need to thank him. Ling Feng watched the battle of the last kings and said that their abilities were almost equal, and he thought that the battle would be a long one. After hitting Chen with her attack, she admitted defeat. The opponent was very surprised. Xiao told the Purple Emperor that this was the strongest flame ranking match, and he hoped the guy wouldn't disappoint him. Ling Feng looked into his eyes and smiled, Putting the cup on the ground the guy told him that he would do as Su wished. Ling Feng told him that Shui had just finished the fight, he must be tired enough to eat some pills to replenish his strength. It's true what Shui said. Confronting the Purple Emperor can't be careless. Ling Feng said that only when both opponents are in good condition can a fight be enjoyable. Ling Qing asked who was the stronger of the two of them. Birdie told her not to worry, he only seemed tough, but in reality, he couldn't beat Ling Feng, and it was time for the final bout to begin. Xiao immediately used the spiritual technique, Star Fingers. After conducting a few attacks, Xue said that he couldn't experiment anymore, it was time to use his full power. Ling Feng said that the secret Sacred Flame Valley has the power to banish warriors above the royal level, so at the peak of the battle level boundary, Su has the most powerful strength of all. But the guy's even stronger. And he attacked him with 10,000 pounds of power. And his entire strength in one punch. Shue said that the Purple Emperor's bodily strength was as expected, but still not enough to win. Su used the fusion of dragon and human. People said that Mentor Su had already mastered the final form of the heavenly dragon Halbert. A little birdie said, what's the manifestation of the power of a lowly spiritual technique, so what? Ling Feng still has many cards in his hand. Su said he's the heavenly dragon. Let the guy take the purple emperor's blow. The guy said that apparently this short halberd was a king level weapon, only something more powerful could hold it back. Ling Feng used an ancient weapon and turned it into a sword, this sword definitely can't lose to a king level weapon. The guy attacked him with a full body fire blade and facing each other he told himself to shatter his opponent's sword. The guy told Su that he shattered his deadly weapon. Su said the guy was wrong, the heavenly dragon's halberd is not a deadly weapon at all. It's a spiritual telekinesis. Before he could say a word, the guy was surprised and attacked, Xiao told the guy to forgive him, but he won. Ling Feng lifted his hair from his face and said that he was fine. Xue didn't understand how it was possible, he was able to reflect his spiritual telekinesis. Is he also a master of spiritual telekinesis? asked Su. The guy told him that he must be really angry right now. People said it was the end. 
It turns out the Purple Emperor is not only a warrior, but also a bodkin and a master of spiritual telekinesis. Three in one, and the Purple Emperor decided to break the laws. Su told the Purple Emperor that he recognizes that he is not an opponent. The only option left is to break through the king level. Ling Feng said that in the secret valley of the sacred flame, warriors are not allowed to reach the royal level, and Su would be banished very soon. Xue said that the guy was right and so, before that, he should smash the purple emperor, and gave the final blow. Ling Feng realized that the power of the fire blade wasn't enough against a king level king. In order to show his respect, he must use a supreme technique to destroy him. The guy met him with a king level technique, Xue said that the guy's sword split from his strike and he won. The guy said he's an idiot, the hidden meaning of this technique is sword smashing. His name is Counter Sword. The guy who defeated Su said that he had sent him to the gate to be taken away immediately. Su said the guy also took an auto tip. And the Purple Emperor cheated. Su said he couldn't accept that outcome. And this time, he said he lost. And the Purple Emperor won. Xue said that when they meet again, he will be even stronger and will challenge him to battle again. Lin Qin said that she had never heard of a spiritual academy disciple winning the top spot in the flame ranking before. Ling Feng told the guys that he would go see what gifts the flame ranking was giving out, and he would return soon. Going into the flame ranking he met a person who is a flame ranker and the ranking award is right behind his back. Ling Feng saw the pool of luck and jumped into it, so he decided to improve his skills. The guy incredibly immediately felt his level approaching a step closer to the royal level. He's got to draw on that mental strength as much as he can. Rating says he's dreaming. Three days is the current record, let's see how long he lasts. Rating was surprised that the guy was able to last 20 days. The guy said he would have actually swam some more, but the pool was empty. The guy said that thanks to his pool of luck, he had reached the peak of spiritual power, the powers of body and telekinesis had become even stronger. Rank said the guy's an asshole and to leave because he doesn't want to see him anymore. The true spirit of the flame said the guy, so much wealth gives, he even got rich and for all this, thanks to the golden man. After a while, Ling Feng asked the girl if he really wants to go to Shishan Island. He said that time is short and he will go tomorrow. The girl said that the guy had recently returned from the sacred valley of secret flame and already wanted to leave again. A guy told a beautiful mentor not to be sad and asked if she was free tonight. Because the guy wants to do something with her. The mentor said it's so late, what's he up to? The guy said he's too lazy to explain, let him take off his clothes. The mentor asked what he said. And who does he think she is, she asked. The guy was screaming in pain. The guy said that he wanted to help Bin master telekinesis. Bin was surprised to hear this and was happy that her alchemy skills would be multiplied many times over. Ling Feng said that the mentor's skills were too bad and she couldn't train alone, so she would have to advance the level with his energy. She would have to take off her clothes, and then he could send energy into her body. Bean said she won't let him grope her, the guy asked her what kind of girl she was holding let her take off her clothes and practice. Ling Feng told her to concentrate her spirit. If she relaxed even a little, her core energy would be damaged. Bin said that she was calm and would hold out anyway, the guy said that he had already absorbed the power of the spirit plant, and now he would send it into her body. Ling Feng told the mentor that he was entering. Bin told him to enter her quickly but felt pain. The guy told her to hold on. And Bim asked him to go in hard and full force. Bim asked the guy if he'd seen. That she even destroyed the alchemical furnace. The guy congratulated her on her telekinesis. Bim said the guy was getting better and stronger. He even taught her telekinesis. Bim said the guy gave her the power of telekinesis and he's the best. Ling Fong said of course he's cool. And as a thank you. He wants her to be his girlfriend. Bim thought that he was old enough now that he had learned to flirt with his mentor. And now he couldn't be treated like a student. Bim said if he wanted to do that, he would have to reach the level of martial spirit. Ling Feng said he would reach it sooner or later. The next day, Ling Feng headed to the mountains where he met a man who had the Nine Suns Flame Seed commensurate with the strength of the Ninth Sacred Level. The guy asked him when he had his peak, and what level was he at. The old man said that he was a revered seventh level. Don't you believe him? The old man asked. When he was at his peak, he could crush a flame seed with one hand. 
The guy said he did. And if they got in trouble, the old man would protect them. The guy said he had to go to bed and said good night. The bird told him it was daytime, not night. The guy saw the old man's attack and said that he had a very powerful hold. The bird said that the old man had gone wild and that this strike would be decisive. The guy said the flame seed turned into crumbs. And now it's their turn and they found vulnerability and now they're rich. The old man said that the ice and flame zone was dangerous even for warriors of the revered level, but the guy had remained here completely unharmed. The old man asked him what group he belonged to. The guy said he's not talented at all, just good at finding vulnerability. The old man said the guy was so direct about it. The guy told the old man to be calm, because he is not capable of profiting at the expense of others and handed him a gift. The old man laughed and said, it's just some shrapnel. He's generous. The old man said that this bird was acting very strangely. The boy said he was ashamed of him. The guy took the bird and started to run away and said that now no one owes anyone anything. The old man told him that he was the head of the secret void temple on the island of the empty soul, Lu Yao, and he didn't want to hurt the guy. The old man said one shard of flame seed would be enough. Let the boys keep the rest, and let's be friends. The temple of the secret void asked the boy. Does he know about it, Bertie? Bertie said he doesn't know about the famous temple. The old man asked what the guy's name was, or was he a disciple of some temple on Empty Soul Island? The guy said his name was Ling Fong and he wasn't from Empty Soul Island. The old man said that since they were friends, he wanted to ask them something. Do they know where to find the fruit of the fiery soul? Under the fire soul grows from lava. There must be one here. The guy saw the fruit and said he didn't come here for nothing. He didn't think it grew from lava. It's a very rare plant. The boy told the old man, thank you, and he will not forget his kindness. The old man said that the guys have nowhere to sleep, and let them go with him to the temple. The guy said he didn't need to, because he was embarrassed. The old man said he really needed their help too. The old man said that soon a secret valley will open. His granddaughter wants to go there to train there. It is very dangerous and he is worried about her, so he asks the guy to protect her. Ling Fong remained silent and asked becoming a bodyguard for her. How familiar it was to him. Ling Fong refused the man and went to look for the treasure. When Ling Fong met a man on the way, he told the man that it was a girl who had stolen the treasure. The guy asked her if she took all the treasure. The girl said she didn't. This really pissed the guy off. He asked how dare she pretend like she didn't do anything. The girl said she'd explain everything. But the guy was so angry, he told her to give up the treasure and fast. Ling Fong apologized to the girl for suffering because of him. The girl next to him said that the guy is a rat and cheats people without even blushing. The girl said she finally got out because she almost got killed. And if she saw the guy who set her up, she'd kill him. Ling Fong asked her if she wanted to bite him. And how does she want to do that? The girl said that the guy is a shameless brat, is he still not ashamed to be here, she asked. The guy said he would remind her, it's better not to be so nervous, or her health will deteriorate. The guy told her to look at herself. The girl asked the guy why he set her up. Ling Fong said he just wants to be his friend, there's a phrase that says, if you don't fight, you don't become friends. The girl attacked him and said that he was a jerk and she would not be friends with him. She had never been hurt like that before. Ling Fong grabbed her hand and said that he was hurting her because he wanted to be her friend, and kissed her. The stranger said how brave Ling Fong was. She told the bird to use her bird vision and see if they kissed. The girl asked the guy why he wanted to steal his dragon lion. He's her only friend. And why does everyone want to kill her? She didn't do anything. Stranger told the guy she'd had a rough time and better not mess with her. She lost her friend. Ling Fong apologized to her and said that he was wrong to do so, and said that he would not hurt her again, nor would he let others hurt her. The girl said that she was afraid and didn't trust him. Ling Fong held out his hand and said that she wanted to bite him and could get back at him. The girl took a bite. The guy said she was a savage and really bit her. She said she wasn't a savage and her name was Yun Shi. The guy told Ms. Yun Shi to spare him, 
she is exactly the same as a dragon lion, her teeth are sharp even the skin of a body man can bite through. The girl told the guy to bring her friend back and then she would forgive him, the guy asked the dragon lion. Doesn't want him back. The guy said he didn't eat it, it's inside his ring. But he remembered that he forgot he put the ring with the pills. He must have eaten a lot of them. The girl said the guy locked him up and that's why he ate them, the guy said they won't be feuding and now they can be friends. The girl asked friends. What benefit will she get from working with him, she asked. The guy said the biggest benefit is that he won't hurt her anymore. The guy said he's kidding and is actually in that he's strong and also has a bunch of treasures. People were walking through an empty village and one of them said he found a treasure. The guy said it was a high-grade sacred herb. And a pill of earth. But suddenly there was a spark the guy said it's nice to ask the old-fashioned way, Bertie said that's what they should do. The girl said that they robbed a couple dozen people on the way. The stranger also said that they have good robbery skills. They are definitely experts at it. The guy said robbery is a horrible word that they're just borrowing, Bertie said they don't help them at all, would they listen to them when sharing the benefits? The girl asked who let these fools hang out here. The stranger said they were staring at her breasts. The guy said they quickly changed their shoes. Bertie said that they only had one place to search but she saw that the ground was very strange, the guy said that these pits definitely have some kind of secret. The stranger said that these pits are called the pits of nine trials, each pit has its own trial, the girl said that although their reward is good, but they can't manage alone and it's better to go from here. The guy said if they came, they shouldn't retreat. The girl screamed to be rescued, but no one heard her. Once inside those holes, the bird said that the light source was being tightened. The guy said the entrance was sealed. There was nowhere to retreat to. The stranger said that there was a horrible bloody smell in the pit. The girl said that it was human remains, they were eaten by animals. The guy sheltered them and told them to hide behind him. They can't be sure where the beast will come from. But all of a sudden the guy started to feel something dripping on his head. And he said that the beast was on top of them. The stranger said that it was a brutal and bloody beast that IT was one of the ten most ferocious, besides, it had a sacred level, Ling Fong told Lu Xu Xu and Yun Shi to hide. The guy went into battle and told the bird that she would help him fight him. The bird immediately agreed. Ling Fong took a punch and said they hurt him badly, but he won't stop. That's cruelty. Xu Xu told the guy that they would help him, Ling Fong told them that he was too dangerous and to stay away that he could handle it himself. The guy realized that he couldn't climb it while he was in this position. The bird told Ling Fong, if he couldn't handle it, there's always her. Bird used the sacred feather blade, for it was his time to show his power. And attacked him with imperial techniques. The guy said the bird had done a good job and now it was his turn to attack the beast. Xia was surprised that so much blood had been spilled. Xu Xu said that maybe Ling Feng was not pleased, because now he was all stained. Ling Feng said that it was already difficult for him to defeat him, and they pay attention to such small details. But suddenly someone attacked him, Ling Feng asked, who ambushed him. The man said that the guy was very tough, because he couldn't kill him. What the hell is this Ling Fong asked. The guy said he's a demon lord. He's what they dream of becoming. The guy said he'd never heard of it. The man said the guy was stupid. He's the god of the battle mainland. The guy fell silent when he heard that. Ling Fong asked him, does he want the guy to die from laughing? He also called himself a god. After all, there are many people who have a sacred level nowadays. Even if he was once a god, He's absolutely nothing now, said Ling Fong. He doesn't even have the right physique, and yet he dares to attack a guy. The man said the guy's an ignorant, bratty kid. Does he think the guy can't kill him, he asked. The guy says the guy's a defective fool. If he wants to kill him, let him attack. The man laughed and said the guy was very cocky. He even wanted to kill him. The guy asked if he really wanted him. And called him an old bastard making fun of him. The man got very angry and said he'd stopped acting out, he wanted his body. The guy said the guy lost his a long time ago and now he wants to take his body. Or he wants to steal it from him. The man said he doesn't usually get many visitors. Usually it's people who can't even beat the beast. Only the guy could do it. And he finally found him. The guy said the man's dreaming if he thinks he can do it. 
The man said he won't know if he can't try. After attacking the man, the guy realized that he has good speed, and this is a very strong opponent for him. Birdie said for Ling Fong to fight back and hit, man said that she doesn't have an organic body and that's why he's fast, and the guy will never reach that speed. The man told the guy not to fight back, but Ling Fong gave a strong blow with his sword that sent the man flying backwards. The man asked the guy if there were any rare weapons. He started to like him more and more. The guy told the old devil to cut the crap and attacked him with nine heavenly kills. The man tried to fight back but said that the little bastard dared to hurt him. Ling Fong laughed and said that he didn't want to ruin his beautiful skin. After attacking the guy, Ling Fong saw that he had a ghost weapon that could increase the power of telekinesis by hundreds of times. The guy attacked the guy with a telekinesis ghost sword technique. The guy said he uses telekinesis too, but the guy's defense failed and he fell, the man took him by the head and said he had won and now the guy was his. But the man got into some water that was eating him up. He said it was this guy's ghost sea. And it glistened beautifully. The man asked what the water tasted like, but suddenly he saw strange activity behind him and asked what it was. 